Uh oh. Uh oh. Our, our applause is gonna do it again. <laughs> I think. <laughs> okay. <Welcome to> inappropriate. <laughs> Bartok. This guys. shit. Fucker. Okay, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Did the encoding settings reset? No, it's the um. Welcome to the party, hey, 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 check with the host. host. Thanks, Thank man. You very much. Sorry, Chris. Uh, keep going. Keep going. Like, hey, guys. Welcome to the Inappropriate Bar Talk today. My name's Chris. And I'm fucking Tony. And we're live, guys. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Inappropriate Bar Talk. Thanks for being here. It's a kind of gloomy, kind of. It's getting nice now, well, it's but it's been all raining all day. Yeah, yeah, it's been raining all day. We had a lot of wind today. But it's okay. It's Hawaii, right? You can't complain. The weather is still nice and cool. That's true. Hi, Mom. How's it going? Not too hot. Not too cold. Not too hot. Just right. <laughs> Guys, uh, this is a little podcast we do here every Wednesday. We do drink. We do imbibe alcohol. So if you're of age, feel free to join us. Join Responsibly, along. of course. Um, don't get in, get in trouble with your wives or your husbands. All right? Do it. <laughs> do it. Get in trouble. Drink havoc. Drink alcohol with us and get in trouble. Uh, so feel free. Uh, we are gonna be doing a new beer box tonight Tony, that's right that's right come in i mean and you know what's funny is it this one just came in and i already got the notification that the next one's being sent out so this one got delayed oh. for some reason i don't know why but it did but that's it did. okay that's okay we filled the gap with a couple of great uh some some nice local beers that we tried in between uh but we're gonna get back to the beer box now that it's yep. here yep yep uh, and you guys are gonna get to choose it's like a choose your own adventure Super kind pooper of show. 808 i'm pooping at work haha <laughs> jokes on you employer <laughs> nice what's up man what's up what's up it's dude? always good doing? it's we always uh appreciate you enjoying a shit with us yeah en enjoy your bathroom time with me and chris watch I mean, our show they always say taking a shit's better with with us on your on your phone dude if <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that is what they say. I believe it. I believe it. The, the laughing is supposed to help. Help the, the it, every time. Every laugh, it kind of pushes out a little poop. Yeah, it's a, we call that the giggle shits. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, we're so glad to have you here today. We appreciate all the support. Uh, make sure you check out our social media at Instagram uh, at inappropriate bar talk Twitter. Uh, sorry, at inappropriate bar talk on Instagram. There you go. Twitter at IBT podcast. Oh, check God. out our check out our web page, inappropriate bar talk TV to get uh, the most recent beer reviews and to check us out you can get our merch there and you can also donate to the show inappropriatebartalk.tv join the discord for the super cool community fun time his poop is runny look at the, oh, look at the chat oh that's Ooh. gross that's Ooh. gross that's gross marcus that's gross maybe it's the <laughs> keto shits oh is he doing the keto i don't know i don't oh. know are you are you it's doing gross, keto bro. super pooper <laughs> super pooper <laughs> it's funny uh he just uh, said, "How many how many months sober are you now?" Good for you, bud. By the way, I like oh shit good job, man. Sober Marcus, that's interesting. Yeah, uh, he said, I think he said sixteen months or something. That now. could be worse than drunk Marcus. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's the thing you don't know which one you're getting. Oh, that's 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 scary. But uh, <laughs> I would think your poops would be getting more solid, but I guess not. Hey, <laughs> teach their own. I guess. <laughs> I <don't know>. Um. <laughs> so what what else we got going on, Chris? Sorry, I keep Either interrupting way, keep you. The good work. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, guys, Jeff Bezos is stepping down from being CEO of Amazon. Um, we're gonna ref fuck. <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> gonna reflect on uh, what happened with the Robin Hood with the Robin Hood debacle this oh, past week, yeah, with GameStop yeah. and all that nonsense. Is your dad gonna be able to come talk to us about this? Uh, I can see if I can get him up here. We're gonna he was, I think, he was sleeping last week or something. By the time we got to it, huh? Yeah. Oh wait, by the way, bro, let's just let's cheers to the show. Let's start this yeah, off let's do right, cheers. guys. There we go. There we go, everybody. Cheers, cheers. everybody. Gosh. <laughs> it's working now. The sounds are working now. Aha. How do I not get the cheers part of the show down yet? You know, it's it's a it's been a crazy week. It's been a weird week. Yeah. You know, so everyone's a little off. It's okay. It's okay. <sighs> well, cheers, everybody. Cheers. 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 Um. Guys, we're going to have to bid a fun farewell to Dustin Diamond. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not that I followed his life very closely uh, since uh, I just remember the, him being, by the Bell days. I just remember him being such an asshole on that, uh, I that remember him being celebrity in fat, too. fat people show. Oh, what, was he fat or was he just on the show? Remember, he was on like the, the celebrity weight loss show. He was? Yeah. It was like him. and uh, It was on like VH1, I think. Wasn't it? I don't know. Uh, we can look it up. But he was such was a dick. Was he like trying dick. to hook, hook up with 
people on that show? Or was not trying just... to hook up with him. He was trying to lose weight, but he was just wouldn't show up to like the exercise times and stuff uh, like that. Oh, and then he had the sex Screech, tape. Screech, yeah. I don't know, Screech, yes. Screech is dead. Dustin Diamond, a.k.a. Screech. Not to sound like a dick, but we, we saw him at the porn convention, remember? Yeah. 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 We saw him at, oh, that's right. We ran into him at the porn convention right when his sex tape came out. Yeah. Yeah. Me and Chris went to a lot of porn conventions, if uh, nobody knew that. Um, uh, it was celebrity boxing. Was celebrity, it celebrity boxing? It was celebrity boxing. Yeah. No, he did celebrity boxing too, but he was also on like a. Who did he fight? Did celebrity he... weight loss show. Can we pull that up? Like, didn't he fight a chick? <laughs> I think so. Did he fight Ch- China? Did he? That'd be funny. Who did he fight? Rest Marcus? in peace, King of the Dirty Sanchez. <laughs> He looks like an even shittier Adam Sandler. First of all, Adam Sandler is not shitty. Adam Sandler is awesome. I like Adam Sandler. Not all of his movies, because some of his movies are shitty, but most of his movies make me laugh. Baby Cakes is in the house. How you doing, my love? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Where's my button? Hi, baby. Hey, baby. I mean, is it bad that we're talking shit? We talk a little bit shit about him, but I mean, he kind of <sighs> brought it on himself. You know, <laughs> just because someone dies doesn't mean they're. A- they're a nice person. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's a, if some of a shitty person dies, it's, I think it's okay to be like, oh yeah, that guy sucked. He fought Ron, Ronald Gabriel pa, Palilio, 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 Palilio. What was he known for? Uh, he was known as the endearingly dim-witted character Arnold Horshack on the ABC sitcom Welcome Back, Cotter. Celebrity Fit Club. That's what he was in. Yeah, okay, Celebrity yeah. Fit Club. And he wouldn't show up to the like the, the exercises and stuff. And like it was a group thing. They had to lose weight, I think, as a group. Yeah. I would have took him back and traded all of, all of the Kardashians. <laughs> oh, but China did fight uh, he had Joey lung- Buttafuoco. Joey Buttafuoco. What the fuck? Yeah. Um, he died from lung cancer, actually, Mom. He had lung cancer. That's what I read. Yeah, and apparently he only found out like a couple of weeks ago or something, right? I mean... How do you not know you have fucking lung cancer? Yeah, apparently he didn't find out. Like I think he had, he had stage like a month. four or something. Yeah. Yeah, I think he had, he found like a month ago. Is that him? Doesn't even look like him. I mean, that sucks because that's that's painful. I'm sure. Yeah. You know, and even if it's, even if he wasn't the nicest guy, we don't want him to suffer. But I mean, yeah, still fuck cancer. You in know early I mean? January 2021, di- diagnosed with stage four multicell lung carcinoma, he completed one round of chemotherapy in Florida, but died from the disease on February 1st. Yeah, so 44. he only knew for like a month. He did wrestle. I mean, why did he never do Dustin Diamond Cutter? Oh shit! <laughs> oh, shit. If he did, I think he did do something with WWE, didn't he? Yeah. I, I think it was just the celebrity boxing we're thinking of because China was in the celebrity boxing. Maybe, maybe. I think she was in the same episode that he fought in. Joey Buttafuoco. And that's when <laughs> China fought Joey Buttafuoco. So should we do, we should do at least do a shot for him, even if he was kind of a dick. What, I mean, he, he, whatever. He, he was a beautiful I'll, I'll, not, hey. I don't know if he was a dick. He was just. He I was, don't know. He seemed like a dick to me. Maybe he was. Um. Let's do a shot of the rum. Let's do the shot of rum. No, you don't want to do a shot of the rum. No, no, no. It's too strong. I mean, might as well start off strong, and then end with the. This stuff's not meant to shoot, bro. This stuff's meant to sip. I understand that, but we don't have any sippy cups right now. We got enough Jameson. Let's go. I don't want to do the rum. Take that home. Take that home. Okay. Are you not gonna take it home? No, I will. Hey, he was someone's son. That's true. He was someone's son. Uh, play Friends Forever by the Zach Attack in memory. <laughs> do you think we'll get? Do you think we'll get fucking? Uh, See, I feel copyright like Zach, strike. I feel like I Zach that? Morris was a bigger piece of trash than than. In the show, in the show, Zach Morris was a fucking asshole in, in Saved by the Bell. That Zach Morris is trash. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. He really was a dick, though. He was. He was always he fucking threw his, his friends over the, under always, the bus. He was always screwing over his homies, dude. Always. Yeah. Will you grab me? Will you grab me a coke, please? You had, but they had to deal with it because he was the coolest kid in school. Man, so. I don't know what Kelly saw in him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Let's see if I can pull up. Uh, what was it called again? 
Play Friends Forever, yeah. Let's look that up. So uh, he appeared in Celebrity Boxing 2 and Celebrity Fit Club, where he didn't make too many friends after becoming confrontational with numerous cast members. There were also stunts, <laughs> too, that pivoted his career from a beloved child actor to a controversial celebrity, like when Dustin supposed, was supposed to fight the so-called angry bagel guy Chris Morgan before CM before Chris Morgan pulled out of the fight. But through it all, Dustin got tons of love from fans and friends alike, including Insurance King and President Dan Block. Who wrapped NASCAR drivers Josh Billick's car in Dustin's honor? Wait, I gotta see this NASCAR. I gotta see this car that he wrapped. Oh, he crashed a car? No, no, no. Uh, Dan Block, uh, who owns a NASCAR, a NASCAR car. You know how they wrap it with the sponsors? Apparently, yeah. they did a Dustin Diamond themed wrapped oh, car. Oh, Jesus! And then uh, Dustin's team says they were where his name is not necessarily the most reputable due to his history of mishaps. But they want the public to understand he was not intentionally malevolent. His team adds that he went through a great deal of turmoil in his life, but he's always had a humorous and high-spirited individual who has a great passion to make others laugh. All right. Well, here's here's in some remembrance to A-Track. Uh, A-Track, do us a favor. Yeah. Look, can you can you pull a link up of the 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 car? I want to see the car too while Tony pulls this up. Hey, rest in peace. Oh shit! <laughs> and that oh no, we're, we're done with him. Let's see the car. Let's see the car. Ooh. One down the hatch. Here Ooh. we go. Let's see. What do we got here? Oh Save no way! Saved by the. King? Is that what it says? Saved by the King. Dust get well soon, Dustin. Dustin Diamond pulled over. Can you blow that one picture up of the car? I want to see this. Yeah. Nah, that's as big as it gets. It's a Mustang. Try that. Try that other link he put it, posted in there. I kind of. I like the. Whole saved by the bell. Look. Oh, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> Yikes. <coughs> Jesus. Well, yeah, that was it. Um, some re remembrance for uh, good old good Screech. Old Screech. Screech. Yikes. He was like the. Uh, he was like he was like Ernest P. World's son. <laughs> What up, Baracho? Welcome, welcome. We all—I think we might have that ten viewer hype pretty soon. We he have to check a, on that. He was like the Shaggy in real life. He was like Shaggy in real life from. Yeah, like, Zoiks. Yeah, Zoiks. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, hey Scoob. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's what his character on the show was based on. Wait, of. didn't he play? No, that was a different guy that no. played. Yeah, yeah. That was the guy from uh, you're thinking of the guy you're talking in the actual Scooby movie, yeah, right? yeah, the yeah, live action one, yeah. That was the dude from Scream, right? The, the, Any the was, yeah. Scream. yeah. I love the shirt, Chris. Tommy <laughs> won, wingy. <laughs> yeah, I told him the same thing. I was like, oh, I like your shirt, man. It's a good shirt. It's fits good me, shirt. Per fits me perfectly too. <sighs> Thanks, man. Appreciate you. We got your, uh, we got your mellow mels in the yeah. fridge. I remembered them. Well, actually, Tony reminded me while I was like. I was Rushing. literally leaving my driveway, yeah. and I was like, "Turn around, I gotta go grab these things." I mean, you could have, yeah, could have brought them next time because I got the beer box. Speaking of which, yeah, and which, what I, which I think we should get right into right now. Yeah, we're gonna rip it. this bitch open, and we're gonna fucking see what beers we got this month, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the beer craft original craft beer box. Uncrazy. Please open it. The box. What was in the box? I asked you nicely. Uh, what's in the box? I'm gonna ask you one more time. What's in the fucking box? Open it! 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 I love that intro. And I gotta remember to change this background later. I always forget because we weren't doing this uncrating for a while. But it's a beautiful background of Honolulu here in Waikiki Beach. That's none of this is open. This is all like black. It's all right shut down. <laughs> all right, Chris, let's bust this bitch open. 
And uh, see what we got. What kind of goodies we got? Did you want me to open it, or did you want to? Did you want it? You open it. You open it. You're gonna be paying for half of these once our money runs out, anyway. <laughs> so yeah, so we're not sponsored by a thirsty anymore. Not right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we're, reevaluating we're reevaluating things. Reevaluating our contract. Yeah. yeah. Ob- contractual obligation but no, i still rep their stuff because i still think they're dope no they're great you know what i'm saying we're, we we will work with them again down yes, the road for yes. sure i uh, plus my other business my my main job will be working with them as well so they will come back around but Beautiful. looks like for now it's all good we got some great beers we're gonna be trying this week and then we'll baracha we'll do the uh we'll do the mellow mel um, we're just gonna try it though do yeah you, i think we're you, just gonna do it, you want us to like rank it yeah, because it's not, rate it's it? not really we a kinda, beer. Yeah, we we're kind of cautious about like being like, let's. I don't want to. Brush, like, this fucking sucks. Yeah, yeah this is a one point <laughs> four. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. No, so sure I don't, I get don't that score, but well, again, it's not a beer, so our, our it's like our scoring sheet. You know what I mean? He says you don't have to rank it. Yeah, I just want to taste it and see what what kind of yeah, shit okay. you're coming so, up with. So we'll do the beer tasting and maybe we'll just kind of sip on them. Out. You want to yeah. do it before or after? Well, we got it. We're gonna have to be bu- bust these open. We're gonna have to throw these in the freezer or something. Get these nice and cold before we pop the first one. You know what I'm saying? That's true. So, Chris, why don't you tell us what we got, and I'll start. Oh, I guess I'll just pull one out. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's start with this one. Zipline. <laughs> okay. So. Kolsch. Oh, do I have that? A one German there? style oh, Kolsch. There we go. There we go. Got it. Uh, yeah, Zipline Brewing Company is uh, founded in 2012 by Marcus Powers and Tim Wilmoth and James Galantine. Uh, Zipline Brewing Company crafts artisan ales and lagers in Lincoln, Nebraska. The brewery was born from friends' innate sense of adventure and their desire to connect with all thrill-seeking spirit and all craft beer fans. They're zipliners, I'm guessing. Ziplines <laughs> approach is clean, simple, and direct, just like the actual Zipline. Focusing on production, uh, product, producing the highest quality handcrafted innovative beers that borrow uh, from English, German, Belgian, and Czech pr- uh, traditions. How much of this do I want to read? Read it all, bro. Marcus Powers, a native of Plainview, Nebraska, was once environmental attorney for the state. But when the opportunity came to start a craft brewery with his fellow homebrew friends, it was a chance to ju- he just had to take. He started as a brewery's sole employee. Tom and James kept their day jobs, and Tom is an attorney, and James is an orthopedic surgeon. Damn, these guys had some Damn, high-end no jobs, shit. bro. Um, and brewed Zipline's first batch of beer in November 2012. I can understand why they wouldn't want to leave their job right away. Um, since the beginning of Zipline uh, has been rapidly growing business, and they have gone through several expansion projects. Today, the brewery has four taproom locations, two in Lincoln and two in Omaha. 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 <laughs> and the most recent one opening in the summer of 2019. Zipline's director of brewing, Mike Bowden, is the first hire at the brewery since early 2013. He brings a high level of brewing intelligence and creative spirit to the brewing team and has helped grow Zipline to its current annual production of around 10,000 barrels. Uh, although Zipline produces several craft beers, including the year-round styles, Limited edition seasonals, collaborations, and barrel age series are also a thing. Uh, they also work hard at finding. Uh, they also they are all hard to find outside of Lincoln, Nebraska area. Not if you've got this beer box. Nope. Keeping things local is important to the company as their commitment to quality and satisfaction built on the personal connection is built on personal connections. It is a treat to share two of Zipline's most celebrated offerings with our craft beer club members. Cheers. You know what's interesting? You said it's in from Lincoln, Nebraska? Uh, yeah. So the guy that I'm working with, this that's the tech that's here, they're from yeah. the company. They they specialize in beer brewing stuff. Ooh, they're out of help. Lincoln, Nebraska. I guarantee you the that these guys probably use Norlin equipment. I, I would almost put I'd almost put money on it. I'd put I'd put money on it. So what are the two beers? You should you, find out. Did you talk is about he the still, Kolsch? Is the guy yeah, still here? I tried to get him to come to the show, but he's camera shy. <laughs> um, so did you talk about the beers that we got from Zipline? Uh, do you want me to read through the descriptions? Yeah, of just give a quick quick, quick description. Or do you want to save it for the ones we pick? No, like, we'll we'll reread it. It's a, it's like four sentences, bro. Okay, a refreshing. Uh, so the Kolsch, five point four percent ABV, twenty four IBUs. 
A refreshing ale that drinks like a lager. The zip line German style coach pour, uh, pours yellow, straw yellow in color with hints of honey malt character and a smooth, crisp finish. This easy drinking Colts is brewed with magnum and tetanang hops, pills, and Munich malts, and a local organic white wheat. Note the Kolsch is best enjoyed at 38 degrees and should be kept refrigerated in refrigerated conditions. Try pairing the Zipline Coach with tomato tomatillo chili. Hmm. And there's a recipe for it on the back. Nice. Well, and here's the other one from Zipline. We got a nut brown, which I'm actually excited to try. So 5.8% to uh, 28 IBUs, resembling the changing leaves of autumn. The golden amber and brown specialty malts in this English-style brown ale import a rich harmony of hazelnut and caramel. Mm. The nut brown is brewed with glacier and sterling hops and caramel brown chocolate and roasted malts I like to that. create a perfectly roasty profile uh, flavor. I like that. Try pairing Zipline nut brown with a decadent maple walnut cake. Enjoy. Beer and cake, huh? Why not? Okay. Brown ale and cake. Brown ale and cake. I love right. you like a fat kid loves cake. What is the next brewer we got on there? Three Sheeps Brewing Company. Bah. Brewed with a heart and science in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Sheboygan, eh? Hey. Yeah. Isn't that the... Oh, no. Sheboygan was uh, Wayne's World. Sheboygan. Yeah, they talk, talked about Sheboygan. That's what <laughs> it was. Okay, sorry. Three Sheeps is equal parts creativity and uh, scientific process crafting... Three Sheeps is equal parts creativity and scientific process. <coughs> crafting totally unique beers that stand apart from the crowd. Opened in 2012 by founder and brewmaster Grant Pauly, Three Sheeps Brewing Company is all about being different. Brewing beers that nobody else is brewing in ways that nobody else is brewing them and with ingredients that others are afraid to use. Yet, no matter how extreme the ingredients and processes may be, each beer is brewed to be approachable and well-balanced. It is with this unique brewing philosophy that Three Sheeps Brewing Company has achieved great success. Great success! And become one of the top craft breweries in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. The story behind Three Sheeps actually dates back to 1926, when Grant Pauly's great-grandpappy purchased the brewery and named it Kingsbury Breweries, and it took, uh, and took it nationwide. Grant may have never walked those floors, but his father did, and the stories Grant grew up with hearing would be the initial spark for a lifelong passion for beer. Fast forward for many years from when Grant's wife gave him a brewing kit for his birthday and ignited a homebrewing hobby that turned into a dream of owning his own brewery. That's how a lot of people get started, you know. Prior to funding Three Sheeps, Grant Polly was working for his family's concrete business. While it was a challenging and a steady job, Grant found it difficult to get excited about concrete, and working for a corporation just wasn't for him. When the only brew pub in town went out of business, he jumped at the opportunity of using the space. And a few short months later, Three Sheeps Brewing had became a reality. In the brewery's first year, it was named Rate Beer's best new brewery in Wisconsin, a state overflowing with fantastic beer, and Grant knew he was on to something. The name of the brewery, Three Sheeps, is a play on the expression, Three Sheets to the Wind. Sheeps was chosen in honor of the agricultural Midwest, and the grammatically incorrectness is a reminder to never take life too seriously. The brewery has since expanded today. What's up, Flying Banana? To a 40,000 square foot facility that formerly housed a Coca Cola distribution plant. Granted, its three sheep's team enjoys showing a different side of beer in Wisconsin and continue to push the limits with cutting edge beer styles. All right. And two of those styles that we got is first the Fresh Coast Juicy Pale Ale. East Coast style pale ale, 4.8%, 22 IBUs. There you go. Fresh Coast is an East Coast style pale ale brewed for the Midwest. Like most styles of beer, it pours cloudy, and that's on purpose. The haze lets the hop oils linger on the palate, enhancing their naturally citrusy and tropical fruit notes. To get that haze, Three Sheeps cultivates a special Vermont yeast strain that's only used for Fresh Coast. Hmm. It's the kind of beer you can drink all day, and we recommend it with fish tacos or spicy Ooh, food. Fish tacos. Nice. This one sounds really good. It's called the Bon Bon Chocolate Milk Stout. Ooh. Bon Bon. Bon Bon. Shake your Bon Bon. Reminds me of fucking Peggy from Married with Children. <laughs> she was always eating Bon Bons. Chocolate Milk Stout, 5.5 ABV, 13 IBUs. There are a few things better than a fresh box of Bon Bons. They're rich and chocolatey with surprises beneath the surface. Like the confection Ooh. that inspired it, Bon Bon Chocolate Milk Stout is chocolatey and creamy with surprisingly latex layers. 
It they features an elaborate it. malt bill, and desp- uh, despite it, this complexity, it's light-bodied and easy drinking, and reminiscent of a simpler time. Nice, nice. I just like saying bonbon. Bonbons. <laughs> bonbon. Say it, Chris. Bonbon. <laughs> I would get them at the movies. Bonbons or the dibs. Baby cakes, no, I, I like I like her dibs, dibs. Who doesn't like, who doesn't Dib like dibs. bonbons? Huh? Bonbons. I mean, isn't it just chocolate covered ice thing. cream? They're right. The same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Dibs. Um. All right, folks. So that is the original craft beer box this month. Um. We got four beers, and guess what, guys? It's gonna be your choice what we drink tonight. In fact, I'm starting the poll now. Boom! There it is. A poll is open. Pick a beer. Use. Exclamation point, volt, space, either Kolsch, nut, pale, or stout. And that is going to determine what beer we're going to be drinking tonight for our beer tasting, Chris. Right. We should get these on some ice for now, the That's ones good. in the box. Do it. Um, the beer's not, not sex. The Yeah. Beer's not sex. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, guys. That is going to wrap up the uncrating portion, but we're going to get these beers on ice. We're going to get on with the rest of the show. And uh, it's your guys' choice what we drink. It looks like we already got one vote in for the Kolsch. Um, again, right. we, we got a Kolsch. We got a Pale Ale. We got... Yeah, the Kolsch and the, nut brown, the, Kolsch and the nut brown are by Zipline Brewing. Yeah. And the Pale Ale and the Stout are by Sweet. Three Sheeps yeah. Brewing. Yep, yep, yep. So, guys, don't, fe- don't forget to vote. You can get your vote in. And you guys get to choose what we're drinking tonight. Well, I'm going to take them out like an idiot. I don't know. You would want to probably take the whole box downstairs. Yeah. All right. And that's going to sum up tonight's Uncrady. Please open it. The box. What was in the box? I asked you nicely. Uh, what's in the box? I'm going to ask you one more time. What's in the fucking box? Open it. Open it. Jim. Open it. 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 Wow. Got exciting there. Our, our fucking thing's going up and down again, Chris. Our, our, uh, we're at like 200 kilobytes a second right now. That's cray cray. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off this for now. Okay. I'm gonna turn that off. And I'm gonna turn off this. We're gonna get rid of Spotify and see if that helps. Spotify takes up a lot of shit for some reason. I don't know why. It just does. Look at that. As soon as I close Spotify, we're already climbing back up. Son of a bitch. We need some music, though, so we're going to put something on here. It's a rainy day. Let's put on some rainy day music. Um, I guess indie rock's kind of rainy day. Holy shit, that's loud. Okay. That's a little better. Okay. A tracks voting for the nut. Of course he is. <laughs> He's a nut kind of guy. Uh, so we got one for the Colts, one for the nut. Guys, this is going to go for the next. What, did you throw him in there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got him surrounded by cold beers. Like they're with their friends right now. So hopefully oh, they're like, colder faster. Okay. <laughs> we'll see if that works. I'll set the timer for an hour and uh, we'll think about getting in the beer tasting about then. Put your votes in, guys. Get them in while you can, guys. Get them in while you can. All righty. Oh. oh, I couldn't find a lot of news other than everybody just wants to talk about like shit. Well, why don't you tell us about your camping trip this past weekend? Oh, yeah, bro. I went camping. Yeah, I went camping this past weekend, man. How was it, bro? Did you get rained out? No, man. The weather was perfect. Oh, really? I was like laughing because I was like, "Fucking Chris, I was, it was pouring up here." So yeah. I was like, "Oh, Chris, and we're getting dumped on, dude." I was like, "That sucks." Nope. <laughs> it was perfect, actually, and that's. We always get we always get lucky out there, man. I'm gonna knock on wood, but like uh, Friday night, it was a little gloomy, and we had like a couple of sprinkles here and there, but it was nothing like no heavy downpour or anything like that. The craziest rainstorming lasted like five ten minutes, and then uh, it was just clear after that. Moon came out, full moon, lit up the whole beach. You didn't even need flashlights or nothing. Dude. Oh, that's you cool. You could see everything. That's it's always nice. Gorgeous out, and then woke up on Saturday morning and it was just beautiful blue skies not the sun the water was perfect no man of war out there because you know good. sometimes there's yeah yeah, yeah, out there. yeah 
Nope, no man. You guys worm. don't know what Portuguese man or are? Uh, they're like little jellyfish that float on the surface. They're like little bubbles, basically. Yeah. And they sting the shit out of you, just like a jellyfish. It, it stings. It sucks when you get t- tagged by one of those fuckers. Um, you gotta pee on somebody. Usually. Yeah. That's how they say I you usually, neutralize. I you usually try to pee on, pee on myself. Yeah, you pee on or you pee on yourself. Usually they wrap around your leg. Like I had it around my arm a couple times. Yeah, actually. sometimes I ha- or it goes like up your side and like around your arm, yeah. or it does like both. Oh, if it gets you in the armpit, that sucks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good luck trying to pee in your own armpit. <laughs> <laughs> no, bad camera. Stop repeating focusing. I uh, camped at where did you camp at? Bellows, which is on the uh, east side of the island in a town called Waimanalo. Um, oh, you in camp at uh, well, Barry's house? What well, Nalo, bro? You in camp at Barry's house? Yeah, it Uncle Barry. A lot of lot of Hawaiians out on that side of the island, but they're all pretty nice. No, oh, Barack's building a house there, isn't he? Apparently. Um, you didn't see it? It's no. huge fucking area. He's like just took like four house. Lo- you know, uh, where is? How do I describe where it is? Um. Okay, so it's kind of hard to describe. Do you know where the right before you hit like the EA area, um, there's like those big houses on the beach that you can rent for like parties and shit? Yeah. So he took like four of those houses, knocked them down, and is building his house on the four lots. In La EA? No, in, in Nalo. In Waimanalo. Oh, okay. Yeah, people aren't too thrilled on it, but yeah, it's huge. That's a lot. Yeah, it's four of those fucking big ass lots, and those lots were probably, I would say, maybe a eighth of an acre lot. They're pretty good sized lots. Like it was a house with like a big ass grassy area. All of them had that, and you could rent them for like parties or you know the weekend or yeah, whatever. Yeah. They're vacation rental houses. But yeah, dude, he fucking he's got a fat crib now. Crazy, or he's gonna have one. But fatty McFat fat house. Yeah. Huh? But uh so what did you guys fish or what? What'd you guys do? Did you guys just get drunk in the sand? Is that what you guys do during camping? Just get drunk in the sand? That's camping? Yeah, kinda man. You, and we just uh, You guys didn't go fishing. No, nah, we didn't go fishing. We so, had so much food though, dude. So much food. Yeah, I've gone camping with you before. You guys always have way too much food. We had like steak, sausage, chicken, we had fish, we had musubis, we had I don't know, whatever you can think of, man. Yeah. Any kind of Hawaiian food. Yeah. Albi. So who all went? Belly. Was it was it both mostly your Punahou crew? Yeah, so it was me uh and there was a couple of mi- mix it was kind of mixed up cuz like Chelsea who is a uh, Jeff's girlfriend she went to Iolani, but her cousins went to Kamehameha, and then Jeff has friends that went to Kamehameha. So it was kind of like a big private school party almost. It was kind of private school like, kids. Uh, but yeah, it was a bunch of private school kids. But um, but yeah, I mean, everybody had a good time. We played horseshoes, you know, did the s'mores, built a huge fire. Go camping is what Chris did. Yeah. Did the parents go? Did your parents go camping with you? Just, just you no, guys. Just uh. the, just us. Yeah, yeah. The parents didn't go. It's not. I mean. No, it's not. There's no camping like that. In Don't Hawaii. bring food. Hunt that shit yourself. No, you could have fished. You went. I mean, you, could you went fish. on a COVID camp out. Yeah. yeah. Did you have less than ten people? We had three campsites with less than five people each. Oh, uh, that's how it works. <laughs> Is that how it works? Yeah. But uh, it's <coughs> it's uh, dude, it was awesome because they cut down the number of campsite campsites in half. Oh, so you so got like a we lot got of three campsites, and there was like literally nobody around us. It oh, was that's like nice. We, so we basically had like five or six campsites. Yeah, because I remember a couple of times we'd camp, and like we didn't maybe get along so good with the people next to us. Yeah, and there was issues. It's usually really crowded. Like you can yeah. get really close to other people's campsites, or they can be like driving through your campsite. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like that at all. It was like empty, dude. That's nice. Yeah, yeah basically. The nearest the campsite yourself. was probably another hundred, hundred feet away. Right on, right on. And then we had like some drunk guys who apparently this is all they've been doing every weekend is going to the beach and they have like a they have like a giant black camper. It kind of looked like a rapey van oh at gosh. first. But it had a giant Connect Four on the side. And then what it does it was it was like basically a, like a mini R V. And the they had a house on the back of the truck and then the top there was a roof on top of it. So they were there was a they're like, anytime we want to come over, man, and Hang out. You can chill on the rooftop deck and and like <laughs> fucking. We just have fires going the whole time. What the fuck? So they do it every weekend apparently, and they have like a Facebook group and everything like oh that. Oh god. So what kind of people were it? Holly dudes. Yeah. Well, one guy said he was from. Why? One guy said he was from. 
Wailuku. Maui? Yeah. Yeah, they're like Howleys then. Yeah, yeah, Bunch like, of Howley guys. They look like a couple. The other guy was definitely a white guy. <laughs> he was wearing like the, he had like a, he, he looked like a Trump supporter. kind of. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I'm just saying he was a white guy for sure. <laughs> that seems like uh, you're putting pe- uh, people in a stereotype maybe, there. Maybe. Stereotyping, Chris. Yeah, you're right. Maybe not all Trump supporters <laughs> are white, but all. Not all Trump supporters are white, no. <laughs> There's a lot of different ethnicities that support Trump and countries, mind you. Okay. Um, but before we go down that road, <laughs> um, something funny I did this past week is I watched the movie Finding Ohana on Netflix. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And my dad's in the movie. He made it in. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's, he's in like a two-second clip of it, but it's funny as hell. I saw, I saw, the, I saw what on you Facebook? guys posted yeah. on Facebook. But he has like a he has a little cut in there. He's huh? in there, yeah. He's like this big on the screen, but he's in there, hey, that's and you cool. can tell it to him if you look. You go, oh yeah, and that he got is paid him. for it too, right? He got paid pretty good for it. And he got like a couple hundred bucks a day, I think. I don't know. I gotta ask him. I don't know exactly what he paid, but yeah, he got paid for it. And he, but he said he was all pissed because he said all, a bunch of the other guys got like to wear like regular clothes. Yeah. And he's like, he was one of the loincloth guys, so he had to wear this loincloth all day. He's like, fucking suck. I was wearing this fucking Hawaiian loincloth all day. Oh, God. Because he was a night marcher, right? Yeah. Uh, but it was pretty funny. Yeah. I heard it's like a Goonies kind of movie. Like, it is exactly like a Goonies like really? knockoff. Yeah. And I'll be, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's a kid's movie. It's a kid's movie. Yeah. Let me just put that out there. Um, and it's definitely a Goonies ripoff. But, uh... Overall, I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was great, or I didn't think it was terrible. But there's definitely some corny parts. And uh, I, there's, they did pretty – it was pretty funny the way they did Pigeon, though, because when the guys yeah, started yeah, talking yeah. Pigeon, they'd put, like, subtitles at the bottom. Uh, I thought that was kind of funny. But um, they I, def- have, I know – I know uh, – what you call – Super Pooper watched it a couple times already, but oh, I, yeah? I heard my employees talking about it in the in the back last night too. But they it's were not like, bad. Yeah. They're making fun of the pigeon stuff too, but they were like <laughs> parts they they like they had parts that they really liked about it. Yeah, there was some good parts in it but for sure. I haven't um, watched it yet. So. And my mom actually asked me, "Goes wait, is the mountains in Kualoa actually have like caves like that?" I said, "No, they don't have caves. That's not, not that I know of, but." Um, in, in Maybe on the big island. In the movie, they go. It's Kulo Ranch where they go, and they go <laughs> in like the mountain of Kulo Ranch, and it's like, um, like these big caves with like waterfalls and yeah. shit. And I was like, yeah, that shit's not there, yeah. dude. No. Yeah, say, maybe in like maybe in the big island where the water, the lava tubes are and stuff like that, you would find. Yeah, but like it's that. not like so. Actually, what they did, I think they shot a lot of the on the in the credits. It says there was a Thailand, uh, uh. Thailand unit yeah. and i think that's where they shot a lot of the cave stuff was in thailand because yeah. thailand's got all kinds of shit like that uh definitely want to check out thailand one where day. was your dad at when they shot his scene they were at cool ranch it was at cool yeah ranch. yeah okay. and uh yeah he was there like a whole week for like a two second shot yeah, dude yeah. a whole week of shooting for like a two second clip it's kind of funny Back is killing me right now. I don't know why my back is sore. <sighs> I'm getting too fat, bro. I'm waiting for these goddamn keto drinks, and they're not getting here. And every day, I'm just like, because I, I, when I ordered them, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pig out until these drinks get here. I ordered them a month ago, bro, and I've gained like five pounds since then. Yes, please. What movie is that? Tony has Lumbago. The fuck is that? What movie is that? It's called Finding Ohana. It's on Netflix. It's, yeah. it's not bad. It's, it's funny, but they show a lot of cool, like, Hawaii stuff, I guess. Like, it's cool. It's did all they, right. Did they rep the islands the right way? I think they did an okay job at uh, representing Hawaii. They made a... They made the a Hawaiian it's character is actually Hawaiian? Yeah, except for Kelly Hu. She's Chinese. Yeah. But, um... So the the main character, or not the main character, but the the grandpa, yeah, is the guy from Sarah Marshall. Like, oh, you trying to do the paper? Uh, you yeah, trying to yeah. do the paper? And yeah, that's the that's the grandpa that's in the funny. movie. The it's funny. Paper guy. It's the doo paper guy, for sure. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go watch it. Cause I was looking at, him, I was like, this guy looks familiar. Yeah. So you want to see? A, you guys want to see after- a Hawaiian? You want to see the Go island see, we live on? Yeah, that's where we, where we live. Yeah, that's I guess the Ohana, finding Ohana. Finding Ohana, yeah. 
I didn't even know this movie was coming out. And look for my dad. He's a night marcher in the bottom <laughs> left corner when they surround the house. It, w- does it seem all like purple or something like blue. that? It was blue? Yeah, because they have blue torches. Oh. They carried a blue torches, though. So my dad, my dad wasn't carrying a torch, though. He was b- carrying like this big, like, spear thing. It, yeah. like, it, was, like, it wasn't even a spear, though. It was just like a stick with like this big horn on the end. It was weird. Like, I don't know what it was supposed to be, but he's like, oh, yeah, I was carrying the horn thing. <laughs> now, in lumbago, painting the muscle and joints of the lower back. Huh. It's not really my lower back. It's kind of like my rib right here. It's like, I gotta like crack my back. Yeah, yeah. I, that's where I have my my pain. A lot of my pain at is like, like, my, right, like, right like here. in the center. Yeah. And yeah. they say sometimes like if your chest starts to hurt, that means your back is your back muscles or your front muscles are compensating yeah. for your back muscles. No, it's and that usually is like when you start getting a beer gut. Yeah, I gotta start sitting. Plus, I have terrible posture. Yeah. Like I'm taller than Chris, but I notice whenever I'm on the show, I look like I'm shorter than you. I, yeah, I try not to slouch a lot. Yeah, dude, but my, ah, I'm too tall. My back hurts. That's why I like chairs with good lumbar support because I like to sit like straight. Yeah. We need to get better chairs for the show, Chris. Donate to the show, guys. Don't be shy. We need better chairs. My back hurts. That's our Discord. Yeah. And there's a button to donate. Uh, <laughs> we also could lose some weight, I guess. Yeah, I guess uh, we should probably exercise a little bit. We Cheers, do. Cheers, face. Hey! Oh. Do do paper chi who rip um ki aloha ho. He shreed so hard he brock his. Stick B L A A A A A A P B L A A A A A A P scoop scoop gravy all over extra scoop Mac salad. That was fucking awesome. Can I replay that? I want to replay that. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, that was awesome, dude. Cheers, fuckface. A stop throwing doo doo paper chi who rip um ki aloha ho he shreed so hard he brock his. Stick B L A A A A A A P B L A A A A A A P scoop scoop gravy all over extra scoop Mac salad. <laughs> That's probably the best subscription <laughs> message we've got thus far. Thank you, Baracho. That was fucking awesome, dude. Let me see if I can translate that. A st- hey, stop throwing doodle paper. Chi who rip him, kill all. Oh, he shred so hard he broke his stick. Blap, blap, scoop, scoop, gravy, all over extra back salad. <laughs> all over extra scoop, extra back scoop salad. Back salad. Shit. It's funny. It's it stopped after stick. Yeah. Or it says he broke his stick. B l a a a a a a a p b l a a a a b scoop scoop gravy all over extra scoop back salad. That's too funny, dude. That was that's the best. We're gonna have to that's do. That's what we, the push the talks meant for. Yeah, that is what it's meant for. And of course, we're gonna have to do a shot for that subscription, guys. Hit the subscription button. And you can leave a crazy message like that. Eleven hey. months, bro. You're getting close to that one year mark. Stop trying doodle paper. Hey, you trying doodle paper? <laughs> Forgetting Sarah Marshall. That's the guy, dude. Yeah. The doodle paper guy. He's the grandpa. Huh? Yeah, he's the grandpa in this one. He that works. Yeah. He's legit. He's, he's one of the legit local boy. I think he's one of the producers, too. Dude, what's up with our bit rate, bro? That's I don't know, so man. Crazy, bro. Dude, it's your parents' internet. <laughs> I think there's another reason you know what it is. My computer is nothing. Look, you want to look at my CPU usage? Let's see. I don't have any notifications. How do I look? Go to the eye. This I. thing, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. There. CPU usage, 24%, bro. It's not my it's not my computer. It's your parents' internet. I don't know, man. Uh uh-uh. uh. I'm gonna have to reset the router. Not my, to not not right now. We're my, fine. We're fine. We're is, fine. My shit is. We're fine. You guys let us know. Chilling. All right, we're gonna do shot guys. Put your shot emotes in the chat, Put everybody. Let's the go. Tra- let's do it. Shot. <laughs> don't forget to vote for what we're gonna drink. Right now it's a tie still. So, cheers, buddy. Cheers, bro. Extra scoop. Uh, Mac salad. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Hey, guys. Sorry if I didn't get on the uh, stream last week, but I had way too much shit to do. So I've been I've been tweaking on my setup that I have at home. And I've been playing Baracho's favorite game. Vote blue one. What? That's not how it works, Mom. Uh, one? That one's called... 
That one's the pale. That's the pale ale. Yeah, pale. So vote pale. <laughs> blue one. The blue one. The blue one. It's How about it's a pretty why don't you go blue. and touch it in the back? <laughs> Why'd you tell him to touch it in the back yeah, for? Well. The blue one. It's the blue one. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, Maybe close that, bro. You're eating up bandwidth. Because you know your dad's on, too. Check your settings real quick. Check your, try check your settings. What settings? The one, the cog on the bottom left. What go, do you want to check? To, go to advanced. Advanced? Or, or go to output. Go to yeah, output. I did that already. It's still the same. It's still the same hardware. What is going on? Why is the bit rate at 1175? Uh, that's what it is automatically set to, I guess. Yeah, maybe it is the router. Right, you bus up router. Stop trying doo doo paper. Chihu rip them, que aloha. Oh, you and shit so hard you broke his Dude, stick. we paid for the upgraded internet. It should be like, we should have like 6,000. We're only having 300, though. So, dude, someone changed the Hollywood sign into the Holly Boob sign. Holy boobs? Holy, Holly boobs. Holly boobs. So, what? What are they, what are people complaining about there? Nothing, I don't know man. if the name of it give a girl a break. <laughs> there you go. You're good. You got to vote in there. Now we have a three-way tie. We have a three-way tie now. Guys, vote for the beer you guys want us to drink. They're all there. Take a look at what you like. Yeah, but I feel boom. like our ISP is limiting our shit. Yeah, quit limiting us, ISP. We have Spectrum. There's teen suing Comcast. What? It's that time where we all have to talk shit about our ISP so they fix shit. There's teen suing Comcast. Well, we have Spectrum. Is Spectrum Comcast? No. It's Time Warner, right? Or whatever the fuck. It used to be Time Warner, I think. Spectrum mm. now. Yeah. Yeah, Spectrum right now. But, uh, yeah, man, I don't know. Everybody's moving over to streaming shit. Probably everybody's streaming video shit now. Or, or they're doing their OnlyFans or yeah, Chatterbait or, or Pornhub Live. Here's the thing: is I walk around my <laughs> neighborhood, like I walk my dogs, like at night and stuff and like that. And you hear people watching pornos? No, well, maybe, but I, I <laughs> just I walk around my neighborhood and I see numerous windows with like neon lights in them, like like LED, like bright LED lights, like it's like bright neon pink or purple or like green. they're streaming. And I'm like, those are all streamers. All those people are like streaming shit. Right you now. think so? I think so, man. I don't know. I feel like. Hmm. I feel like people just don't leave rooms like those colors on in your I'll bedroom. I'll be honest though, I don't think that many people have good enough computers to do it. I think they're just they're doing sex cams work. It I could, think you, I live, mean, you don't need. A, I think your neighborhood's full of ca sex cam workers. You don't need. <laughs> you don't need a great camera to, to. You just need a webcam like this. Yeah, it costs you sixty bucks to do that. But to game and do that. It's a yeah, little, I mean, if, yeah, yeah, yeah. The streaming sex, and gaming is yeah. harder on your PC. That's true. But I mean, sex, depends. But, yeah, but I mean, sexing and 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 streaming is harder on your pussy. Yeah, if you're just one of these, <laughs> if you're just one of these yeah, titty streamers on Twitch, you all you need is a camera. You don't need to get it. Not even listening to my sorry, jokes, bro. Sorry. What did you say? No, <laughs> time. It's comedy's timing, and you killed it. I said, game streaming is harder on your PC, but sex streaming is harder <laughs> on your pussy. Get it? Ah, thank you, folks. I'm here all week. Yep. <laughs> I'm here all week. Thank you. I just got an erection. Uh, it'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> Whoa. No. Hey, hey. hey you there. Push that button, not me. Hey there. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, not if you're a VTuber, though. <gasps> oh, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a VTuber, you don't even need to rub your badge. You can just act like you're rubbing your badge. You yeah, like I said, you could real. be a dude. Yeah. Posing as a chick. Might have to. I was looking for like a side job. job, just a side <laughs> job, just be a VTuber. Nobody got to do. Oh my god! It's you may gonna come be across a, my other that's profile. That's like that's like the ultimate now of. Remember, like back in the day, they had like the sex hotlines, and people would be like, "Oh, you're talking to like a dude yeah, on the other yeah. line." That this now is the new version of that. Yep. Where you're gonna be think you're sex chatting with a chick, that's but really, really it's dude. just like some big dude, like, "Oh yeah," and it's like got a voice changer. Imagine how many imagine scary. how many dudes would like get s so pissed if they found out like <laughs> this was a dude I was like I mean if you can't tell that you're talking to a virtual thing versus a real human I mean you can, I will say that you can have a voice changer you can have all that shit and you would never know I mean that Komodo what's her name Komodi or what's her name the one you're Code, code Miko Code yeah. Miko Komodi I don't know yeah. Code Miko 
That's her real voice, though. That's her real voice, and it looks pretty real, but you can tell that it's fake. What do you mean? Like, like her, her avatar. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Like, looks real. Like, it doesn't look like, like, like real enough to be, like, a real human being. Right. But sometimes all you need is guys are into fucking anime and hentai it's and shit close. like that. Like, there are people into hentai and shit like that. So it doesn't fucking matter that it's an animated character. You're just listening to the person talking in their voice and them interacting with you. You know what I mean? It's Weird. like any, it's like the same thing. You got to use your imagination, bro. I don't want that. You're, that's not using your imagination. You know, hint, hint worldwide on Pornhub, hentai was the number one search category out of that, all the categories. That should be an issue. That's a problem. It's literally the number one search that's category a problem. worldwide. That's I a problem. I think in the U.S. Chris. it was like lesbians or something like that. Like <laughs> the individual countries were different. Were yeah. different, but the worldwide, worldwide hentai, hentai was number one. So you're telling me there's more people looking up cartoon porno than real life porno worldwide. I think so, because I think it's just a little more, it's different, and there's more, like, fantasy involved with it. Dude, it's weird shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I've, I've never, like, looked it up, but I've seen, like, clips of shit, and it's, like, octopus tentacles ravishing vagina, cartoon vaginas. It's yeah. weird. It's it, weird it's, shit, it's, bro. It's all kinds of stuff. I mean, I've been in the it's, shops, it's, that's it's, why, it's, in Japan, like, walking around, yeah. like, dude, what is it? And remember, I said, when I went into some of those shops in Japan, I tried to... Well, it's all I based off to, of manga and stuff like that, right? But like, they got, like, it's weird, bro. Like, yeah. little kid drawings. Yeah. It's weird. I'm not, I was like, this is not my kind of aisle. I'm in the wrong <laughs> aisle. I'm like, I'm out of here. What you got to watch What you gotta watch out for is, like, the deep fake shit that's coming up. I'm telling you, man, that shit is going to get crazy. It's nuts. It's nuts. That was the whole thing with the Keanu shit we talked about last week. Cyberpunk 2077. It's, like, basically... You turn Keanu into a deep fake, basically on, on yeah. cyberpunk. Uh, yeah, Baracho, if um, if we th- if we get to the Mellow Mel, uh, we'll definitely Discord you, and we can you can tell us what we're to be looking for. Yeah, I mean, do we want to get into it? We'll do it after. We'll do it after the beer. We'll do tasting. it after the beer tasting, I think. Yeah. We'll, and uh, there's two of them. Let's just taste one tonight, maybe, so we can have Baracho call us again next week and chat okay, it up. Okay, yeah, and that's a good you know? idea. That's a good idea. Then we can start bringing Baracho to the show. What you know? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> uh, anyway, I smoked a little bit of weed before the show. I don't know if you guys can tell. So, hey, Super Bowl <laughs> this weekend. Who gives a shit? <laughs> it's funny, man. Nobody's really talking about Super Bowl. I haven't seen because many people haven't really been talking about Tom it. Fucking Tom Brady again? I'm over <laughs> it. I'm over it. Yeah, so Tampa Bay Buccaneers uh, are taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, the Chiefs got there last year beat my 49ers um yeah they did but uh <laughs> hey you don't talk shit motherfucker. we got there uh anyway you're right you're right <laughs> but uh Pat- so basically it's like the ultimate showdown between old school new soon new school tom brady is 43 years old i want to say 42 or 43 he's old he's old and uh patrick mahomes is the young and he's in his yeah. early 20s so but they're both really talented guys obviously and Pretty uh good. Now, here's my question. Do you think Mahomes' talent sustains the longevity of his career? Or is he going to be kind of like a flash-in-the-pan kind of talent, kind of like a Michael Vick where it was, like, unbelievable for, like, the first five years and then, eh, after that? Because, I mean, you're going to lose your speed over time. Yeah. Um, He's not a pocket passer. You know, he's more known for creating on the go. Yeah. So those kind of quarterbacks, they don't have a lot of longevity in the in the, in the league. He doesn't run as a as, as much, much. As, as some yeah. other quarterbacks. Um, I'd say he's like a he's he's like maybe seventy five percent pocket passer, twenty five percent run. But I'd uh, skew that a little more. Maybe they have they 50, usually have pretty good 60, running. 40? Mm-hmm. Maybe sixty forty. Maybe 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 seventy thirty. Hmm. I don't know. But he doesn't. He doesn't. He's not a. He doesn't. He's not a run. F- like. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't look to run. He's he not. A, he, he's not a Russell Wilson scramble for your life guy. Yeah, but yeah. Um, poor but Russell, that, man. That I feel. I feel bad do. for my boy, man. We need some old I, linemen, guys. For him to get to a, a Super Bowl two times in a row, though, and um, I think a lot of it has to do with Andy Reid. Andy Reid's an yeah. amazing coach. They have a. They have a pretty badass defense too. But um, and Tyreek Hill's a beast too. First of all, Baracho, don't you dare hate on Ultima Online, okay? You're hating, bro. But um, talking trash about my game. 
I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna see what happens. I don't what really do you do have a horse you, in the race. What are you doing no. for Super Bowl? Are you guys doing uh, boxes or what? Um, no, no. We're, we're like kind of downplaying it for the most part. We'll be open and doing the normal stuff, but we're trying not to encourage. Not gonna have a chili bar the big this time. Party. Um, we're gonna do like. You cannot three. do like a chili bar, huh? Because we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna do like. If you purchase some fries, you'll get you can get chili for free, or if you purchase a burger, you can get chili for free on it, or something like that. I mean, it's gonna be Dude, like I might pretty. I might just make some chili for Super Bowl at my house because my parent uh, or my dad and Danielle they're going to Reno. Uh, hey Tony, 1080 called and they want their game back. 1080. You I mean 1980. Game, I remember the game 1080. That was a fun. 1080 game. snowboarding. That yeah. was a good game. <laughs> ah, face, bitch. Um. 1990. It, the game was made in 95, okay? Bracho's been giving me shit because I've been playing UO. Yeah. And I got Raph on UO. Oh, Raph's Raph, on there Raph's now? playing now. How's that guy doing? Dude, he's doing good, man. He's just been playing the stock market and making say, money, he's dude. Be, did he get in the GameStop? What's up, Big Spin? No. He didn't get involved no. in that? Lanny called me like, like a week too late. And he's like, Tony, should I sign up this Robinhood account and get, get some GameStop? I said... Dude, no. I was like, do <laughs> not do that. He goes, you sure? I was like, yeah, I'm sure. I was like, first he's like, how does this work? I was like, okay. The fact oh, that you're no, asking me how, no, no, the no, fact no, that you're no, asking no. me how does this work? <laughs> do not put your money into anything if you don't know how it works. What's up, Big Spin? How you doing? Yeah. Um. So yeah, I was like, dude, do not, do not do that. I was like, if you want to start investing, come to my house. I'll show you how the things work. I'll get you signed up. And I'll, I'll teach you, but do not just sign up because someone sent you a link to Robinhood. Sign up, get free stock, and buy GameStop. Do not do that. I'll give you my referral code if you want. No, fuck that. I'm going to take care of it. I, I <laughs> I've referred a bunch of people, and they've signed up. And I think you were one of the guys I referred, and yeah. none of you guys signed up under my code. I didn't get any free stock. Nobody hooked me up. <laughs> my dad didn't do it. I had Robinhood before. No, we got it around the same time. I, I thought... I th I think I got it before you. You might have. Yeah. Yeah, could, I mean, you might have. I mean, it I me. had, I had because Robin Hood I for a while. I would have used never your used code. It. I, yeah, I never used it. I had it, but I never used it. I forget what I got. Um, why I bought? Why well, and I got it? And I started. Uh, when was my first stock I bought? I think it was Live Nation was the first stock yeah. I bought. <clears throat> but anyway, we'll get into more stock market stuff later. Um, There's a Live Nation, the uh, Ticketmaster, right? Live Nation, no, they're the, they're the production company that puts on Coachella, Lollapalooza, oh, okay. uh, all the huge festivals. They they're, have no affiliation with Ticketmaster? No. Okay. No. Oh, the GameStop stuff was crazy this week, though, dude. It's back down to like 40 bucks. It was at like 100 today. Oh, I thought it dropped all the way down to like 40 bucks already. No, it, it didn't drop that low. It was up to like 400. Most people, most people bailed. I mean, that's the whole point was <coughs> it wasn't meant to be a long term investment. Everybody knew that people. Yeah, were but that's sell the out. whole reason of short. That's basically people should have short sell. No, I mean, the short sales were fucked already. That right, was the whole point. Because, but it was just for that surge. If you would have held on to your short sales, it's going to drop that back down probably to it was like below 10 bucks when it all started. It was like yeah. nine bucks a share. It'll go back down. It's going to go... Dude, nobody goes to fucking GameStop anymore. No, That's that, the yeah, problem. But that wasn't the point. Is like the hedge funds already lost their money. See, but point. here's what I don't understand. Is one, GameStop's a dying store. You don't need GameStop anymore because you can download all your content directly to your stuff without leaving your house. Right. right? Unless you're buying a console, which most people go to Walmart and Target for now because they have cheaper pricing or uh, Amazon. You don't go to GameStop and buy a system anymore because it's always overpriced. It's always going to be the most expensive. Well, right you, now, you it might be one of the few places you can actually get You one. don't go to GameStop to sell your system back anymore because everybody knows you get fucked. Yeah. So it's literally a dying store. It's a dying business that in that retail video game space is dying. Um, sold me and used the game is new. Yeah. Sold me a used game is new. Doesn't surprise me. Yeah, I've seen that happen. Um, and it's just it's just not a good business model anymore. It's no, dead. that's but that's not the point. That's not the. That's point why, but that's why these hedge funds are short selling it because they know it's a dying business, right? So right. they're doing that because they know we can make money as this thing dies. But right. people, but the people, 
We're like, oh, no, we're not going to let it die. If you really don't want to go let it die, go to GameStop and b spend money. Don't That's buy stock point. in no, it. No, that wasn't the point. You're missing the point. Okay, what is the point? You're missing the point. These hedge Cheers, fuckface. With these hedge stocks. GME is going to the fucking moon. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Moon. Moon. Big spin we're with the sub. The Thank you so much, brother. To the moon. So, Wait, say to the moon. To the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I like when Chris does the echo. Uh... Uh, do we want to get into it now, or do you want to talk about it later? I mean, if we're on the topic, we're on the topic, okay, I guess. Okay, fine. Okay, so the point is, is these hedge funds were trying to short the stock so they can make money. Right. And, and, and when they do that, what they're doing is they're manipulating the market, right? They're manipulating. Not really. They, they are. They are. They're short selling it by betting. They're betting but, that but the stock's going to go is, down because it's a dying company. Right, right. But the, what they're doing is they're telling, they're telling their other investors, hey, the stock is going to fail. Don't invest in it. Don't invest in it. Don't invest in it. And the more they they keep their cronies out there, keep pumping this narrative, the stock's going to go down. So it, it's because they have a lot of money. They have a lot of pull. They go on a lot of shows. They do a lot of interviews. So they keep pumping the stock. I see what you're saying. And they keep saying, hey, this stock's going to fail. Don't don't fake invest in it. News. This yeah. They Are basically you, it's well, fake news. It's not because GameStop's not a super successful company. Company. But they're not doing everything wrong. They're doing starting to do things a little bit better. But still, they're struggling. Okay? But are they giving... So what are you saying is these people are going out and spreading this propaganda, right? Right. In a sense, that this stock's going to fail, so people pull out of it, which would then increase right. the decline. Decrease. Decrease, decrease the, the price stock of price. The stock. Yes. And then make them money on the back end. they're making them money on the back end. So again, yes. that's basically news. You're manipulating the market through news. So it's fake news, propaganda. Right. I mean, it's propaganda until it actually happens. So, what these these stock these and this wasn't only happening. This was happening with obviously AMC was one of the other stocks. Right. Bed Bath and Beyond was one of the other stocks. Both dying um, dying businesses. Uh, yeah. So Bed Bath and Beyond. Go to Amazon. You can get way better towels. But these guys have been doing it for years. And making hand over fist on them just going out there and but so so you do know you who know, these guys are, right? Right, but you, you know, know who these hedge you funds know Elon are, right? Musk, you know Elon Musk got in trouble when he went on Twitter and he said, oh, I'm buying back a shit ton of Tesla stock. That immediately dropped the price well, of the kinda Tesla like stock. Well, it's kind of like insider trading kind of yeah. shit, right? And basically, it's like, yeah, yeah. You, you can't be – he's manipulating the market. So he got right. fined for that. Okay. But um, stocks are very but, fluid, right? But, you gotta, but what you just told me about GameStop, AMC, movie theaters. Yeah. And uh, what was the other one? Uh, Best Bed Bath and Beyond. Bed Bath and Beyond, yeah. First of all, Bed Bath and Beyond is way overpriced. No one actually goes and buys shit there, except to there. reload your Soda Stream containers. Yeah, I've done that. Okay. <laughs> other than that, uh, no one goes and buys sheets or fucking towels from Bed Bath and Beyond. You want to be a competitive business? You want your business to do good? You got to lower your prices, get better pricing. Well, you got to take advantage of online sale sales too, right? Like sure. Online's the wave right now. Sure. Everybody's online. Sure convenience people want to ship to their house they don't want to have to go to the store right. especially during a covid time no one can go to the movie theaters right now so movie yeah. theaters uh, are hurting right so again a Kinda suffering fault, business but yeah and gamestop obsolete you know you don't need a video game store anymore it's not i i like i like gamestops i think they got cool shit in there but i personally don't even go in there you know what i mean so yeah. I don't think they're they're wrong in betting that these these companies are gonna kind of decline, and you got to remember who's the guys who are these hedge funds? These are the guys handling our four hundred one ks. I'm okay with them fucking making money because right. we make money off of that. Right. You know what I mean? If you got a four hundred one k, you're not the average person out there in the street saying, "Oh, we got to get these hedge fund guys and screw them." No, that you're fucking with your own four hundred one k now. Right. You know what but I mean? These guys are rich. Billions of dollars. Yeah, but rich. Th these funds aren't one person's fund. It's a bunch of people. These funds right. are funded by by our our retirement, our four hundred one ks. These hedge funds and stuff are funded all by this shit, right? It's not like one guy out like there with some his people's money. people's pensions and stuff like that involved. Right, with it. right. exactly. That's what four hundred one ks, pensions, but retirement funds. That's all tied together with these. Yeah, they we give like a company like Mass Mutual. Our money and they invest it for us in stuff like this. Right, but they usually do safer things like mutual funds and things like that. Right. It depends which companies you use. Right, for right, that kind of right. Stuff. Um, these ones were these redditors. Jesus, lol. <laughs> what? Poggers. 
these uh these redditors were were frustrated with how many of these hedge funds were making hand over fist over talking shit about these stocks when you know what they were like you know what we're gonna show them that we can do the same fucking thing on a reddit thread and we're gonna fucking take charge and we're gonna take charge of this stock and we're gonna make money this time they did a short squeeze and and what happens is you're not supposed you can't just keep overselling your position and and expecting nothing bad to happen because the stock market teaches you one things is gambling right it's basically gambling Right. right but you gotta you you also should be investing for the long term not the short term well, you, you can you, do a little of both. You, yeah, but you should. Majority of your stocks should be long term right, investments. Right. They shouldn't be. I'm trying to make money quick. You want to. You want a long sloping upward curve. Yeah. You don't want to spikes. You don't want spikes. Yeah. That's too volatile. I mean, you you can take risk here and there, and then sometimes you just need to get out. It's for you, big spin. Cheers, Put your shot emotes in the sh- in the chat, guys. Put them in there. But these redditors. Ooh. Talking stocks and taking shots. Ooh, my nipples are hard now. Ooh. <laughs> we all know the story. The Wall Street bets put that shit out there. Yeah. Everybody decided, hey, fucking time to, to pound these fuckers in the ass. Yeah. It's you the know? same. And it, it is like the same thing that you said, like betting, where you, if someone, if enough people bet one way, you move, what they do is you, you, call, move, the you line. move the line, right? Yeah. And that's what they did. They all bet one way and they moved the line. And some people made money, but a lot of people got fucked too. The people that didn't know what they're doing, like for instance, Lanny. Oh, I'm gonna sign up and just okay. buy some stock. Oh, I bought it two hundred dollars a stock, and I didn't sell, and it's back down to a hundred. There's a it's certain like, point yeah, where you just you lost hundred bucks. That's the thing with stocks: is a certain point you need to get in at, and then at that point, it's too much of a risk. You yeah. you, you 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 can make it. You can get in at a, to a certain point, and then when you hit a certain point, it's not worth more it. of a risk. Right, right. It's more of a risk than it. Than, than you got to get in. I would say the first five percent of the incline. So I saw it happening. I saw it happening that day, and I saw it at about seventy bucks, and I thought thought nah, it was too high. Already. Yeah, it was, well, no, it wasn't because it got up to five hundred. I would have been fine. Yeah, but would you but have sold? I would have sold. At what time would you have but sold? I, w- I would have held the line until till the weekend, and then I would have put in an order for because everything dropped on Monday, which was the expectation. Once I knew that the hedge funds were going to lose all their fucking money, once I knew that, they but had, you couldn't have made a play because Robinhood. Stopped everybody from they, buying. They were allowed. They couldn't let you buy it. I could buy it at that time. That oh, was, you could still buy. That it? was on. That was on last Thursday. That was a uh, Thursday. It's funny that they're saying, "Oh, we did it for your own yeah. good, guys." It's <laughs> like, and that was the no, whole thing. We so. know who funds <laughs> fucking Robinhood, which are these hedge funds, fund Robinhood, and they said, "Yo, stop this right now, or we're not gonna have money for oh, you fuck, guys." I just closed my whole browser. Oh no. Um, but yeah, I forgot. What the, I was look, trying to look up the uh, Melvin Capital. I think it was what their name was. Oh. Uh, oh no, I didn't. Good. Um, but they're being investigated now by the SEC. Oh, really? For what? Because uh, they fund Robinhood. For well, you you can't just they want to find out why they stopped trading on that stock, and they're saying right now it's because they didn't have enough. They have to have a clearance, a clear. Oh fuck, what's the word they used? It was the clearing Open browser house. and press control. Alt they T. needed a clearinghouse <laughs> deposit clearance, I believe, was what it was called. Basically, they have to have enough money. To back up, oh, ensure whatever. Back up buying? the amount of investments that are being made. I see. So if the money goes a certain way, they have to be able to be like, okay, we can still brokerage, yeah. be the brokerage for this account. We can. They got to be able to cover, cover their ass. bet. They um, got to. It's like betting with a house. Yeah. They, a house has to have enough money to cover the bets if they lose, basically, right? Yeah. But yeah. it's also very shady, like you said, that they are affiliated with it, one of these hedge funds, and. There's a lot of shit they're going to find out here oh, pretty I'm soon. Oh, sure. Uh, AOC was pissed. Obviously, she went to Twitter with it. Fuck that stupid Ted bitch. Ted Cruz agreed with her. AOC said, fuck you, Ted Cruz. You almost got me killed. I'd rather work with somebody else on this. Uh, but <laughs> basically... How did Ted Cruz almost get AOC killed? Uh, apparently, he, well, he he was one of the people who was going to vote for the the... The, it not to go through the vote not to go through the electoral votes not to go through so how does that get her killed her own mouth <laughs> almost gets her killed the dumb shit she says if the the whole point was that if the republicans just went through the electoral college votes like they should have because that's how an election works then this riot then wouldn't if have that's had how, the chance to well happen. if that's how it works then we wouldn't have the option to vote on it it usually goes smoothly yes but the reason we vote on things is because in case we don't agree on stuff, we can vote not to go wrong. Right, but these people were going against the votes of the people. 
which was so you so they say. I know I didn't vote. That was he was he was backing up my votes. I'm okay with him. He's anyway, backing up my vote. That's a whole other bag of worms. So I'm, I'm I'm part of the people, right? You are, but I am part of the people. You heard it here if first, folks. The election was legitimate, so, so those results should have standed. There shouldn't be Congress people going against if if the thing is supposed to, is legitimate, which I believe it is. Then they shouldn't be going against the will of the people. The people voted. Yeah, you, some people feel it was legitimate, and some people feel it wasn't. Yeah, but it doesn't matter if if the election is legitimate. So if if we felt it wasn't legitimate, it doesn't matter. We should still vote it through. No, it should go through. If unless they didn't, we they felt it was. Pr- they, they felt it was okay. illegitimate, We're so they go back didn't to vote. This. But if the election was, they needed to prove it, and they didn't. I agree. That's why your guys in the White House right now. So right? that's why. That's why these people that were put in Congress in the Senate shouldn't be voting against the voter because we the people have the ultimate voice. No, but they have the reason that there is that voting process to certify the electoral votes is because if there is disagreements, that is like the last point where you can say, no, we need to look into something. And if that was their that's their choice, their constituents who they were backing, that was their voice. And it didn't get heard because some idiots stormed the Capitol and fucking made a, a spectacle of things instead of letting due process happen. And then now some of it, these things just got pushed through. Some of these politicians' districts voted Democrat. They voted for Biden, and they still went against their See, votes. See, but no, the reason that some of those districts were standing and trying to oppose it is because they know who their constituents were. And they know there was some shady. It doesn't seem their constituents is so big, and yet these votes came in that were bigger than their constituents. It doesn't make sense. So that's why, again— that's why those voting things are there. It's if there's if there felt like there was discrepancies, that's the time to voice the opinion. And it would have happened if some people didn't fucking go crazy and, and rush into the thing and let law and let the law process happen. But yeah. because they interrupted it, things basically just got pushed through. And then it is what it is. And there, you know, if if there's anything that comes out, we'll find out down the road. But at this point, it is it what it is, right? It was a legitimate election. So. Hey, at this point, it is what it is. You your guys in the White House. You don't hear me, you know, I'm not I'm not trying to burn down any buildings or anything about it. I'm going to be quiet and I'll vote again in four years. Okay. But I will bitch about his stupid policies Yeah, when fine. he makes them. That's fine. Yeah, that's your right as an American. That's right. And I voted, so I'm allowed to. Yeah, that's fine. It's my voice. <laughs> and it will be heard, damn it. But anyway, I digress. Yeah. Let's carry on. What is this? Uh. Can we talk about how there was actual unity behind the fucking over Wall Street? Yeah. Both sides of the political system, uh, spectrum fucking hate Wall Street. Yeah, so there were Republicans and Democrats who were both right on board with fucking these hedge fund guys over well, because they were just making money hand over fist. And the whole point is that, hey, hey how if is, they're handling my 401k, I'm okay with it. Right, and what it all comes down to in the end is that Wall Street's still making money while the average Joe is – is suffering on the street or they're not able to pay their rent or they're not able to to, to well, I don't believe make that. their money. I don't believe that because let's take Raf for an example. Yeah. He's an average Joe. He just started trading right in this this year. Right. Or this past year during the pandemic. Right? He was unemployed and he started trading. Okay, so no income. He was using his his uh, stimulus checks to invest. And now that guy's up almost a hundred K. Right. So don't tell but me the average also, Joe but, but, can't well, invest if you put the work in. He he put the work in because he did the research. He all he uses was in, used was the internet, mm-hmm. and he went and did the research and he bought in the companies he believed in. And he's his portfolio is looking fucking beast right now. That's great, but Raf's a guy who lives by himself. He doesn't have any kids or any. He has to pay for diapers or groceries or nothing like that. Raf can live off a of fucking Taco Bell every night. I know he does. No, he doesn't like Taco Bell. Okay, what does he like? Uh, I don't know. McDonald's? <laughs> no, I don't know. I know. I've seen Burger, him eat McDonald's. I know he likes Burger King because yeah. he used to work there. Uh, same. But no, but that doesn't matter. I mean, you don't have any kids. You can invest. I, I did. I did, and that's okay. fine. Okay, Lanny has kids. He wanted to invest in games. I said, "Don't do it." He yeah, I told him, "Don't." He still has a job, though, too. Yeah, there's he a has lot a of job. people who don't have jobs, okay. and well, unemployment's not the greatest paying thing. Well, okay? like I was telling you, is Raf's Raf's fucking right, work was when, closed. Okay, there's not. He worked so many, at a movie theater. Uh, there's not a lot of people who are. And guess what? They did. They took their money and they invested in GameStop. And guess what? Some of them made some fucking money. Hey, that's great. That's awesome. But but. 
that's you don't have to fuck over hedge funds to invest smartly in the market or you don't have to manipulate the market just r do some research find the companies you believe in and you can make the same amount of money if you do the right research and you invest yeah. in the right companies. i don't know how many more times this will happen or if it's going to be a regular thing but i mean basically basically they're stream sniping is what these guys were doing these reddit reddit guys because they were looking at okay what are these short sellers short selling let's binge on these fucking stocks and fuck them and we'll yeah. make money and really it's only the guys organizing it that's making money because the guys that get in late they aren't making as much money yeah but but raf was also taking risk okay like raf if raf went in spent with that money and said hey if i lose this money i'll be okay no matter what you know what i mean if he that's how you always I should invest you should never invest just like gambling you I should never it. spend more than you can lose i understand what if you're saying that money you're putting in the stock market means you putting diapers on your table and feeding your family or possibly making 100 bucks over the next month you're probably going to put groceries and food on the table for your family oh of course of course so there are people out there struggling right now people who got in on gamestop early who maybe got it for five bucks a share then yeah then they dropped a hey, hundred bucks and they said I can afford a hundred bucks. Let's see what fucking happens with well, this here's, shit. Here's my thing: is look, it, there's a lot. I know a lot of guys that got kids, and they say, "Oh, I don't got money to invest." But every night they're buying a thirty pack to go drink with the boys That's before they true. go home. So you save all those thirty packs up for the week, and and don't go out on the weekend. Yeah, you can buy some stock. It's choices. It's what are you prioritizing in your life? If you right. want to invest for your long term, you got to make sacrifices now. So, yeah, hey, we might not be able to go and eat at fucking Outback tonight. We might have to, you know, cook at home and make some Vienna sausage and eggs and rice for dinner. Sometimes you got to do that. You know, it's called sacrificing. Yeah. That's what it is what it is. I mean, it, it can go both ways. You're right. Yeah. But, um, of course, I'm not saying don't buy formula. <laughs> don't not buy formula for your kid yeah. or diapers for your kid. I get that. You know what I mean? But uh, if you're telling me the average Joe can't invest because of these hedge funds nah that's not i true. mean they can't invest as much as the head hedge funds can. hey you got to start somewhere guess what the hedge funds are out nine billion dollars now <laughs> it's crazy but and they'll be fine some of them are going bankrupt yeah most of them will be fine though so mo like i bet you i bet you they'll get bailouts i bet you they get bailouts they, they better not they better fucking not i'm telling you right now they probably will but they better fucking not the one that backs the one that's nine billion got lost. My question is: the company is, that backed fucking Robinhood was the one that lost nine billion. Well, and why do you think they stopped the short? Uh, stopped the buying. Um, my question is: is who are these hedge funds representing? I think it's Melvin Capital. I want. If these hedge funds are representing, you know, like the police pensions, you know what I mean, or or uh, you know the teachers union pensions. I want them to do good. I want teachers and those people to have good retirements. They weren't. They weren't representing you know I mean? teachers. They're not representing government. I'm just jobs. giving they're you high risk. I'm just they're giving you examples. They're high risk pensions. If you or hedge funds, yeah, basically, they, it's they're gonna. They're, you're, you're in mutual funds if you want to be in safe stuff. You know, usually you're in stocks. You're in bonds. I don't know, man. I saw this movie called The Other Guys, mm -hmm. and Will Ferrell and um. <laughs> well, you seen Fun with Dick and Jane too, right? Yeah. That was the same thing. Well, that was based off of Enron. Yeah. Which same thing. Yeah, but Enron was your a fucking was, pen, Ponzi scheme, your, basically. Your pension was involved in Enron. Was Basically, you had Enron stock was your retirement. And yeah, you, and you got fucked. Yeah. Enron. They that didn't guy should have... I hope that guy's going to rot in he, hell. I mean... Yeah, I would. I mean, when you when you basically you selling stole fake from commodities. thousands selling of fake people, commodities and thousands and thousands of people. But that's the whole stock manipulation shit that we're yeah. talking about right now. Is well, it's the whole boiler is, room shit, right? Yeah, it's the like movie boiler you room. You got these guys who are like Enron's a new cool company. You got the new cool thing going on. And really you got the CEOs. It's you an got the empty guys building. On there saying, and it's just like it's an empty it, building. They trade energy. You, what the fuck does that mean? Well, <laughs> we take we take some electricity from Florida and we pass it over <laughs> to Texas. What the fuck? How does that make me money? Yeah. It doesn't. It's a joke. It yeah. was an empty building with s people in suits in there saying, give us your money. You're going to be rich. And they took all the money and yeah. you got broke. Go, go uh, for you, for you youngins out there, go, go learn about what happened with Enron to see like the ultimate like stock fuck over thing. Of, yeah. of Basically, they're pretty much of our lifetimes. Well, watch Boiler Room. Watch Wolf of Wall, Wolf Street. Of Wall Street. and Watch um, Fun with Dick and Jane's kind of like Jane a good will, play on yeah. it. It's not going to explain a lot of stuff, but you'll, you'll get, get the, the gist idea. of it. Yeah. Basically, they were selling 
stocks in a company that didn't make anything. But what it was was the stock the the company had all these subsidiary companies that they would hide their debt in. Right. They were basically so all these, laundering their Yeah, they were shit. laundering their debt. So they looked profitable because they basically were selling their debt to all these subsidiary companies and they were just an empty shell basically. Yeah. And people were just pumping money into it and they split with all the money. Eventually it imploded like a giant fucking volcano yeah. on itself and it just yeah. fucking exploded. Yeah. It's a crazy fucking story and it's amazing that those guys get like the least amount of jail time, and they get like they should be the ones getting in ass, ass like well, right I mean, prison. No, they never get. You know why? They got money for lawyers, bitch. Yeah. Have lawyers, and they're the ones who it, make out right before the, the thing, stock, cra- right before the stock crashes. They sell off a shit of course, ton of stock, and they make money, and they make a but, bunch of money, and then the everybody else fucking. Gets if you're gonna do something illegal, have a plan and have good lawyers. Yeah. <laughs> They knew they were doing illegal shit. They were prepared if they got caught. I mean, that's why there's a lot of the regulations in place now is because yeah, of because Enron. because of Enron. But uh, some guy made 60K from the GameStop thing and paid off his sister's medical bills. Well, that's a nice fucking dude. Good for him, man. That guy, I, I'm happy for that guy. Uh, that guy, I mean, you could still make 60 grand just playing stocks regularly, though, and not... That's a th- I manipulating don't, stuff. I don't understand why saying. governments are so mad at like cryptocurrency when literally the stock market just, well, the markets probably, are pretty pretty much the same fucking okay, concept. So let me ask you a couple. It's all qu- built off of speculation. But and, this is and, why I don't like cryptocurrency. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a couple questions. Yeah. W- what backs cryptocurrency? What gives cryptocurrency its value? There's not necessarily it's, gold backing it, right? right? And even with our dollar nowadays, there's no gold pack. Or but okay, f- fiat currency is what you would like to call it when you can assign it to something with value, with, right? Uh, with with an int- with a intrinsic value, right? right? Uh, a physical value, right? Bitcoin, no, it's it's nothing. It's it. So, but it, it's kind of the anti-dollar. It's that the, the whole point of it is that we it's worth as much as we say it's worth. It doesn't have to be tied back to a currency or a central government that tells us. But that creates an issue because yeah. it can it, anybody can say it's worth this or, t- or tomorrow. Well, that's why it fluctuates so much. You can literally but go so up here's by eight thousand dollars and go down what, by eight thousand dollars. What causes what causes the money? What causes its value to fluctuate? Because it's not backed by anything real. It's it's the what, only thing that yeah. causes it, its fluctuation in value is basically fake news. Well, it's probably it's it's a number of things. It's fake news. <laughs> it's that it's worth something to people. In general, right? The only thing that keeps cur- currency afloat in general is that people have faith in the currency. It's like a religion almost. It's like if you have faith in well, the currency, that the currency has value. N- modern day. Then, then, because yeah. originally a dollar was backed by a dollar worth of gold Yeah. in the treasury. There, it's no longer that. Right. But ideally that's what your currency, su- how it's supposed to be backed. Like right. I could go to the bank and say, hey, I want to trade this in for its value in gold. Right. And you should be able to. Right. But because of our society and stuff so big, it just doesn't go that way anymore. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, religion burns money. But it, it, I mean, everything, every currency is based on the faith, the faith that your your currency is worth something, and and then set how much said goods you can buy with that currency. Right. right? Now, there's the deep dark side of Bitcoin, which is that a lot of drug dealers use fucking bitcoin trade because there's no way you can trace it there's no way you you can trace it back to a bank or a, or actual even actual person there's no real paper trail because it, everything's it's, encrypted. It's all encrypted yeah so a I, partially it's in it's drugs that keep bitcoin worth money because mm-hmm. it's a currency that and it's something that's accepted worldwide right um you know and there's maybe no exchange not by rate. every government but by person to right. person, but there, and there's no exchange rate. Bitcoin person person, is Bitcoin yeah. worldwide. You can go yeah. on Silk Road and be like, "I'll pay you for those drugs in Bitcoin," and nobody will know who's on either side of the transaction. They just know, send it here, and I'll send this to your account, and nobody mm. will know. You know, like I start picking up my weed that way. Um, <laughs> but there's that part of it, but there's also just that. Um, it's what's it's, what's the smallest amount of Bitcoin you can buy? You can buy <clears> fractions <throat> of Bitcoin. <clears throat> but what's the smallest, like 0.100? I don't know. Point a thousandth of a Bitcoin? You, I, I'm guessing. Now that Bitcoin's worth so much, I'm guessing you can buy, like, a cent. 
like a sense word. A bit a sent? Sense, a bit sent. <laughs> I would and that's I wouldn't probably put my worth money like, in that. What, like 100 bucks or something like that, maybe? I don't know. I mean, I wish I bought some back in the day. Yeah. But it uh, just didn't happen. Um, and now the Bitcoin mining is becoming a thing again. So I don't understand that. So I can just make a program that goes to different websites and all of a sudden I get Bitcoins? How does that work? Bitcoin mining. Y- you usually need to have graphics cards that are powerful. And you sh- usually need to have multiple of them. But what it does is it takes pieces of what's called a blockchain. And Bitcoin will let you... When you take these fragmented pieces of blockchain and you put them together, it essentially means like once you put so many together you earn uh, like a fraction of a bitcoin like it's not even a whole bitcoin like you're talking like i think I the average miner it. it's kind of it's complicated i don't fully understand it either but i know it has to do with blockchaining and that basically you're taking <laughs> fragments so you're taking you fragments of bitcoins out there on the internet and you're kind of like so you're, you're skimming you're, you're, you're yeah you're kind of skimming off the top it's kind of like sifting for gold in a river See, and it's see that's, like, that's my point. Is you tell me I can just make a software that does this, yeah. and all of a sudden I can become making money off of just nothing. Yeah, they say like the average miner I think makes like between twenty and fifty bucks a month or something like that. If you have like a powerful that system, makes sense. Because so he said, Bracha said you can get like five bucks worth, but it's like point zero 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 <laughs> three four three four bitcoin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's huh. like fra- you earn fractions of bitcoins. Um. It, it doesn't so make it, sense it to me. It takes a while to pay itself off. But once it pays itself off, it's like basically you can set your rig up to mine and then you're just mining, you're getting money. But is that like is am I am I hacking other people's accounts and skimming their money? How is this working? Like it has something Am to I do doing with, some kind of job for Bitcoin and is that why I'm yeah, getting yeah. this I, Bitcoin? I, I think that's what it comes down to is you're like you're cleaning up the server. Cleaning up the algorithm or something along those lines. I don't know exactly how that, that sounds works, fucking sus, bro. Yeah. People make huge money on home raids. I mean, you can if you're leaving your shit running, but like, what you got to take into the factor is a how much are how how much are those graphics cards you're buying for mining? Okay. B how how much does it cost to run that rig? Because it's high electrical. Seven. Yeah. You're talking about a seven to eight hundred watt rig that you're running twenty four hours a day. That means your electric bill goes up by another. I mean, I'm good at math. Yeah. So if it's a math thing, let's do this. <laughs> But it means your electric bill is going up by like 200 bucks a month. I'll just plug it in and work. Or more. Yeah. <laughs> plug it in and work. If you have solutions to it, then maybe you have a solar-powered house and it's oh, canceling it out. yeah. See? Um, but if, you, if you're just paying your normal electric bill, say, in a place like California, it's probably fucking expensive. Even Hawaii, it's probably fucking expensive. Solar, bro. Um, hey, Chris, I bet your PC can't run the medium at this stable. At a stable 60. What is the medium? Hey, A-Track, I bet my computer can run it better than yours. Ooh, you guys haven't, <laughs> you guys comparing the size of your PCs? <laughs> my PCs. <laughs> Reese's PCs? <laughs> I don't, what's the medium? What's, see, he doesn't, Chris doesn't even know. I don't know what the medium is. I'm guessing it's the fucking algorithm thing. They have Costco-sized places that the farm Oregon. Bitcoin. Holy shit. Yeah. They're like basically server farms, right? Yeah. They do that shit. Yeah. Which see, I don't get that. That doesn't make sense to me. It's like you, the thing is, you gotta have a not, big upfront. You're investment. not doing anything physically, and you're making money. Right. You're not investing money, other than buying the rig. That doesn't make sense to me. That I can just run a program and skim money off the internet. Yeah. That sounds illegal. That's what it is. But it's, it's that's n- like that's like skimming the fucking service charges off everybody's credit card. Yeah. You you gotta take for for the average Joe. It doesn't. It, it has. It takes a while to pay itself off. Let's just put it that way. For the average person, it takes a while to pay itself off because you got to invest a good amount of money. But uh, if you're talking about what what Baracho's talking about, where you have a Costco-sized server farm in Iceland that's ice cold all the time, and you're, you know. So he, Baracho says he's ha- he's seen people in a fa- have a farm in a shed making like one coin a month, if not more. If you make one, that's pretty fucking good. That's pretty good. That's like, what, four or five grand, right? Nine grand? You got to be all in on that shit. I'm going to have to look into their it. Their rig is probably pretty, but Bracho, their rig is probably pretty serious, right? I'm guessing they have like, probably like I don't get, why does 20 the computer graphics have to, cards. Why does, a, why does a computer have to be so hard core, like graphically? That's how It's it, just running a math algorithm. The, the I would think the CPU works. would have to work, right? Like, 
let's put it this way: if you sell a GP, like if you sell a graphics card on the internet that you use for mining, it automatically loses its value because you just you're out? running it, you're running it twenty four seven. Okay, but what am I running through? <laughs> am I literally going into the internet and running around and grabbing fucking these p- pieces? Yeah. Or is it just a program running a fucking ticker? Yeah, you got to kind of just m- picture the internet, picture being in the internet, <laughs> and you have all these blocks, and it, it, you, what your graphics oh. card goes out there is so using the computing power of the graphics me. card. Is It, like it pulls sucks that me chain into the internet. And it pulls this block, oh, and it pulls this block. It's like Tetris, and then it makes like a... Once you get that line, you're like... You get a fucking... Motherfucker. Motherfucker, man, I was going to cash in my 10K for shots. Why can't you? It says cheers, Big Spin Skate. Oh, because you said shots. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> oh, did I turn it off? I might have turned it off. It's out of stock. What? The shots are out of stock? That did you set a stock sense. limit on the shots? That doesn't make sense. We're going to do it anyway. And then we're going to get into this beer tasting. How yeah. about that? Okay. Fine. How about that? How about them apples? Sounds good. Yeah, I don't... I'm not going to sit here and actually, under, like, try to explain the blockchain shit to you. No. I don't you know. You fucking explain it to me now, Christopher. <laughs> I No, just because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know exactly how it works either. It's very confusing Well, to me I either. know we can't buy Bitcoin in Hawaii, but could we farm it? You know Hawaii is like the only state you cannot buy. And do you know why you can't buy cryptocurrency in Hawaii? Because they charge you. They because the banks that or the brokers that give it to you need to have cash back cash in b- it. Back yes. The the amount you're investing. So which is Hawaii fucking ridiculous. Re- uh, Hawaii prevents you from getting fucking ripped off. In a sense, because let me tell you, my dad got ripped on some cryptocurrency shit he did with Tiny Tadani. Just saying. <laughs> Well, you know what? It's always a gamble, dude. Hey, it it, it is. If if I got in on fucking, you remember when we? <laughs> Big Spin says fucked. Uh, I'm fucking investing in stocks. I'm investing in thirsty tokens. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Guys, we're gonna let you know we're about to release a new currency called thirsty tokens. You yeah. guys, they'll be worth. I'm gonna call them barcoin. Point zero 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 one cent. But they'll go up. They'll go up. They can't go any lower. Yeah. Right now, everybody's on f- was on fucking. Uh, I forgot what the other coin was called, but Ethereum. No, it wasn't Ethereum. It was a weird. It was a weird one I never heard of before. This whole shit happened. I'm gonna make a coin called. <laughs> what, what was that? You Trump just, tokens. The, the chat knows. <laughs> the chat. Chat knows what. Dodge I'm in a hundred bucks. Yeah. Dodge coin. Oh, Dodge oh coin. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, really, I did hear something about that. And that was worth Dodge. like. That was worth like zero, 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 three, f- like. Yeah. See, but that's the thing. Anybody can make up a cryptocurrency, and if, if people invest in it, three ten thousandths of a cent or something like that. That's five ten thousandths. Bro, of a cent. just send me a dollar, and I'll send you something cooler than whatever that you get from Dodge coin. All right, guys, put the shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a three-way tie right now on our poll. We need to break the tie before we get into the beer tasting so we know what we're tasting. That's the key. Okay. Big Spin Skate. Wait, wait. Big Spin Skate came in late. So don't tell him where don't tell him where we're at. I'm not. I'm not. So he's going to be the deciding vote. So we have four beers to choose from, as you can see right there. We have the Zipline Kolsch, the Zipline Nut Brown, the Three Sheeps Fresh Coast Juicy Pale Ale, or the Three Sheeps Bon Bon Chocolate Milk Stout. A-Track, shut up. You can't say, don't, nobody say anything. Hey, shut your mouth, horse. (laughs) No, you guys are fucks. Okay. So, Big (laughs) Spin, I need you to vote for one of these beers, and you're going to tell us, basically, you're going to be the deciding factor of what we taste tonight for our beer tasting. Big Spin, we need your vote. So, it's again, it's vote Kolsch, exclamation vote nut, exclamation vote pale, or exclamation point vote stout. You let us know. Same thing with my friend Skate. What? Had a friend who just put in a few bucks for Dodgecoin just for the meme. He ended up making 650 Again, these are just like random things, though. Like, th- you're not putting your money in anything that's real. Yeah. I don't like that. It's like you might as well, exclamation point, 
exclamation point vote, then the answer, not vote exclamation point. You get a little backwards there, bro. How much weed you been smoking tonight? Did you say it that way? No, I said exclamation point vote pale. Are you sure? Or vote, yeah. I'm reading <laughs> it right here. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for Inappropriate Bar Talks. Beer Tasty. It's funny because we had Big Spin. We had one that nobody voted for. But you actually voted for the one that Tony's mom voted for. So you put it over. You put it to the moon. To the moon. Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight. For inappropriate bar talks, beer tasting. We're going to be tasting Three Sheeps Fresh Coast Juicy Pale Ale. And I got to fix whatever's going on back here yeah, because this is out of here. This is not the right stuff. Get in it here. out of here, bud. Hey, get man. It, get it on out of here, bud. I didn't know what it was going to be. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. He dresses at Big Spent. I've heard you shoving things up your ass is quite painful, so you might want to start with something small like your intelligence. Oh, wow. Ooh. This guy built up the bigger things like your he, oh. oh, someone's oh. fucking ripping right now. Is someone on their period? Right I now? know. Fucking A-Track. Relax, bro. Go jerk off and come back when you're calm. <laughs> Dude, the conversation we were having last week about, like, fucking... Would your... You asked me, would your wife be mad if you were caught... With a VR headset on and jerking off, or having sex with a dude in, in <laughs> cyberpunk. <laughs> that was a that's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> and, and by far, she would be upset with a VR headset on the masturbation. <laughs> oh, that was that. She did you ask her? No, no, no. Oh, no. I oh. just <laughs> I, I I just know that would be weird. <laughs> okay. That would just be awkward for both of us. That was like if I can I can at least be like, hey, it's a video game. I don't know what the fuck's going on, which is, you know. Anyway, I don't know. I think you know what's going on. All right. Who you recite to try this new beer out? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna f- I'm gonna fix this right now. It's not by it's not by uh, Beer Labs. Just so you guys know, I'm gonna fix that right now. I gotta find the Three Sheeps logo on the interweb. Let's find it. Here we go. Oh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Oh, man, if it's not super cold, I don't even want to play the game. Oh, really? Yeah. It's not good. That's not good, Chris. Okay. Oh, oh, excuse me. All right, guys. So we got the three sheeps. Fresh Coast Juicy Pale Ale. I want to bring this down just one little bit, little bit. Sorry, guys. Just got to make it, you know, make it pretty here. Okay, there we go. Okay, now let's get some music. Uh, Fresh Coast Pale Ale, huh? Let's see. What's the Kainu? Uh, oh, what's the Kainu? I said I looked at Keanu and said Kainu. They had to remove a certain thing from Cyberpunk involving Keanu. Keanu, bitches. The hormones in your soy milk get, in you, get into you and your <laughs> engorged mantids. <laughs> wow, you guys are you guys are going at each other. I appreciate that. Um, okay, Fresh Coast. I don't know what this is. Big Little Highs. What does this mean? I don't know what this is, but I'm just going to. Hmm. What kind of music you think this is? A uh, fresh coast, fresh coast, pale ale. 
I'm going to say spring forward. I don't know whatever that means. Hey, man, we're going to try this out, man. I don't know how it's going to taste, bro. Yeah, we're going to have a good beer here. <laughs> Fresh coast, juicy pale ale. Yeah. All right. Give me my Sharpie pen. Sponsor us, Sharpie. It's right here. This is the one you use, I think. Uh, I, if Sharpie ever sponsors us, I'll no. be eternally grateful to them. You love these pens. I huh? will never buy another shirt. I will never buy anything but Sharpie as far as Sharpie pens, pens go now for the rest of my this life. Is, you're a Sharpie pens guy. That's it, man. Wow. If they sponsor us, I will never buy another pen. Three Sheeps Brewing. Beer name is Fresh Coast. Juicy IPA. Or uh, Pale Ale, sorry. Not IPA. What was the ABV on this, Chris? Uh, should I read the description again? Yeah, do it again. Do it again. 4.8%. IBUs doesn't say IBUs. All right. Sheboygan. It's Sheboygan. 4.8% fresh coast. Today is February. Oh, you got someone's got a birthday coming up. Me? Who? You, you old bitch. <laughs> 22 Guys, years. Chris's birthday's coming up on the 13th of February. He's going to be 36 years old. What's the difference between a pale ale and an IPA? Well, one is just a regular pale ale, and one's an Indian pale ale. India pale ale. From, from the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> and India's not in the Middle East, Chris. Uh, generally, <laughs> it's short answer, T, uh, you know, um, what is it, TRDL? Too, too, too long, didn't read. What is it, TLDR? That's what I thought to say. It's a uh, the IPA is highly hopped, whereas a pale ale is not. A little less, hopped. little less. Highly hopped. Yeah, they're kind of made the same way, but an IPA has more hops in it. That's it's an Indian and, yeah. style. The reason India pale ale became a thing was because when the English traveled to India, they like the punch in their nuts. Uh, back in the days where they were, uh, you know, when there was white genocide and things like that. Um, <laughs> That to keep the beer f lasting from from England to India because they had to go around the, the Cape of Africa. They had to go around the Horn of Africa. The Cape of Good Hope. Yeah. And uh, basically the beer would go bad. But what they found out is if they throw a bunch of hops on top of the beer, the acid, they didn't know this at the time why it worked, but the acids from the hops actually preserved the beer and kept it drinkable until they got to their destination. Well, is it, is, are you talking about dry hopping it? Yeah. So it basically would make an oil film on top of the beer so bacteria couldn't penetrate right. it and get it funky, right? So they didn't know why, but That's they why. would throw the, hop, throw the hops on there, and the acidity of the beer was so high that it, it killed, killed bacteria. The, killed the, the infectious bacteria. Yeah. There you go, Big Spin. You learned something new today. So there you go. There you go. That's where that came from. Chris, are you ready to read it? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Three Sheeps Brewing, Fresh Boom. Coast Juicy Pale Ale. It's an East Coast style pale ale. Fresh Coast is an East Coast style pale ale brewed in the Midwest. Like most beers of the style, it pours cloudy. And on that's on purpose. This haze lets the hop oils linger on the palates, enhancing their naturally citrusy and tropical fruit notes. To get that haze, Three Sheeps cultivates a special Vermont E strain that is only used for fresh coast. It's the kind of beer you can drink all day, and we recommend it with fish tacos or spicy food. All right. The more you know. Bom, 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 bom. Oh, I could make, I could get that graphic, you know. Oh, yeah. Do it over the the front more you know. Oh, we should get that, yeah. That, we're going to get that graphic, guys. We're going to get it. Now, a pale ale is just basically without all the extra now, hop stuff. Was there any special ingredients in this? Did they say anything that stood out to you? Um, uh, Juicy, tropical, hazy. 
Uh, it doesn't say anything in particular. What the fuck is this music? God. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not against it. But no, I hate it. Yeah, it's. The I, I'm not liking the spring forward stuff. We're gonna find some more music. Um. Oh, I can use your thingy. Do it, bro. Do it slow. Oh, you didn't do it good. You gotta do it kind of slow. Damn it. That's right. Just, just do it again, cause we're beer, a couple beers behind. Oh yeah, I probably didn't count all of them. Huh? Okay, I'm vibe. I don't know how vibe this. All right, let's go. All right, we're pouring the beer in the glass, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. That's that song. All right, got some good head there. It's got a really good head. Smell it from here. Yeah, it has that kind of funk smell to it a little Very bit. Very aromatic. So it's it got good head appearance. Why do we have a screwdriver here? I don't know. You do things on the weekend with your wife here. And I don't know what you guys do. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, uh, head head size was pretty good. Head retention, I'm gonna say, is a medium. Head texture's kind of bubbly. Sheboygan. Clarity. It's got a little haze to it. It's got a little haze to it. I'm going to say medium on the clarity. Beer color is yellow to gold. So it's an East Coast Pale Ale, which usually means it has a wheat. Uh, wheat is uh, involved in the beer which gives it the hazy kind of color um but it also could be dry hot uh, which this one is um but the east coast style pale ale has been a style that's been kind of popularized um in the last year or so but it's basically a wheat ipa but it also has uh dry hops characteristics so sometimes it can be very light because there isn't a hot lot of hops in the boil, but they like to dry hop the beer with a lot of hops because the but it's oil light, so it's light with a lot of, of flavor. Beer. Yeah, it's light. It's light with it's drinkable with a lot of uh, aroma. Okay. So you get a lot of that hot oils and stuff that sit on the top of the beer. So when you stick oh, yeah. your nose in there, super hoppy, you're getting like a hot bomb Very in your tropical, nose. Very tropical, yeah. But it's meant to you get that smell with the with the drink of the beer, and it's supposed to kind of it's not a super harsh drink, but the smell is super pungent. Oh, no, wait. Esters is fruit smell, right? Not fennels. Yeah, this one's this one's nice. Very citrusy. Very tropical. How are we looking on uh, appearance here? I mean, I think it looks pretty dead on for a pale ale. It's got a golden amber. Golden amber. I went, I went yellow gold. Yeah. Put it up to the light. Your hand was in the way. So if you put it up to the light, it's more gold. Yellow, not amber. Look, go to this light. Your light's dim. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You get a, get a hint of, you get a hint of like a burnt orange. That's more of a. I think it's more gold and yellow. It's definitely more gold. Yeah. Definitely more gold. Malt smell. I get clarity a, wise. I get a little hazy. sweetness. Like, I'm going real citrus. Um, floral, citrus and floral. Very fruity smelling. Very floral. It's kind of taking me back. We haven't had a beer like this actually in a while, I feel like. Like just a straight hoppy New England style IPA kind of deal. It's got a little juicy vibe. Yeah, it's to got it. some juiciness to it. Big Spin's not not vibing our music. He said, "Let's do tropical pop." Then how about that? Getting a little bready. I didn't. I don't know. Little acidity. Definitely getting acidity. Yeah, a little bit. But I think that's because of the tropical fruits. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, sweetness? Yeah. Yeah, it's got sweetness. Huh. 
hops? I'd say it's on the higher side for aroma as far as hops go. You get any breadiness or toastiness or anything like that out of it? Maybe I mean, not toastiness. I but get a little maltiness. I don't know if I'd call it breadiness, though. It just it has like a multi backing, but it's yeah. not really affecting the aroma. You know what I mean? I think this is pretty. It actually smells more like an IPA than a regular pale ale. Yeah. Herbal, piney. No. Spicy. I get straight f like flowers and fruits. Maybe a, a, a dash bit of, pine. of pine. Yeah, you get some pine in there for sure. All right. You ready for the fun part? Yeah. All right. Cheers, everybody. bitter up front oh yeah it's light though i get more from out of the aroma than i do the taste it's actually pretty light pretty bland on the flavor kind i get a of. little more earthiness in yeah the, in the flavor it's more earthy but it's kind of bland yeah. it's not very it's not a hit you in the face like a. it's not a, it doesn't it smells like an ipa but drinks like a ale like a regular ale getting more yeah, I get some herbal in there too. Herbal, earthy. You get a hint of. It's almost grassy too, though. Yeah, that's more earth. It's more earth flavored, tropical smell. How about how about the body? It's, re it's relatively light. Yeah. You getting the hop oils? It's kind of yeah. got a slick slickness to it. Yeah, you definitely get that dry hop oil off on your tongue. I'm going to go grassy and herbal. <clears throat> Carbonation wise. Uh, I say it's right in the middle. Not a lot of warm. Maybe a touch of creaminess in there. Mm. No. Dry. Kind of biting finish. Yeah. Hops wise, I'd say it's pretty high though. It's got a lot of hop character to it. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, for a for a pale ale, it's it's pretty bitter. Yeah. It's got a little bit of sweetness too, though. Just like a it's, I think it's leaning way more towards the Indian pale ale than it is regular pale ale. I mean, it's like a weak IPA, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Here's how it looks, guys. You can see. Yeah, I got less light on my side, so you can see. I get. I, that's how I was getting more of the amber, and he was getting more of the gold. <laughs> yeah. They're the same color, I guarantee it. But just I have, I have less light on my side of the room. <sighs> Part of the bar is not as lit. Gotta tell the, the bar winch to turn the light on over there. Hey! <laughs> Get on the shack! <laughs> um, body's rather light. Here. Carbonation's kind of on the lighter side. And eh, no warmth. No, I don't really get any creaminess. It is kind of slick. I'm not saying that's a flaw, but I think it's because of that, uh, the dry hop. Fairly easy drinking, though. Yeah. But it's definitely got a slickness, a dryness, and a bite at the end. And the, the acidity levels are kind of high uh, in the nose. Yeah. 
In the flavor, it's a little more mellowed, but you get more earthy tones. I'll get, I'm just breaking this whole thing down. Hold on. Accuracy, technical merit. I gotta check my math. <laughs> pens down. Pens down, eyes up. I love these pens, dude. That's gel. Okay. Sharpie, uh, we need a new sponsor. S gels. We're willing to do your pens, dude. You hook us up, yo. Bro, I spent sixteen dollars on a twelve pack of these pens. If you guys push this clip out on uh, on Twitter. Put, Put hashtag, hashtag We Sharpie. love your pens for our beer tasting. <laughs> it writes so smooth. <laughs> We're sluts. A little bit. I used to be. I used to be a man whore. Now I'm a good boy. <laughs> Hurry up. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Am I going first? Uh, Sure. You're the guy. Go you, first. You going to set me up? Yeah, I got you, bro. Giving a three point seven. There you go. That's a good score. Good score. Oh wait, wrong thing. There we go. <laughs> mic stand's in the perfect spot for my score. Yeah. Well, you changed your mic stand. That's why. Yeah. So your mic stand's more of a vertical. Fuck you! Don't do that. <laughs> Don't rip it out. What are you doing? Okay, it's supposed to just come out. No, yeah, don't do that, bro. It's a 3.7. They can see it. Yeah, they they know what's up. Uh, <laughs> hey, not not bad, not bad. Uh, I get it. I gave this a 10 out of 12 on the aroma. I like the smell of it. I thought it had some nice, good hoppy notes. Mm -hmm. uh, it had some breadiness in there. You had some nice citrus, floral, piney notes there. Um, for a juicy IPA, I think it hit the mark. For not a, an IPA. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, East Coast style. Pale juicy, ale. pale ale, juicy pale ale. Yeah, um, it, but it hit those notes. It had a lot of those nice fragrances coming off the nose. Uh, the appearance, uh, yeah, it looks fine. Nothing yeah. wrong with it. Um, flavor wise, uh, I that's where I docked at some points. Um, I think the body could have used a little more wheat. Uh, I think we could have had a little more maltiness in the body, maybe a little more thickness. Get down with the thickness. Um, and uh, Ooh, ah, ah, ah. but uh, the, it transitioned from kind of citrusy over to kind of piney and herbal and earthy, mm -hmm. um, which wasn't a bad thing. I just think it could have been a little more well rounded. The body could have came through a little bit more. Uh, mouthfeel the finish was very dry and biting, um, and it was very clean and, and, and crisp. Like uh, that was the whole thing with it, it was a little too clean. I think, but not a bad tasting beer. I actually like the flavor of the beer a lot. Okay. Um, when you combine the smell with what you're drinking, like which is like the whole point, you're supposed to. The whole point of these glasses right. too are to be it's like so you can smell, smell while, while you're you consuming. Yeah. Um, in that case, I think it did. It was nice. It was a nice kind of balance that they had going on. <laughs> Fucking big spin. Um, overall, I think the style of the beer was pretty on point. Um, could it have used a little more? A little more body, a little bit more. But I think that was the biggest flaw. But I think the hop character was there. Um, maybe some of that citrusy notes kind of translated into the flavor of the beer, too. It might have been a little bit nicer and a little bit easier. Um, but but pretty balanced. It, was, it wasn't bad. It wasn't... Yeah, it wasn't bad. Okay. Okay. That it? Yeah. That sounds good. All right. I gave it a three. Point five. Eight. Yeah. <laughs> double. Double. Yeah, you know, um, 
I, I was right with you on the aroma. I gave it a 10 out of 12. Uh, I thought it smelled really good. It was very tropical and sweet with a dash of pine. Um, tropical and fruity. The appearance, I gave it a 3 out of 3. It looks like a pale ale to me. Um, I gave it a 13 out of 20 on the taste just because they were kind of boasting it being tropical and sweet and fruity. But I didn't get that from the flavor. I got, you know, bitter, kind of earthy more ipa flavored uh like more of an ipa palette than just like a regular yeah. pale ale um which is why i think you liked it even more because it's almost like a, a watered down pale ale almost yeah. um but yeah uh for a pale ale i say it was a little too earthy or a little too bitter for a pale ale um the mouthfeel i said it was had a slick oil finish from the dry hops and um uh, it was a little dry and biting a little dry and biting for a pale ale. Usually pale ales are easy drinking, and I felt this had a little bite to it. Um, I, and then, yeah, so basically, overall, it's not a bad beer. Nothing really stood out to me, though, for it. Like, there was no intangibles that really, like, popped. Um, overall, I'd say it's pretty average. Average beer. Yeah. Yeah. This would be one I probably would have more than one from them. I would probably have a couple okay. of these. Okay. Um, they are a little on the warmer side right now for us, too. True, true. So if it was a little colder, it might be a little more refreshing and crisp. Um, but uh, it'd be a beer that I'd be probably like, okay, I want to go back to that. And probably, I mean, it's like, not a bad it, it'd beer be a good at all. Sipper. It'd be a good one where you're just, like, chilling with. And you can, yeah. you can chug it if you want to, or you can kind of just chill on it for a little bit. My thing is, to be uh, honest, it tastes like a watered-down IPA. Like I feel if they would have kicked in just a little bit more ingredients. Yeah. They could have just went IPA with this bitch and it yeah. would have been really good. It's only 4.8%, so I think the idea was not to be an IPA. It was just meant to be like a easy we, drinking a, with a the hoppy, essence. It's kind of like a hoppy session IPA. It's a hoppy pale ale, is yeah, what it's it is. A, it's more of a session session IPA than it is a uh, like a hop bomb IPA. Okay. But the hoppiness is definitely there. Like if you're not a hop person, you're probably not gonna like this beer because it's got a decent amount of hoppiness. Yeah, for a, for a pale ale, it's got some bite to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why I was just like, okay, they're they're on the high end of a pale ale, but a low end of an IPA yeah. kind of. They're right Could in he, that that weird gray area. Yeah. Could yeah. He use a little more wheat, maybe a little more body, um, a, a little <clears throat> more thickness, Perfect but just tonight. a tad, not too much more, just like a little bit. But um, the hop character came across pretty well. Not um, bad. Not I like bad. the I like the hop character of the beer. It was really, it was good. So, it, we haven't had that flavor in a while, which I was pretty. I was like, oh, here we go. This is what I know. This is like the stuff I, I like. That's what you like. Yeah. This is Chris's. This is my alley. This is down my down my alley for sure. So this was what a uh, seven point two. Okay, yeah. overall. So average, average, average beer. Right, right on the right on the the C C line. Right. Not spectacular, but totally drinkable and totally. And again, you know what? I think you made a good point. If it was a little colder, it might make a little bit of a difference. And that's on us. That's not on them. Yeah, that's not on them. It's we we just unboxed it. You know what yeah. I mean? An hour ago. So hey, three sheep. We'll, I'm we'll actually, have this one in the fridge later, and I'm probably gonna I'm actually steal it. really looking forward to the Bon Bon chocolate milk stout. That sounds really good. Yeah. So, but they even said that one was kind of light. So that has me a little worried. We, I might we, just bring some milk. You and I don't like light stouts. You and I like heavy stouts. Uh, and so does Baracho out in there. So in we're going to we're gonna call Baracho in a little bit. But he was telling me he just tasted the best beer of all time. And they're not going to make he, It's a one and done batch kind of deal. Yeah. And he said it, it is the best beer he's ever drank. He's like, it's better than the Black Pearl. It's better than the Double Stack. He's like, it's better than all that shit. He's like, it was fucking amazing. And he said, he said next year, the place that made it might do a seller sale where they sell like old stock and shit. <laughs> yeah. So he said he's going to try buy three cans or like th three bottles. And he said he's going to hook us up with one if he can get it. We reviewed the Mackinac fudge, right? I think so. No, we did the breakfast out. We didn't do the Mackinac. Wait, wait, who's it by? Founders. No, we didn't do the Mackinac then. Okay, I'm gonna have to bring that one in. Because okay, so we're gonna call Baracho in a little bit. Baracho, you still there? The things I gotta do it soon because it may sell out before I can get more. Just get it, bro. I, dude, 
I might have the last keg on the entire island. I'm not even joking. Well, then bring it. Bring the whole keg. It's that good. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll bring, put a take. My keg thirty-two. Right I can here. bring my thirty-two ounce. Okay. Yeah. Do a do but, a growler. We can't sit on it. We have to drink it right away. So of course. That's the only thing. Okay. Well, like, like I said, I just got the beer box in this week, and then they already sent me a notice that the other one sent. So there was something fucked up with shipping. Eh. So I think we're gonna end up stockpiling some beers here, but that's that okay. Deal. That's fine. They were yeah. on point. They were on point for two months. You know what? It was we're Christmas. It was New Year's. We yeah, get it. Hey, it was holiday time. We get it. It's all good. It, and you know what? All the beers showed up. They weren't the the biggest thing is that they're not broken or yeah. damaged. Or Actually, they're the like way that. they pack their beer with these with these fucking like crates. Eight crates, yeah. Pretty good. Little penis <laughs> totes. Little penis. Little penis totes. They look like uh, they look like a bunch of dicks on cardboard. A bunch of fucking <laughs> dick dick covers. Uncircumcised. Look at him. <laughs> look at him directly in the eye. <laughs> All right, guys. Overall, seven point two for three sheeps. I'm really looking forward to the next one from you guys, which is the bonbon milk stout, chocolate milk stout. Sorry. Um, Chris, you got any closing statements you want to say? I did not have sex with that woman. Oh, we all know he did. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that sums up tonight's inappropriate bar talks. Beer tasty. <laughs>
ads, local Target ads. That's big money, dude. It's got to be expensive. I understand yeah. that, but more than we can afford. Be, it can't be as much as a national ad for the Super Bowl. What if we just made an ad and be like, "Fuck you, watch the inappropriate part." I mean, you're probably talking like thirty seconds would probably cost you like a hundred grand. Does at that least, sound about right? At least. How much would a? Yeah. I don't know. I can call. I. I could call Bridget, who's my rep, so at KHON. Just, we don't need an exact who, figure. Who, but well, who who is doing, who's doing the fucking Super Bowl this year? What what channel is it on? I think it's CBS. I want to say. If it was if it was NBC, I could get a quote. But if it's not in, if it's not NBC, then I can't. I think it's CBS. Well, maybe I could because KITV is CBS, right? They they own two channels, I think, right? They they do two channels, right? CBS. Yeah. Well, it's, you got to know who the the local affiliate is. Yeah, because so the it's, affiliate runs two. I think two, it's KITV. Think. And I don't know the KITV yeah, rep C- as good as I know my KHON rep. It's CBS. Yeah, I don't know. My KHON rep, I could probably call her and she'd be like, "Oh, it'd be this much." CBS Hawaii is. Hawaii Five O's on KHON. Is that KHON? Yeah. A thirty-second spot for a Super Bowl ad is like five point six million. Yeah, nationally. But Chris is saying there's there's K- local K- spots. KGM- KGMB. KGMB. Uh, I don't know anybody. KGMB. Yeah. So your local network, your local like television station that yeah. is your showing local the Super news, Bowl, your cable. They get a slot. They get a slot for just local ads. It's not shown on a national level. It's but I think they get like the one markets. slot. Yeah, it's like for a, the whole Super Bowl. Yeah, it's a thirty-second ad, and it's probably so. If you got one spot. spot for the whole Super Bowl, right? To sell that thing's gonna be like it's half probably a right million around, dollars. It's probably it's usually right around like halftime. I want to say. I want to say it's like before halftime or after halftime. I don't. I don't remember ever seeing that. There's watch. Local, you, I'm gonna watch, watch the Super Bowl. There's there's gonna be a slot though where there's like a bunch of local like just. Shown in Hawaii ads. Are you gonna be working for Super Bowl? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe I'll do a Super Bowl stream. I'm gonna do a Super U O Bowl stream. Super U Bowl. <laughs> super U O Bowl. Yep. Nip slips. I'm gonna be showing my nipples on the stream. No yeah. One, no one's. I mean, on that. a national level, 5.6 million. Yeah. But on yeah. a local level, it's still gonna be expensive. I don't. It's I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's at least 500 grand. Dude, but dude, I don't know any local company that can afford that other than like I don't even know. I can't even think of a local company that would that advertises on TV. I'm pretty sure Fujitsu did it last year. Dude, Fujitsu can't cannot afford a half a million dollar spot. There's no fucking way. I met them and they're they're, they're not affording that. They're a small mom and pop shop, dude. There's no way. Maybe Kona Brewing can afford it, uh, but that's it. And they're owned by Anheuser Busch. It probably depends on the market size and all that too. You know what I mean? Like an ad in like Las Vegas or I mean, you have a business call. An, call an ad in Chicago or New York would probably cost more than right, an ad in right. Hawaii or something like that, right? I don't like, know. Hawaii's so. pretty fucking pricey too, dude. Yeah, I mean, Hawaii's a big market too. I but, mean, like Oklahoma, o- uh, but you're you're restricted by island. Like so. n- like Lincoln, Nebraska might not be as high as obviously L.A. or New York or Chicago or Ho- or Hawaii, but you oh, got a can GMB rep. I mean, I'm sure I do, but I don't know him. Oh, I know who it is. Yeah, I do have a KGMB rep, but I don't want to call him. He's crazy. <laughs> just, just email and be like, how much, how much no, those run? Because he's gonna start bugging me for advertising again. I had to like call all my advertise people. And be like, look, I'm not advertising right now. Don't bother. Who do you me. advertise with right now? Nobody right now. Uh, you, we're guys not, com- we're not, you guys had a commercial on what? We we the last time we ran a commercial was on KHON, which is NBC. NBC. Yeah. So KHON is our local NBC affiliate. So, so he had a ad. You had you guys had an ad block. You guys are you guys had a you guys had, had a, a program. Had yeah, a, it was a program. It was like a, so a one did, year program. Without getting into too many details, how did your ad structure work? So you get like so many a month during like prime time. You get so much during like work uh, during the work day. Yeah. So like we we would target certain. Uh, demographics, so like we wanted to get the stay-at-home mothers, so we would target like 
daytime soap TV opera stuff. Kind of you know stuff, what I mean? Yeah. Like Oprah, uh, those those yeah. kind of channels, or the, that time frame, right? And then we would target um, sporting events stuff and uh, the news. Okay. So like prime time is like the news. News time, is a good right? one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's kind of what we targeted. And then what they do is they sell you if there's extra spots like the fillers. Yeah. You just get like these free spots. But it's so, like kind of bonus. Yeah, we would get like like maybe you get so it at like three in the morning. Right, or something right. Like that, right. We would get so many um, prime time spots a month, so many daytime spots a month, so many, and then they'd give you a printout of every time your commercial ran and and whatnot, right? Um, but it's basically just a numbers thing. It's like you get this many a month for this price, right. blah, 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 blah. Yeah. How can you ask money costs? Um, I or, think or, yeah, it was like a range. I think the program was like 50 grand for the year. For a whole year? Yeah. So it's not, I mean, it's not that bad, so, but it's still it's many, a chunk of change. And then it's how many per month? It just so you get like thirty. I, I I gotta look at the numbers and it changes yeah. all the time, and it depends too because you can you can certain spots are worth more. Yeah. So yeah. if you like if say if you didn't like oh I don't want to have like the primetime spots give me more of the daytime spots you can get more daytime spots for like less primetime spots right. you know what I mean right. so you can adjust it that way, um, and it just kind of yeah just it depends on how you want to adjust it, they're pretty flexible. You can change your ad too, like mid year, yeah. right? Yeah. If I say, "Oh, I got a new commercial," so I send them the video you file. You got a new location yeah. or exactly. something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that. But if you're looking at doing something like that, actually, for for taps and apps, the brand builder program through KHON would actually be a good thing to do. Maybe at least one year. Yeah. Because you're kind of there's people that know about you, and then there's people that have no clue what you guys yeah. are, right? Yeah. So you basically they help you build your brand. With that fifty grand too, you get like uh, online ads on yeah. their website because people go look up like khon 2com for right, news, right. and then you got your banner ads on the website, right. stuff like that too. So it's all like inclusive for like fifty grand a year or something like that. Not that you Are you doing installments and stuff over. Yeah, the it's a monthly. Year, it's right? a monthly payment. Yeah, they break it up monthly. So fifty grand over a year. You're paying is like what? four grand a month. Yeah, four thousand a something month. Something like that. Yeah, it's pricey. Because you could really, if you wanted to, if your rep was cool, you could break it. Down. You can go and buy it spot by spot instead of a package, and you can get more bang for your buck that way. Right. Because you could really dial in and be like, hey, I just want ads during this time and this time and this time, and I don't want online shit. Right. So that extra money that's going to your you online shit. The fat yeah, a you can bit. trim the fat a little bit. Yeah. But I mean, if you're interested in that, I can hook you. I got uh, my, my rep is really good. Bridget from KHON, she's awesome. She takes care of the, the homies. There you go. 50 grand a year for local ad spots on your local network. What I think we should do. Well, and I, I was telling you, I got some ads. So my goal this next year is I want to grow our local audience. Okay. Yeah. So I have some ideas of what I want to do to grow our local audience. And that would be. We don't have 50 grand. No, I don't. I'm not. It's not, not going to cost <laughs> more than like a couple hundred bucks. But, um. What I want to do is I want to 3D print some treasure chests, some inappropriate bar talk treasure chests, right? Put our name on it, put yeah, our yeah. face on it, maybe whatever. I can 3D print those. You know, maybe talk to Taps and Apps uh, for some gift cards and um, some other maybe local businesses for some gift cards to put into this thing, right? And then we go hide these things and make like a scavenger hunt where we go, okay, you guys got to check out our show. We gave a clue at this time in the show. And then we put it on our Instagram and we get maybe some we'll, we'll talk to some local Instagram viral like Instagram feeds and be like, hey, you know what it would cost or if anything to like promote what we're doing. We're trying to give free stuff to the people, but they got to go. There's going to be clues. Half of it's going to be on our Instagram. Half of it's going to be on our show. Is there going to be like a lock on the box that they got to like? There, there could be. There could be a combination lock. There could be a key they Drink might have to find. More oval team. Uh, never know. <laughs> you never know what it could be. But basically, it's going to be like, you got to watch the show and look for the, the, the clue. Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll be like, okay, guys, it's time for the clue. And we're going to put out the clue so that the local people got to go and sign up for Twitch. Log on. Look. And, the, and you know, it could, they could go look back and look at the video on demand. It doesn't have to watch it live. Right. But if you're going to be the guy to get it, you might want to watch us live. You know what I mean? So we're going to promote this. We got to figure out how to structure it. 
But I'm thinking like local gift cards to local companies and we go hide them on like some hiking trails or we go and like hide them in some like, you know, well-known local locations. Yeah. And then we, we just make like a little, little mini scavenger hunt. I think it would be fun. Could be fun. Could be fun. My clue is pointing that way. <laughs> Straight up. I could make a clue where it's like it's right. All right, is Baracho right there? Is Baracho in the chat still? It's right there. I want to know if Baracho's still in the chat. Baracho, you still here, bud? Because then, if he's still here, I think we're gonna have to uh, get his input on his mellow mail. Because I think we should break that open. I mean, if he's here, we'll we'll, we'll Discord him in. Hey, you let me know. I don't think he is though. So I think he left. Baracho, where you at? We're gonna drink the shit you fucking made. Uh, I'm gonna rap. No, I'm not gonna rap, guys. Why do I look so white right now? I look very white. I'm not that white. Too much light. Too much light on me. Feeling very, very bright. I feel like I'm glowing. I feel like I look like, uh, what's that movie with the fucking vampires? The Twilight. Like, I'm sparkly right now. I feel like I'm sparkling in the light. I don't like it. Anyway, hide one in North Cal for no reason. No, A, I'll totally hide one in North Cal if you find me out there. You want to pay for my plane ticket? I'll go hide it. I'll hide it on top of your house if you want. <laughs> Just pay for my plane ticket. Dump advertisement filter filler fly, flyers in North Korea. Oh, yeah, that's not going to happen. I don't need Kim Jong looking for me. <laughs> Fuck. Ooh. Speaking of Kim Jong, I kind of, I kind of got his hair cut right now. I shaved, I shaved my head a little more today, and I went real short on the sides. So I got, I got some Kim Jong going on. What do you think, Chris? If I do like the. Yeah, I told you that last week. <laughs> Dude, it's like almost bald on the side. I went short this time. No, I haven't. A track has or uh, Baracho hasn't jumped back on. So I'll take another brewski, please, sir. Yeah, so my Kim Jong, it's my Kim Jong haircut right now. That's what I've been. This is how I've been rocking it, though. I've been, I've been just doing the booyah. When you kind of put it to the side, it kind of you got like kind of a. Maybe a Mickey Rourke thing going on there? Or I don't know. Bro, this is how I've been rocking my hair the last couple weeks. Just been doing this. Is that how you're gonna have it when you when you run the forty when you run the Oh yeah, dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna have it I'm gonna get a French braid in it. Yeah. Some aerodynamic. <laughs> Bro. Uh tune in for the race. What is it, March tenth? Something like that, dude. Dude, Fuck, you got like a month. You know what? You're lucky, man. My keto drinks haven't come in yet. Do you happen to rule a small Southeast Asian country by any chance? I wish I did rule a small Southeast Asian country. <laughs> DJ oh, am I in DJ Polly D? Bro, I'm just I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, and you guys can probably tell. It's so I, short on the I size. cut my own hair. Yeah, it's, it's super short. Look, there's, none of this is straight. None of this did you cut straight. it again? Yeah, I shaved it today before I came I to the was show. Say. This side is like. Get looks, some length, man. Well, I went. I would use the shortest. I used the shortest buzzer that we had. <laughs> How's that, dude? It's pretty much bald on the sides, man. Yeah, it's super short. Uh, I didn't realize it was that short, but it is. Can't you get haircuts right now? Yeah. Okay. So norm. The girl that normally cuts my hair. Yeah. Is like fucking huge pregnant and not working right now and before that her salon was shut down so they're open now but she's not working so i got a good spot you can go i mean to be honest all i'm gonna do is shave my head and then i'm gonna let it grow back out and then i'll get a haircut all right, I'm just once i'm you, done you, once i'm done rocking the whatever this is yeah you got like a yeah. chinese thing going on bro this is the I like that Hawaiian hipster version of Bin Laden. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Guys, help us out in chat. What is what is the haircut Tony's got going on right now? Bro, it's this? the Viking top knot. That's what I'm rocking, bro. Uh, I think you're a little overly ambitious with that one. Well, I mean, this part. It's almost like a 
Conor McGregor wannabe. Oh, that's why it doesn't look right. This, this, wait, this part's the, there we go. There we go. Does that look better? You I'm calling this the Lao Lao haircut. It looks you, like a Lao Lao. Are you working Lau. in the shade of, shade of the gray out sh shit into your hair now? No, okay? dude. I, I, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just rocking the gray, bro. I'm rocking. So this is all gray right there. That's all gray. And then this is all gray. My head looks like a Lao Lao, actually. It does look like a Lao Lao. Yeah, it looks like Lao Lao. I got Lao Lao cut. Which I had at the campsite this past <laughs> week. It was awful tasty, but. Yeah. Nah, man. I mean, it's easy to take care of. And then, you know, if I have to, like, if I want to look like I have hair, I just, you know, let it out. And then I got hair again. <laughs> you can't even tell. The sides are shaved, you know? Your hair's a trip, bro. It is a trip. Yeah. Your hair is a trip, bro. You have weird hair. I do, but I have normal hair. It's just, it's just a, it's nothing you too have crazy like a or not. Bro, for a white guy, I got cyberpunk hair right now. That's what I'm rocking. I'm rocking the cyberpunk. I might go back to the Mahomes era, but who knows? There, I'm, I'm cyberpunk right now. I look like your cyberpunk character. <laughs> you do. You do. I'm thinking of changing the look of my cyberpunk character. I'm kind of. How's it. that, guys? Do I look? You totally do have the cyberpunk look yeah. right now. The shaved head with a... It's, it is what it is, boys. I mean, that's kind of the lesbo cut right now, too. <laughs> so, the same. Well, I eat pussy. <laughs> the male can I speak to your manager cut? <laughs> the Karen? <laughs> Don't... The, dude, I'm not I'm not a Kevin. What is, what is a male Karen? A Kevin? I think so. I think it's a Kevin, isn't it? Or a I, no, it's not a Kevin. It's a Craig. Is it a Craig? A Craig sounds like a male Karen. Yeah, that fucking guy Craig. He's a fucking bitch. <laughs> Do you know any Craigs? Ken. A oh, Ken. Ken. A Ken. Yeah. Yeah, Ken. Mm, I guess. <laughs> Jason Momoa look, bro. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think. Yeah, hold on. Slow your roll a little it's bit. It's my there, unicorn bud. look, actually. I'm, you, I'm. There we go. We bro, actually a lot of gray right here, man. So it was Reed's birthday. We were actually what having that conversation gray? about like. That's fucked up. What? What's up? What's up? I didn't realize how hot Gal Gadot was until the last movie. How I do saw you her. not know this? I don't know. I just guess. I guess I never seen the movies she was in. Like bro, Fast I and the Furious. She was when, in which one? Like the last four of them, really? She died. Uh, she fell out of the plane on the, in the last one that um, what's his name was in? Paul Walker was it Fast Five? She dies in Fast Five, but she was in three, four, and five. Uh, those are the crappy ones. I didn't pay Dude, attention. They're to all those. good. <laughs> I like the first like one, and they're then all liked, good. I didn't. I think I liked the first one, and I don't think I watched again until. I think I watched the second one, and then I didn't watch again until, like, the sixth, sixth one. I'm going to rock the hair for the rest of the night like this. What do you think? People are going to be like, what is going on? I'm a dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> kind of looks like a turd sitting on the top of your head. Hey, man. That's my hair. Just in the, in the <laughs> camera anyway. I don't know. It's just because it's twisty. It looks kind of clumpy. Here, how about this? I'll do the palm tree. Howdy -ho. I'll do the palm tree. How about oh, that? Bad. How's that? Now, what, what is it? <laughs> Dr. Seuss character now. I'm one of, what are they? Uh, <laughs> I'm one of the hoops. That's how I'm rocking it, bro, the rest of the night with the gray stripe. Look, god damn. Look at that. That's like a lot of gray, bro. Yeah, man. You got, stre you got like massive streaks going. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Anyway, moving on. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Can I find something news related? Oh, now Baracho's like back, bro. Did what? you hear what happened Frickin with the... Friggin' Craig's. <laughs> Baracho, we were going to drink your Melomel, but you weren't oh, here. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he back? Yeah, and then we were making fun of my haircut. Okay, yeah, let's pour it. Let's do it. Look at that gray streak, man. That shit is crazy. Yeah, you're like Sindel out of Mortal Kombat. 
got some crazy gray, dude. Totally Sindel. What? Still can drink it. Yeah, we, we're gonna, bro. Just. Okay, we get him. We get him. We weren't sure you were, we were sure you're gonna be here. Yeah, we we weren't sure. Playing with a. Playing with our emotions. Raft. We're playing with our emotions, bro. Okay, we can put this back in the fridge then if we're gonna drink his Mellow Mel shit. Uh, and then, uh, which one should we try first? The dark one or the light one? Who has 66.9 thousand followers? I don't know. The Lily Koi? Or, or, or the Blackberry. Lily Koi or Blackberry? What should we, we'll, we'll, we'll jump into Discord in a second, but which one should we drink? The Lily Koi or the Blackberry? I was going to say, we're only going to do one tonight. So one is Lily Koi, one is Blackberry that he actually picked. Let's get the let's do the Blackberry one that he actually picked. We'll do the Blackberry tonight. Yeah. Get that fucking goober out of here. I'm gonna go rinse my cup. I'm gonna go rinse my cup. Obama decided to show up on the podcast. What's up, Obama? How you doing, man? Good to see you, bro. Hey, that's not very nice. That's not very nice, guys. That's not very nice. He's an all right guy, okay? He's an all right guy. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to try the Blackberry Mallow, Mellow, 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 Okay. Let's get Baracho on the line. Okay, I gotta wait for Tony to come back. He went go shishi. Baracho, get on your uh, get on the Discord, and we'll jump in here in a second. We'll get you on the line. I know we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want the drone strikes. We don't want people to get violent around here. Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. All right. So our viewer, Baracho, has sent us this fabulous bottle of Mellow Mel. And it's homemade in his basement where he keeps uh, dead bodies. But he promises that it helps the fermentation process. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give it a try. This is from April of last year. Is this okay to drink? Sure, it's fine. Is it on the line? Yeah, but I want to take it on the line. We're going to go on the line. We're going to take your pictures. We're going to put them on the line. Put them on the on line. line. Oh, shit. Yeah, it needs to be aged. Okay, perfect. So I'm guessing maybe a little bit of fermentation took place in this bottle. There's probably a little sediment at the bottom. Let's get this guy on the line. We're going to get him on the line. Do you want a video in or just vocal in? You let me know. Because I can get you in either way. Whatever's easier. Whatever he wants to do. Baracho, are you there? Oh, wait, can we hear him? Hold on one second. Hold on. Hold on one we second Baracho there, buddy. in the chat. We're going to be connecting with him here in just a second. Hello, Baracho. Can you hear us? Baracho, are you there, buddy? Oh, wait, I heard him. 
Shut up. Hey, there he is. Hold on, I'm gonna turn on the music a little bit so we can get to you. Damn, I can't turn this goddamn music down anymore. Okay. Baracho. Baracho, are you there, sir? Yep, I'm here. What's up? Hey, what's up, buddy? Nice to see you. Nice to hear you. <laughs> I was trying to start Chris to do it. shake it so much, but he was like flopping Oh, it all Chris, over don't the shake place. it so much. Too late. You, you flopped it all over? <laughs> it's all good though, man. Why, it just why? won't look as nice. It looks uh, like oh, it looks you, like you a potion the... that you bottled for us. Yeah, oh, it looks yeah, quite mysterious. Like so, I'm not gonna get Russian poison here, am I? So did you you actually uh pick these blackberries on your own yeah yeah dude went out and where i used to work and picked them in the woods so this wasn't from like a farm it was just random blackberries in the woods you picked yeah from behind my old job now <laughs> there wasn't like a it was you weren't working at like a sewage treatment plant or anything were you yeah you weren't like ninja turtle shit with like the ooze was like Seen like some mutant fucking yeah, like blue blackberries that right? were like six feet around. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I drank it. And Yo, man, ate them, these so. are street blackberries, bro. They're from the hood. Nah, the these are wild, man. Oh, they wi the they wilding out. These are wilding out berries. Okay, locally sourced <laughs> berries. Doris sounds exactly as I thought. Who's Doris? I don't fucking know. He says I look like some fucking stupid video game character. I don't. I don't know. You look like a lot of characters. You're just a character. I don't yeah, know who don't Doris know. is. All right, I'm opening it's it. It's like from Raid know. Shadow Legends or something. Okay. <laughs> Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like uh, what every YouTuber. But yeah. Is getting so it's not filtered. So that's why I was like trying not to shake it so much. But oh, it is what it gentle. is. It's got I'll a nice gentle. color. It's like it's like. Uh, I mean, I'm not afraid of sediment. Nah. But it's like a, I'm like not a... trying to win no awards, but Shrek is in Raid Shadow Legends. Okay, member berries. Yeah, you member? Member? I member. There's I remember. some fat pores, man. Oh, Shit's why is like, this what twelve percent? We're gonna finish this. Is it really twelve percent? Oh, dude, we're gonna be fucking I'm toasted. Pretty sure it is. Yeah. What the fuck? We're gonna be toasted. So yeah, after mellow, this. mellow. I sent you guys me last time. Look how pretty yeah, it is. that's nice. It's a nice color, dude. It's very nice. Yeah, yeah. It's from the blackberries. All natural. All natural. So what? How do you make this? Give us. Go through the process. So a mead is just honey and water. Right. And a mellow mel is honey, water, and fruit. Oh, okay. So basically, you just added fruit to a mead, and it makes it a mellow mel. What's up, mommy? Licious? Yeah. So it's there's all there's like a percentage ratio that makes it technically a melomel okay but i don't know what the percentage is probably like 60 40 or something i don't know good 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 Ooh, i got a little sediment i saw it yeah it's not that bad There's yeah, not it's just blackberries probably you know so it's just water yeah. honey and fruit with yeast right it's water honey and then i i pasteurize the fruit fruit and squeeze the juice out how do you pasteurize the fruit just boil it at 180 for like 10 minutes oh, okay and what does that do to kills it? bacteria and shit yeah okay, okay sterilize the fruit okay tony yeah, used to yeah. buy the show some testing equipment like what kind of testing equipment we are the testing equipment oh, did you have any yeah, issues with fermentation no i don't what did you uh what I kind of yeast did you use to ferment this fish? um i used like champagne yeast? yeast? I don't know the name. No, it's a mead yeast. It okay. can go. It can handle like really high alcohol, like twenty two percent. Yeah. Okay. Gonna say, because this has a lot of sugars in it. Usually you a need lot. a higher. Well, he said it's twelve percent. Yeah, you need a yeast that can can actually ferment it because <laughs> if you don't, if you have like a normal yeast, it may tire out and may not actually mm -hmm. ferment it out. Yeah, I actually believe that stopped. It like stalled out. So there's probably like two percent residual sugar in there. Yeah. Okay. So it'll be a little bit sweet, but it has a blackberry sweetness, not like a sugary drink kind of So sweetness. did you add sugar to this, or was it just from the honey and the blackberries? The sweetness you're tasting is just from the honey. Okay, So, but you didn't add any sugars to it? No, I didn't back sweeten it. No. Okay, so basically it's all naturally sweetened, 
and all the sugars that you used to ferment it was all from the honey and the blackberries. Ooh. Yeah, it smells like a wine. Yeah. Okay. All like right. Well, let's uh, let's get in this motherfucker. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Thanks Remember, for it's twelve percent. So cheers. drink it. Drink it, it like a wine. It smells like a wine. <laughs> it's got some fucking balls to it. It's a little more malty though than a wine. I, I guess. Uh, Yeah, it's very sweet. I think if you age this for a little bit longer, it would definitely have a lot more wine characteristics. To it's it. got some fucking kick to it, though. I can like it. It yeah, it kicks you in the chest a little bit. It may like that sweetness may get cut down a little bit more if you aged it a little bit longer. Usually the burn goes away. Yeah, you get yeah. It's yeah, not yeah. it's not super. It doesn't burn a lot. You get it the kind of taste. You get the, it kind of has a um. What's the alcohol I'm thinking of? It's uh. Did you use a special kind a of honey, indie. or was it just uh like a standard? Oh, uh, that's just clover honey. Yeah, just a standard clover honey. Yeah, it's organic clover honey from Costco, I guess. It has a kind of a cognac essence to it. Yeah. Like where it has like that dark fruit kind of uh alcohol burn to yeah. it. You know what I mean? It's, it's got some kick to it, Bracho. It's good though. It's sweet. If you barrel age this, it'd be pretty bomb, I would think. The, yeah, the aroma is really potent. The yeah. aroma is potent. Yeah, I have some that I I got some like barrel chunks from a homebrew store. Yeah, the the and wood the wood chips. Threw them in, yeah, yeah, and then just threw them in like a gallon jug of it for a year. Yeah. It's really sweet that and one, tasty. Can, it came out a little bit darker. It's actually pretty good. Did it taste pretty good? Yeah, you already. You, I think not, if you, you still have it aging, like, or did you drink all of it already? Um, I have like two bottles left. Like the, but the, it's not. It doesn't get like barrel aged like how I thought a barrel aged beer is. Like yeah. you could taste the wood and the oak, but yeah. it's it's there, but not strong. It probably adds a little more like you might have to put a little more sticks or something to it, right? Yeah, you probably need like ten pounds of them or something. Yeah. I mean, it's really sweet. It, it tastes really good. The smell punches you in the fucking face, though. Like, it smells strong. You can buy, like, those little mini b aging barrels now, too, I guess. Like, there's, like, remember the thing I sent you? Buy? Well, you remember and the thing I you sent you? You can go to Lowe's and buy, like, a full-on barrel. barrel. Yeah, they sell. Really? Yeah, at Lowe's in White Kelly, they actually huh? sell full barrels. I, no. I yes, they do. They do. Lowe's. Huh. Yeah, I know. I don't know if you want to use it to ferment a beverage in, but they they have them there. No shit. Yeah. Interesting. There's there's plenty of places over here that sell barrels because there's a lot of wineries in the gorge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing you but would have to go. Like, yeah, I but would go you to want a wine barrels, right? You want you want like a down a whiskey barrel. You want a whiskey yeah. barrel. I mean a whiskey barrel. But I'm I telling you, think... if you age this in a whiskey barrel, it's gonna come out tasting like a cognac. If you put this in like a sherry barrel, it might be kind of nice. I think you'd have to age it for years, like two, three years. Yeah. Mm. Well, get on it. Yeah. The reason why this <laughs> one's so sweet, like I said, it stalled out. So, yeah. And I tried to um, repitch the yeast and it didn't do anything. So I just bottled it. Yeah. Mm. Did you try using a yeast booster or uh, like a I did. yeast nutrient? Yeast nutrient. Yeah. I did like all kinds of crazy shit. Yeah. Sometimes you can get like the, sometimes the yeast like energize they're called like yeast energizers or yeah. yeast nutrients and they'll boost the propagation of the yeast so it like, ferments more but if it's super it's high it's got alcohol, a really good it's flavor probably, man it's probably pretty boozy if it didn't work out that means it's probably pretty high in alcohol i'm telling you right now this is strong yeah i can feel it i can taste it, it doesn't say it on the bottom yeah it said 12 something percent right not on the no it doesn't say you have a date i think it's 12.5 i usually shoot for 12 yeah. It's sweet though, like you don't. It doesn't taste. And once you once you get it in your mouth and you get away, get your nose away from it, you can't really notice the alcohol. I get the because it's nice and sweet. Yeah, it's sweet. I get the blackberries and the honey for the taste, but the aroma is like it smells like a very strong wine or like a cognac or some shit. Yeah, it smells uh, like the original kind of wine drink. Yeah, dates good, back though. to the. Uh, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like I'm getting fucked up already. <laughs> I did one. <laughs> I did one like this that tasted like this, and I ran into the same issue. I couldn't. It got to a certain point, and I couldn't ferment it anymore. 
And like, you think yeah, maybe... I think that was the the highest one I had. I think it was supposed to be fourteen. Yeah. So do you guys think maybe the, the, it, the actual fruit maybe kills off the, the fermentation? Well, if there's too many sugars that the yeast can't convert into alcohols, it eventually gets too tired and it can't ferment. It can't ferment yeah. anymore and it just stops. It, yeah, it, it's okay. like, oh, I'm tuckered out. Yeah. <laughs> my my <laughs> yeast is a little tuckered. So what you usually got to do before you put yeast into something like this is you got to create what's called a starter. Yeah, which, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which basically propagates the yeast and it multiplies the yeast so yeast starts with like say like a normal pack starts with like a billion cells once you use, make a starter with it it duplicates like five that five billion multiplies it to right? like five billion yeah. and then you're hoping that's enough so it's gonna eat all the sugar yeah basically before, before it gets it dies, tired yeah. out yeah before you're it giving eats. it basically you're giving it a jump start to reproduce so there's more of them yeah. when you drop yep. them in yeah yeah i got you and then yep. uh and whenever you taste like residual sweetness or something in something, it usually means that's the sugars that just never got. So out. here's what I need from you, Chris, is I have a distiller at my house. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing there. I was making hand sanitizer. I need you to come over and like, <laughs> let's make some alcohol we can drink. You can make that. You could. You oh, could I could make this that. easily. All I need to do is if I get red wine, I can just distill that. And I got brandy. You know what I mean? But it's not going to taste like brandy by in the store no yeah it's gonna taste like butthole brandy but <laughs> well you don't buy but we wine can flavor and, and it put later. it in a barrel you don't do that you you're a distiller you want to get a clean spirit and then age it with like you can put yeah. it in one of those carboys so, you have well what and then those... put the wood chips on top of it and right then you can get exactly some yep. of those woody characteristics well first of all you, yep i can take a carboy worth of fermented uh alcohol Run it through the distiller and I get like maybe a gallon. So I don't need a carboy full of. Yeah, you see like a gallon jug. Yeah, we can get like yeah. a gallon jug, throw some wood chips in it, ferment it, and make it a whiskey. You know what I mean? Or make it rum or whatever. It's. I'm saying if you want to make a bigger batch, then we can make a bigger. That's batch. what I I make small batches because honey is so expensive. Well, I'm talking about spirits, not. I'm not so talking to about. Make one your, when to make one of your make one of your batches, how much would it cost you? Make one batch for yeah. like uh, so like if I do a, if I do a five stuff. if I do a five gallon ferment, I'll get probably a little less than a gallon of like pure alcohol. Yeah, um, cost me like. Well, I was doing it as strong as I could, so I was using. And you were like, just doing straight sugar. Too, I was doing right? straight. Well, I was using corn sugar. Oh, okay. So, so it was, dextrose. Yeah, yeah, dextrose. And uh, oh yeah, that shit's souped up. Dude, I was fucking. Dude, I was making like 100% al pure alcohol. Like it was like the first batch I made, I was like, "Is this even working?" I went and sniffed it, and I almost passed out. Like yeah. I was like, "Oh, oh fuck!" <laughs> like, I got like all wobbly legged and blacked out a little bit, but I didn't like hit the ground. <laughs> but I was, it's like fucking. I just took a whiff of jet fuel, man. I was yeah. like, "Oh fuck!" Like I almost pa yeah, I almost knocked you out. You had Everclear, is what? You yeah, had. and I took a whiff of the fumes. Yeah. I almost fucking went night night. What would so happen have if like, you use cane sugar? Oh, you can use yeah, cane you sugar. You can, but the, so but the cane sugar doesn't dilute in the water as good. So the reason people use the corn syrup and the dex or the corn uh, sugar and the dextrose uh, because it's like a powder, and as soon as it hits powder. the water, it like dissolves into the water really right. easily. And in order for the yeast to eat the sugar, it has to be dissolved in the water. Yeah. So in home brewing, uh, dextrose is actually used to carbonate the bottles. Because what happens is you have your yeast that's still active in your beers. Right. But it ferments out what's supposed to be. But what you do is you add a tiny bit of dextrose to each bottle of beer. It makes bubbles. And it creates CO2. You cap the beer. The CO2, the, it carbonates in your bottle, and it creates carbonation for yeah. your beer. It doesn't add any mm -hmm. flavors or anything like that. Um, well, yeah, and that's adds why a little they bit use, of alcohol. Well, that's why they use the dextrose is because you're basically getting pure alcohol, flavorless, odorless. And right. then... From that, you can water it down. Yeah. Because I'm getting, like, I was making, like, 99, 98% alcohol to the point where it shattered the fucking vial I was putting <laughs> it in uh, to test it, which was really weird. But anyway, it just literally shattered that. Um, but you make, like, you basically got to take what I make, water it down, and then age it and flavor it right. to make, like, whatever you want. I found a Jameson clone recipe where we could try to make our own jameson but you know it's not gonna be the same i mean unless you have the same water the same exactly. ingredients the it's same the subtle barrels. things you know what i mean it's the subtle things it's not gonna taste the same but what's up <laughs> yee yee
But yeah. there there are barrels that they sell that we can just get a barrel and and we well, make, I think make you a can batch, buy, throw it into. You a, can like, buy. They're like Jack small Daniels. barrels. They're like yeah. they're like half gallon barrels. But you can buy Jack Daniels like old Jack Daniels barrels and old Jameson barrels. Yeah. Or you buy the wood chips. Bro, like that cloud was fat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I've realized is, okay, so I, I went from six to three. Yeah. And now I can take, like, way fatter rips because it doesn't bite your throat so much. Dude, but this guy, like, two months ago said, oh, I'm quitting vaping. That's it. I, I, was, <laughs> I was, hey, I, Dude, I'll be honest. I tried. February 2021, still hey, vaping. Hey, hey, I cut my, my milligrams down, okay? It's baby steps. From Dude, this, that doesn't mean shit. From this, I'm going to go <laughs> another step down, and then I'm going to quit. You know, but I've had a, down I've had what I've, zero. That's what, that's what I thought yeah. too. I was like, I, I went down to three, and I was thinking, ah, I'm not, I'm gonna start like trailing off, and then I did it even more when I went down yeah, to three. Yeah, you do do more because it's you need well, it's twice less, the amount. Yeah, yeah. But what I did notice is, yeah, I vape more. I take more puffs now that I I'm at, I'm at three. Yeah. So yeah, I understand what you guys are saying. Turn grandma die from coronavirus or something? Oh, dude, don't say that oh, shit, come bro. On, come on, don't man. Put the bad juju out What's there? wrong with you, bro? Fucking dick. Get the tip of your height. <laughs> don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby? Come on. So I have a uh, agave this from is... where I work, and I put, I made a. Uh, um, Making patron. I don't know what the fuck it's gonna make. Well, but they use agave to make patron, right? right? Yeah, but it, I'm not gonna be able to distill it. Yeah, agave is like a whole process. So send it to me, and then I'll distill it. Agave, you have to like <laughs> roast it, and then you have to like squeeze the juices. Yeah, out this of is it. just pure I agave really, syrup. I really like the flavor of this. Yeah, the nose kind of hurts. It's good because it's so strong. It's good. It kind of drinks like a wine. Yeah, and you know, what? I'm not a fan of like the smell of red wine. This yeah. smells like red wine. But the flavor is oh, yeah, really good. I put good. a shitload of grapes in there too. Shut the fuck up! Did you really? All the skins. I'm allergic to grapes, you fucker. Yeah, I know. That's why I did it. Dude, I'm going to die. Oh, shit. Sure. Uh, well, you win some, you lose some. So hey, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Just took it, man. At least you won't be playing that game no more. Hey, first of all, Baracho, you know you want to play the game, bro. You know you want to get in on that shit. I'm good. Don't do you it. You owe is fucking, fucking dope, do son. Do I'm telling you. So if you were to distill a <laughs> bottle like that, how much do you get? Like a capful? What like this bottle? I don't even think yeah, it like would. Dis- it wouldn't even distill, dude. Like it would just, <laughs> it would just turn into vapor. Yeah, you, you. How much do you? How much water? Like how much of a solution do you start with? I start with five gallons of sugar water that's been fermented, okay. basically. And how many, then how I, many get about, of I get about. I get about a. Do you use? So the last time I think I used sixteen pounds of sugar. Sixteen pounds of sugar. Yeah. Okay. For wait, five wait, wait. gallons, it was. It's a lot. Okay. So when you yeah. ferment the sugar, how long do you ferment it for? Uh, I was firming it usually about two weeks. And, and then what does it taste champ- like after? I was using... Um, you use a champagne yeast. No, I, I bought uh, fuck, I bought a special yeast for it. it was so like I, tri- I tried, I tried yeast, some champagne probably. yeast and it didn't do much. Yeah. So I got rid of... First of all, I first I bought a fucking 50-pound fu- bag of granulated regular sugar. Like mm-hmm. G&H sugar. And it just didn't do. It and needs with, to be super with, hot with the too, champagne. To, with the champagne yeah. yeast, didn't do shit. Like, yeah. just didn't work. So I just fucking. I so you put fifty pounds of sugar. No, in no. Five gallons of water. No, fifty. Uh, you, I put sixteen pounds of sugar in five. It wasn't five gallons of water, but it equaled to it once the sugar was diluted in it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, what yeah. did the? What did did you? I don't know did what you hydrometer. I, it? I, did, I didn't hydrometer it before oh, I fermented. Geez. I did it after. It doesn't oh, work like that. Oh, jeez. I, I know. I, I learned. I, it was so a you learning. got a guy that makes learning. beer sitting right next to you. You're I trust me. I tips. tried to fucking get him to come over, and he just didn't want to come over. Well, you got to take an OG and an FG. You got to take an original gravity and a final gravity to figure out how much. I am the OG. You're the FG. Fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, okay, so then what? To explain what that to the audience, like? there's a gravity. You take an initial gravity that it shows you how much sugar, sugar is in the water. in the water. And then you take a final gravity that shows you how much sugar is not yeah, in the water. After the yeast ferments it, then you find out how much sugar is left over. And yes. you create a formula. That tells you how much alcohol is actually in the I solution. I learned that after the fact. Yes. Jeez. But so, like I said, I invited, I, invited, I, invited, I invited Chris over to help me 
And he's oh, I got it. I'm too busy. I don't have time. Well, anything. Tony was trying to turn this like hand sanitizer thing into a business. It uh, would have worked yeah. too. So it wasn't like for Tony. these damn meddling kids. Now, now if, if Tony <laughs> was like, come over so we can make some alcohol to drink, I'd have been like, yeah. But he was like, I'm trying to make Okay, so answer anything. this question though. What did it, what did it, the sugar water solution taste like after it was fermented? Yeah, did you like taste it? Like fucking sugar water that had alcohol in it. You tasted it? Like, yeah, I mean, like, I, I didn't of? drink like a cup of it, but I was like, yeah. it just tasted like. It tasted like alcohol. Yeah, probably. It tasted yeah. like it tasted like like a really strong, unflavored beer is what it tasted like. Yeah. And then oh, once I well, once I I'll drink to that. Hey, hey, grain barley cast. There you That's go. Right. This is the guy How's we need going, to be talking man? to, man. How you doing? Um, after I I like your emotes, by the way. Um, after I fermented it, I tasted it. Welcome to the party, pal. Hey, hey, all right. Thanks, thanks for, for the host, host, man. We're going to have to do a shot for this guy. Um, we had the 10-viewer hype. Too. Oh, and we got 10-viewer hype, son we of did. a bitch. Oh, we had it. I, I saw it. That's a seven on my side. Oh, son of a bitch. Now we lost it. Um, so, yeah, like I'm telling you, I basically can produce eth- – it's straight ethanol. Yeah. But then you got to water it down alcohol. and flavor it. You know what I mean? Right. So the, that's the part I don't know how to do is Minus flavoring the head. it. You got to take the head off too. You no, so the... okay. So here's the thing with the, yeah, the yeah. system I, I, I bought. Would, okay, so yeah, okay. So supposedly, the system I bought, there is no head and tails. The way oh, it, I don't know about that. It, so okay, hear me out now. So supposedly, what they say is just to be safe. They say throw away the first fifty milliliters. After yeah. that, everything's supposed to be consistent until it just stops right. making. So there's no heads and tails. Yeah, it's all like body, supposedly. That's they're telling you to be safe to throw away. Just throw away the first fifty yeah. milliliters. So I, what I was yeah. doing was I was throwing away like the first hundred, just because right. it, basically you want to throw away if there's any uh what's the gas um, methane methane yeah if there's any methane yeah. in it you don't want to drink that. that that's the stuff that makes you go blind. Yeah, you don't want that on the t- so anytime you make a liquor you take that off the top. You always so, take like a. The way to test the that, the you way to test that's it, that's bad stuff. You don't want to consume it. Is by by lighting it on give fire. It to some homeless guy. Yeah. Well, no, you don't give it to. Them. You <laughs> light it on fire. <laughs> if it burns, or, or the devil. Now wait, hold on. If it burns orange or yellow, it's meth. It, meth no, meth methane. Alcohol. If it burns blue, then it's ethyl. Okay. So, everything I was doing from even like, and I tested the head, the fi- first fifty. I burnt. I lit it on fire. Burns blue as fuck. Yeah. So, supposedly the way that they set this, the the system that I bought is set Sell up. Sell it to the blind for a cheaper price. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like that. <laughs> well, they can't get any more blinds. <laughs> what if it made them fucking unblind? Oh, whoa. whoa. Hey, now. <laughs> what if we could make the blind to see? That might be our, Hey, if it could make people blind, why couldn't it give people sight? Should be able to do the exact. What if the, when they take a shot, we just slap them in the back of the head as hard as we can, <laughs> and like maybe they'll just be like, "Hey, I can see again." Yeah, you're welcome. It reminds me of uh, Summer when he sells them the bird with the duct tape on it. <laughs> oh yeah, pretty, pretty bird, bird. <laughs> yeah. pretty bird. What was his name? Uh, I sold him to Billy Forsey, <laughs> the blind kid. <laughs> <laughs> I took care of it. Dumb and dumber. Right. Dumb we're gonna do. We're gonna do a shot for the ten viewers. And I don't see the ten viewers. Cast. It was oh, there. Yeah. Ten viewers for like a second. You it know, was longer than that, Baracho. Shut your God mouth. God damn it! I'm drunk. You were not drunk. You made me drink this blueberry fucking shit show over here, and I'm now I'm all toasted. <laughs> not nah, Baracho. It's good though. No, it is good. I actually really like the flavor. It just smells like red wine. Yeah, I'm sipping on it like a wine, not like a, you know, I'm not drinking yeah, it like a beer. It's not like a, it's a fucking slow sipper. Like, I'll drink one bottle. The flavor's really the good. Time. Yeah, I'm glad we're not doing both. The flavor's very good. Yeah. I, I really like I get this, a lot actually. of honey. I why get don't a lot you, of sweetness. And then why I get, don't you uh, make some stuff the, like this at your place? You could make this. This stuff would be easy. pretty easy, yeah. I can, I can get you honey. What's the rules? Hey, fuck you, Tony. I've asked your brother for honey, and he's like, oh, man, I don't sell honey. Like, do you want me to get you honey? How much honey do you need? That's the question. If you need five fucking gallons, you I can't get three, you that. Three pounds per gallon. Three pounds? How much is three pounds of honey? 
fucking three pounds of honey. Three expensive. pounds of honey. That's yeah, I know, but I'm thinking like ounces wise. Because my brother only has a couple hives running right now, so he doesn't get like a lot of honey. So what he sells his honey for is like he sells it to like Roy's for a premium. What about wax? He can get he, he has wax, but again, he only has a couple hives, so it's like the wax takes a while to kind of stock up. Yeah, he's like all natural, yeah. So he doesn't yeah, like, he doesn't yeah. like he doesn't like to try to over like some people will try to overwork the bees, I guess, in a sense. So that so like a normal like grocery store brand sells Don't buy your honey from a grocery store <laughs> ever. I mean twenty bucks? I, honey I, bucks I, I get for organic I get organic blackberry honey from this like bulk dude that's place. what you should use to make this if you're using blackberries use the blackberry honey this one's american uh, raw unfiltered wildflower it's what? honey is 3.5 gallons is expensive. yeah but dude the blackberry honey with the blackberries is gonna like mesh well together we're back at the 10 viewer hype thank you guys okay. um oh, it's 11 now. oh 11 viewer hype yeah so this thing is saying raw thank unfiltered you. honey is 3.5 gallons costs 130 bucks yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, honey's not. That's cheap. expensive, bro. So, what's the rules, Chris, about if you made something like that at your establishment? Can you sell you can it? You make whatever, it's right? Technically, you, not beer. Yeah, I can't do distilled spirits, but I can do fermented beverages. Fermented. Okay, okay so yeah. that's fermented. Okay, cool. yeah. Dude, I think you could. I think you would actually. If you made something like this, I think you'd sell it. Yeah. Distilled spirits is another license. That's why this actually tastes but, really good. Um, when you and meats are alcohol. getting really popular up here. They're canning them and shit, making them like like six percent like um seltzers and shit. Yeah. All right, it's, it, There's a meadery oof. here, but they're fucking expensive. A meadery? The, the, or yeah, a mead. They, they they do meads, but uh, they're super fucking expensive. But it, it makes sense because the ingredients are fucking expensive. Right? Right? Right. And it's it's kind of a niche market too. Yeah. So you're got, you're getting kind of like that boutique. It's almost like fine wine yeah, territory yeah. you're getting into. He is like my stuff. kryptonite, man. <laughs> yeah. Honey is very expensive. I was drinking beer, I'm good, but if someplace has mead and I take a couple of those, I'm like, Psh, over the moon. Yeah. It's good, man. I really, I actually really enjoyed it, bro. I'd rather just, uh, I can load up a, a beer with a, a shit ton of malt and it would cost me 50 bucks and I would get mm-hmm. a, a pretty fat beer out of that. Uh So, I don't know. It, it just depends what kind of styles you're trying to make. And, and honestly, a majority of every beer batch you know is is pale malt. And then you have, you know, it, it, pale malt's about 50 to 70% of your malt bill, depending on what kind of style you're making. And then the other, tw- you know, 25, 20, 15% is your specialty malts, like your dark malts, your brown, dark malts, bro. yeah, you know. Whatever. Yeah, or whatever you're using wheat. Yeah, like wheat can be like wheat's one of the few ones that can be like half of your malt bill, but a lot of the darker stuff, like you're not going to use more than like twenty five percent. Like, and that's oh, like man, pretty dude. fucking heavy. I told Tony about that beer I drank. It was it it killed black. <laughs> like it's my new favorite beer. It's yeah, a, he was telling me uh, about this. That's for your soul series from. Um, Grab the bottle from Oakshire Bur- their coconut oh, coffee one. I know Oakshire. Oakshire. It's the Imperial Stout is Kentucky bourbon transferred. Oh, is this the beer you were telling me about cap. the other day? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, dude, he said this is the best Finished beer he ever drank. And and Ethiopian no, wait, coffee stop, from stop, coffee start again because I interrupted. Start again. I'll be quiet. <laughs> Imperial Stout. Aged in Kentucky bourbon barrels, transferred to a coconut rum cask, and finished with toasted and raw coconut and Ethiopian coffee from Farmers Union Coffee Roasters. It's so they they aged they made an imperial stout and they aged it in bourbon barrels for a, eighteen months. Then they put it in this um uh, what is it oh the coconut rum cask for like another twelve months or something. So the beer's like and it three years old. Super, super thick. He said it was the like, best. He said it was better than a double stack. He said it was. <laughs> yeah. He said it was better than the Black Pearl. Was it better than? Yeah. The, did we send you the Japan beer? Yeah. It was better than the B- Japan beer. 
Yeah, it's the best beer in the world. I would give it like a hundred out of ten. All right. Oh, have you ever heard oh. of the the Whittier the the uh, Whitter 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 from uh, Lagunitas? Mm, is that their Imperial Violet? Yeah, it's like uh, I'm about to is get some. Is the black with gold letters? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've had that. Okay, I'm about to get some soon, and I'm gonna bring that bad boy in, but. She's going to bring that bad boy in. So what I was going to say was you get a beer box, you're not going to get it. Yeah, because yes, that's like an exclusive beer. It's called uh, Will It Will it Tized. Okay. It's, uh, I don't know if that's the same It's with uh, Kentucky's own Willet Distillery, um, and they put it. Uh, they put bourbon and rye in the barrels, and they aged them. Uh, they impi- they aged the Imperial Coffee Stout in their bourbon rye barrels. Like I'll be honest, I don't want whiskey in my beer, though. You know what it's I like mean? A car bomb. Poly- yeah, poly- like I don't want whiskey. I don't want you to infuse whiskey in the beer. I just want maybe like it aged in the barrel to get some essence of the whiskey, but I don't want actual whiskey in the beer. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? You guys are gonna have to when this COVID shit calms down and they have beer yeah. festivals again. You guys gotta come oh, yeah. up for either Festival of Dark Arts. Or Oakshire Hellshire Fest, dude. It sounds like it sounds a like a satanic. Cult. Cult. Yeah, those like, are two. But I'm down. Those are two strictly all barrel aged beer beers? festivals. Uh, and you dude, get how do you not lit. get? Yeah, how do you say, not? How do you? Yeah, not, how do you drive you home after the whole fucking thing? How do you the, even get the out Oakshire of the place? One, there's like the hotel is like walking distance, mm. and then the. And then everybody's the, just puking um, all over the park. Yeah, just, just a bunch of yeah, black dark, vomit everywhere. Yeah, it's like literally <laughs> looks like Satan's asshole drives like in the parking lot. Oh, your, your mom drives you? <laughs> yeah. That's probably smart. Me and my dad. Oh, I'm getting a ride from my mom. Dude. My mom would be like, fuck it, that, though. I'm drinking too. All right, we're going to have to come up. All right, well, let's do a shot yeah. to uh, amazing, we'll do a shot to the Blackberry Mellow Mel. It was really good. <laughs> I actually really liked it, Bracho. Good job, man. Hey, yeah. I was say, say, and the sure. grain and barley cast, thank you for the follows. Or for, drunk the, already. for the host. We appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and I'm drunk. To all you guys when we were at the 10 viewer hype at one point. Woo! We, we were, were at 13, apparently. Here we go. Monday, I'm sending out a box. It's got that moose drool in it for you, Chris. Nah. Ooh, I'm excited. All about right, that. we're gonna send you some of the stuff we tried over the past month. We have a bunch of the beers left over here, so I'll send you some stuff. I'll send you some uh, beer lab stuff too. Any uh, particular styles you want to try? They're kind of like they do a lot of sours, but the last sours I've had from them are kind of mediocre. Eh. Eh. Dude, did um, you guys get a chance to get that um, Zippy's collab they did with the no, cake? No, no. Wait, what? The, dude, that shit literally sold out in like five fucking seconds. They did a like, collab with even... Zippies? Yeah, they did Wait, a collab what, the with Dobash, Zippies. Dobash that shit cake? sells out so quick. What kind of cake is what they I want to know? They go faster than the 37 You're not answering my question. <laughs> what kind of fucking cake did they do a collaboration with? Uh, I think it was the Dobash. Shut the fuck yeah. up. I think it was the Dobash. It was like a stout with Dobash in it? I, I think it was the Dobash. Dude, yeah, cake. and then... Oh God, dude, and you didn't get any of this? I'm pretty While sure. While they're mashing you're out... You're supposed to like, know they this. They fucking throw cake... They threw cakes in there dude it was on their oh instagram my god dude yeah. i'm pretty sure it was a dobash yeah it was there was a chocolate dobash cake oh my Which... god you should have had that that's right up the alley <laughs> of the oreo you. cookie it thing it sells out so Fuck fucking selling quick. out you should you should make friends with these like, guys there are, chris there you are... should get we should get it for free <laughs> there are bots that buy this beer shut the yep. fuck up yep there are bots that buy this beer chris you are a brewer you're in the scene go make friends with these guys and be like hey anytime you make something good Put a growler on the side for me and I'll pay. It don't work like that. No, fuck, it doesn't. If I was making water and my fellow water people wanted some taste of my water, I'd put some on the side for them. Yeah, but you have like a tank with 20 million gallons of water. They made Dude, that's how like I make 30 my gallons water. of this Step beer your or game up. This is the one. Did, Here, I'll, I'll, I'll link their Facebook page on the chat, but here, look, look at this shit. Just scroll down, and you'll see. I'm yeah, I think upset. the bots got that beer, dude. Seriously, it went so fucking quick. It's not dude, even a joke. Japanese. I seen people what? posting Chams? like, "Oh, I had it in my cart, but when I went to check out, it disappeared." Yeah, exactly. 
Like literally, that's like literally what's happening with the fucking graphics cards right now. That's exactly what's happening. Yeah, and like fucking people buying shoes and shit like that. I didn't get it. Uh, I'm just on their Facebook. Oh, here is this yeah, it? Yeah, scroll down a little bit. But zip. What is it called? Zip. I think they were selling it in Zippies too, if I'm not mistaken. But huh. oh, it's called the Sip Pack. Yeah, I think they sold it in Zippies too, but it like fucking guaranteed Kanak attack after this combo. After this, come uh, Hawaii. Hawaii DE beer for the Austin. Awesome right but yeah, the phone, dude. Sit pack. Oh man, it was yeah, the Dobosh cake. Dude, I told you, Chris. I'm mad. At, I'm mad at you, it. bro. I'm mad at Chris now. I'm mad at you. Why didn't he go and get me this? Tony, follow them on Instagram, and they always post their releases. Okay, I'm gonna have to. But good luck getting it. Dude, Maybe you could you trade some You know me, water. bro. You know me. I'm gonna go make friends with these guys. Dude, you should. You should talk to them about what kind of water filters they use. And Fuck shit. water filters. I'm telling you, should you should just make it with a little water, bro. That's what I'm saying. Nah, but I'll be honest. Uh, purified water and distilled water isn't the best to make beers because no, it's so breweries, clean. Breweries make their own water. Hey, I'll, I'll install the RO for them if they want, but like they they want like but, I guess they want like filtered water and then they add like yeah, minerals filtered's and shit one in thing, it. but reverse osmosis takes everything out of the water, everything out. That's what they want to start with, and then they'll add their own and they'll make their hey, own that's... water profile. So my brother actually, the rum that we were tasting, this rum. Right yeah, here. yeah, I remember you were talking about Kohana that. rum. My dad, so or, my, my brother, my brother maintains their whole water system. So, so yeah, they probably do the same thing. Yeah, they they, they use a reverse filters. osmosis, yep. and then what and then they, they do they is they their own. Well, they yep. ionize the water, which is an mm -hmm. extra step that you don't have to do, but they claim that it it helps. So they ionize oh, the water, yeah. and then they make it. You ever you ever drink beer at a brewery, and you're like, oh, this tastes like pretty good homebrew beer, not like a commercial beer that you buy in a can or right, right. a bottle at a store. Yeah. Is the water yeah yeah for sure there's like breweries like around here that you go there and you're like they're new and you find out oh yeah the guy was a home brewer and now he you know made a brewery and it's like yeah i can tell his beer tastes like home brewed beer yeah so and here's my he's... theory behind it though okay so in theory purified and distilled water because it's so pure it tends to want to leach whatever it comes in contact with Right. So in my theory, and again, this is just how it I'm absorbs. thinking. I'm thinking it would absorb more of the flavor of the malts, more of the flavor of the, the, the hops, and whatever else you add into the water more efficiently than, like, let's say, a tap water would. But I know Chris is kind of a stickler for this. He likes to use kind of a more like a filtered water or a tap water because he feels like the pH and the stuff in the water kind of add to the flavor of it. Am, yeah. I, am I wrong on that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and that's what homebrew beer tastes like. Right. With water that you just use, like filtered water and this. But the big breweries, the breweries that are making these, like, crazy good beers, they're getting, like, pure water and putting minerals and Yeah, so whatever they're, they're starting with a blank yeah. canvas. Yeah. Exactly. And then And then creating the base themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then painting making their, their perfect, picture. Quote, yeah. unquote, perfect water so it's for like, making beer. It's well, like, here's it's, the thing. I went to Stone Brewery. And I asked them, I said, what kind of water you use? And they're like, literally, we use the California tap water to make our shit. That's, and they I might just like, be, they <laughs> probably get that water, but they filter it probably. Yeah, I'm sure they, they do they, some, they, 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 they process it, it at yeah, some point. It at some There's point. no way they're just using regular California city water from yeah. the fucking The way I look faucet. at it is, is, okay, you have painters, right? Like artists. And you have some artists that go to Ben Franklin and buy the canvas and paint. And then you have some artists that build their own canvas, right? Yeah. The guys that build their own canvas, which is like the the brewer starting with pure water and then building their canvas and then painting the picture. Right. So I there's a little my own canvas and painted it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, but rubbing your dick on a fucking <laughs> potato potato sack doesn't count. 
I rub my dick on your potato sack. <laughs> Don't you rub your dick on anything of mine. I know. I picture <laughs> he's like a Russell Brand motherfucker over here. Like. <laughs> what? Who's Russell Brand? You know who Russell Brand is. I know who Russell Brand is, but who? Me or, or, or Frank? Oh, okay. like, with his canvases and shit. <laughs> Just rubbing oh, your, dude, I made a cool rubbing painting. Your dick on What'd you make paint? a painting of, bro? Put it in the Discord. We have an art section, you know. Raw power. I have to get my phone. Wait, I'll post it up, though. what is this outline wait, 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 of what a was flat it, uh, phallic symbol? Oh, it, was, it was it was that one. Uh, she's too good for you, or something like that. What was it? She's out of was? your league. She's out of your league, and then it had that that one. Oh, he was like an art Concords. guy. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. That, yeah. Uh, what is his name? The New Zealand dude. The, oh, dude. Or was he? South, no, was he no, no, no. You're thinking of um, dinner for schmucks. N- no. Yes, was dinner it? for schmucks. The his his his. Uh, chick was like an art dealer, oh, yeah. and he thought she was plowing the plowing New Zealand the, yeah, dude, and yeah. he's just running around like a fucking weird devil oof costume, <laughs> was like a goat or whatever. Yeah, like a goat costume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's um. Sounds like a typical Friday night over here. <laughs> <laughs> kind of fucking people you hanging out with. <laughs> well, my friend runs around in goat costumes all the time. It's normal. I ain't got it no was to hang up on myself. Right. Is it snowing there? Nah, not here. Oh, you typed getting snow, so I thought you was... Oh, it's an 8-track. Oh. Did, you, did you not get snow this week? And I feel like everybody got... You know, even Vegas got snow this past week. Oh, it's been a while since We Vegas only got, got about snow. enough to cover the grass. That's it for mm. the whole season. So yeah, far. they got they got, a, um, they got a good inch or two, I think. Global warming, man. <laughs> good. Shit. It's cold. Warm this place up. Yeah. Um... Really? Dude, they said this the, place up? the globe cool. actually cooled down over the pandemic when everything was closed. I was going to say, yeah, I, I feel like everything's gotten colder this year. I feel like it was colder. No scientist. I feel like it's colder this year than it was Climate last change year. is a lie. Climate fluctuates. It always has since the so beginning it, of time. But is global warming a lie? Yeah. I think so. I mean, are we contributing to higher levels? Sure. But is it really... I mean, if you go over China, who probably puts out the most pollution, India, India's right. Yeah, uh, that you're probably good. You're probably right on that. India and China, it's a, it's a toss up between those two. But they would have massive holes in the ozone layer over those countries. Not the case. Yeah. So let's just not do anything about it. If it ain't broke, nah. don't you don't need to fix it. I have watched videos. The ozone they... layer is a gas layer, Chris. It opens and closes see, certain I've watched, areas. I've watched like. Science videos of where they drill core samples. Yeah, and like in the in the and Arctic? they test the carbon. Yeah, and they yeah. test like the carbon and the layers. Yeah, that are like thousands of years old. Right, and they say there's more carbon there than there is now. Well, that could have been because there was more volcanic activity back then, forming the land. Yeah, so we could fuck it up a lot more, and then we'll still be good. Well, no, because there was That's no there was like no living there was no living there's well, no living people. Yeah, there was no living entities at that point. Everything <laughs> that was, was like just years ago. fucking molten Dude, rock. There was dinosaurs. <laughs> they, no, they no, 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 died. Dinosaurs came up. No, no, they don't exist anymore. Cave first, <laughs> first of all, the, the land became came before the dinosaurs, guys. Okay, you need somewhere land the, before time, bro. The dinosaurs needed somewhere to live, so the land was made. Vegetation started to grow. Okay, but the dinosaurs are dead. Yeah, right. then where the dinosaurs are come you from, sure? Bro. What are alligators? What are crocodiles? There, there may be living ancestors. What are fucking giant ass fucking megalod- megalodons in the ocean there's still? No megalodons. I dude, think all those they're still out. dinosaurs. Dude, they just, were I like just saw a video of like a travelers. seventy foot fucking great white shark. They're That's squids. pretty much a megalodon. They're not megalodons, bro. A fucking seventy foot great white shark. <laughs> what would you call that? There's no oh, show me a, a picture of seventy foot. It was on it was on fucking Instagram. I'll I'll look yeah, for bullshit. it. Bullshit! Just like your oh, giant Japanese that. guy in the fucking Instagram video that was fake as fuck. That was from a movie. Yeah, that was totally fake. That was from a movie. <laughs> you know, it was from a movie. Right. It was from a movie. <laughs> just, I didn't say no that was real. Foot, there's no seventy foot shark. I just said this okay. looks trippy. But yes, there was there was some fucking giant ass fucking great whites. It was that they probably found. a whale. Okay. Yeah, it was a whale fucking eating <laughs> fucking meat. I don't ever seen a fucking whale eat meat, but okay. Chickens are just beta T Rexes. <laughs> it's true. Prove me wrong. I mean, they we apparently dinosaurs evolved into birds. So who knows? Birds creep me the fuck out, dude. They say that birds were based off of uh or ancient dinosaurs were based off of 
birds. No, birds are based off of ancient dinosaurs because ancient dinosaurs came first. So birds can't. You got to base what came after off of what came first. So why there's still birds? Well, where did no they dinosaurs? come from then? Because like you just said, the Out dinosaurs died off and the birds survived because they could fly over the lava. Yeah, they could fly to different places, maybe. Yeah. I think that all I think all the dinosaurs died from just hepatitis. <laughs> I don't mm. know. Uh Mama just says, So you trying to tell me I'm a dino in a cage in my house? No, you're a human <laughs> in a house. Despite all your rage, you're still dino. just a rat Despite in a cage. Despite all my rage, I am still just a rat in a cage. No? Nah, no one I knows? Mean, I'm down for smashing pumpkins. Smashing pumpkins is whack. Birds are nerfed dinosaurs. They were actually ducked, fucked over in the most recent patches. What? What are you talking about? Not that <laughs> I am, that I got. Yeah, I feel like our chat read. gets more drunk. The oh, of us. you got birds in a cage in your home. I see what you're saying. So, what they're okay. First of all, let's let's clarify. Chris got all his dinosaur knowledge from Jurassic Park, the movie. Because they literally <laughs> say no. Anth anthropologists literally say this shit that Chris that birds. When's are... the last time you watched an anthropologist talk? Uh, I just watched a Discovery Channel like a week ago. You anyway. watched a Discovery Channel a week yeah, ago. Yeah, they were talking about the evolution of dinosaurs, and, and how they and you know how they actually have you ever seen like a currently drawn dinosaur the skeleton? and how it's supposed to actually look now? No, with like feathers and shit. Like yes, Velociraptors yes. had feathers. Supposedly, and shit. they, they, they don't say look they like had in feathers. Park. I, like, I understand they, what they you're saying. Like lizards. Yeah. Yeah. They're like a lizard bird. So, can I hybrid. ask you a question? Can you show me one lizard that exists today that has feathers? A bird. No, a bird's not a fucking lizard. It's a whole different species. They, they spawn from the same fucking Wrong. gene pool. No, it does not. First of all, are you sure? Yeah. Lizards and birds are not in the same genus. They have a similar bone structure and skeletal structure, bone. yes. But none of them actually bone. They both lay eggs. So neither of them are mammals. But a bird, I believe, is warm-blooded, whereas a lizard is cold-blooded. So, there's a T-Rex outside of our house. It's No, that's that's a Mustang. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, there's a horse. Okay. Um, no, those are whores. Difference, <laughs> different. No, um... <laughs> <laughs> Those are whores in a Mustang, not a dinosaur. All right, with let's not get distracted. Horses. What are, you, okay, what are you saying? What I'm saying is, Mr. S Mr. Scientist Tony, what are you telling me? My, <laughs> my professional um, analogy would be that they have similar bone structures. Yes, they're very similar skeletal distribution of weight in the knees. Bend backwards. No, I don't know. Do they need to like Obama right now? First thing I'd like to say is <laughs> my health care plan is going to come along and be fucking terrific. And then I'm going to be on Dollar Boy. No, get out of here. Um, no, so, yeah, the bone structures are very similar because uh, poultry or birds have hollow bones, so to speak. And so I guess the dinosaurs had a similar bone construction. Which would make them why they were so fast, even being at such large sizes. Right. Right? Because they were um, kind of like ostriches. In almost. a sense, yes. Um, but still, they were reptiles versus a bird, which is has no reptilian attributes. They're not cold-blooded. Um, besides the fact that they lay... Monkey. Besides the fact that they lay eggs, that's really the only... I feel like you don't know what you're talking about right now. I'm sorry. I don't. But I don't am I like selling either. you on it? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, okay. What are the similarities between? Why are they saying that? So it was mainly skeletal structure. I right. think is the main okay. thing. Right? Is right. the skeletal structure was pretty similar. Okay. Now one decided to learn how to fly, and one decided to stay on the ground. No, I don't and think that's, that's how it kinda, goes. That, well, evolution kind of works. That one's way. a lizard <laughs> and like, one's like, a bird. Well, uh, look at <laughs> look at look at the flying squirrel, for instance. Okay, okay. The the squirrel doesn't naturally fly, but there was this it's one. It's not really flying, dude. It's, it's not. It's not well, flying. It's no, gliding. I know, but it but it it, it developed these. What wings happened was you had a really fly. fat squirrel that lost weight, and then it yeah. fucking had extra skin. The, the squirrel the squirrel <laughs> developed the survival tactic. 
that allowed it to fly from tree to tree. Right? So or you're glide, trying to float. Or glide, so glide, you, glide, fine. glide from but tree to tree. But what you're trying to tell me is... There, there's an, evolutionary an foot, structures that happen okay, throughout but history. Nature's a fucking crazy thing. It is, thing. it is. But what you're trying to tell me is an eight-foot velociraptor... There are birds decided that can to be, fly, decided and to become birds that can less than, fly, less than a foot. Yeah. And turn and g- yeah. grow wings, because velociraptors didn't and have wings. Pussy. They had <laughs> They had fucking arms. Right. So what you're telling me is an eight foot giant fucking lizard decided I'm gonna become a one foot bird and grow wings and fly. Well, Velociraptor no. can't fly because it's probably too fucking bitch. heavy. That's not how it works, bro. Not how yeah, it works. But but so. does it? But was, but was there a Velociraptor that maybe was kind of similar in structure to like an ostrich or something of that nature? No, an ostrich has a long nah. fucking ostrich, neck. You know how long fast an ostrich can run? Yeah, do you know how fast a Velociraptor could run? Like three times the speed, and it has claws. You don't to rip know that. You, you weren't around then. Neither were you. So how can you fucking tell me? I don't know what I'm talking about. The fuck? First of all, if any, if an ostrich is related to any dinosaur, it's a brontosaurus. Okay? Because look at that long ass neck. Nah. Okay, what is it related to then? That, that, motherfucker's, that motherfucker's neck is like four feet long. A velociraptor's oh, yeah, neck velociraptor. is not that long. Maybe a, I would say a velociraptor. You're fucking all stupid. <laughs> The brontosaurus would be like a giraffe, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then what is the bird? Or bird? An no, elf, maybe an elephant. Uh, no, first of all, the giraffe is a mammal. It gives live birth. It cannot be related to a lizard. Okay, you guys, not to know your genuses. I didn't say lizard. What do you think a velociraptor is? You just said uh, or a brontosaurus. I didn't say oh, it was sorry. a lizard. You said a brontosaurus is more related to a uh, what? A giraffe. That's what you said. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a they brontosaurus. Both eat plants. A brontosaurus lays eggs. And a giraffe gives sure? live birth. How do yes. you know? Because it's a goddamn lizard. It's a reptile. How do you know it is? Were you alive back then? <laughs> you fucking you guys are all assholes. He tries to is a platypus is a mammal, but it exactly. lays eggs. Yeah, see, a platypus does. No, a platypus is not a mammal if it lays eggs. It's a rodent, I it think. Is it is a mammal. It's not it a, a mammal. Or is if it, a, it lays eggs, it's, it's not a mammal. It is a mammal because it's warm-blooded. The, just because things are warm-blooded doesn't mean it's a mammal. Birds are warm-blooded. They're not mammals. Oh, I don't know about I that. I think the only reason a platypus is considered a mammal is because once the eggs hatch, it gives milk to the young. <gasps> oh, Mommy Licia says it is. It's the only mammal that lays an egg. But again, I think it's only considered I've a seen mammal. Tony lay an egg. <laughs> yeah, but we knew <laughs> those eggs had names. Anyway, um, they were just hefty girls. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> no So I think the only reason A uh, platypus is considered a mammal Is because once Fuck the eggs big spin. Once the eggs hatch The platypus actually gives milk <laughs> Produces milk for its young So you don't think that dinosaurs give milk? No You show me a How dinosaur you know? Show me a dinosaur with nipples I, I've never seen one before Show They're me not a dinosaur no with nipples Not ever have they ever said I can't just go down said, to the fucking zoo and Take a picture okay, of one. Okay, so every time the only way this is gonna be solved is no. to actually have a, time a, a scientist Someone call on Matt Cronin. show because none of us know First enough about all, this shit to have I'm a I'm telling you right now. No fucking... lizards have nipples. Can someone please? I know, I, I'm, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go to Bishop Museum and I want to. Bishop somebody. Museum's only gonna teach you about Hawaiian shit. They're not gonna teach you yeah, about dinosaurs. That's the wrong place, Chris. They can't teach you. They about They have dinosaurs. a dinosaur exhibit. First every of all, year, big spin skate. I'm not that old. And I do have nipples, but I'm not as old as the dinosaur. We need Tony might we need be a help. Dinosaur. We need help with di- we, we need a dinosaur expert on our show. I'm a Maybe fucking Tony's a lizard. I'm a fucking Filipino Viking. That's what I am. I ain't no lizard. I don't know if I believe that either, bro. Believe it. I got ancestry DNA to back it up. <laughs> Filipino Viking, uh, Viking. I don't believe that yeah. bullshit. You don't believe DNA sampling? He's like a so if you don't even believe it, if you don't online. believe in DNA sampling, how are we ever gonna take the DNA from these dinosaurs and tell if they had nipples or not? We're gonna start calling Tony uh, uh, Manny McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what? You guys are all stupid. <laughs> dinosaurs don't have nipples. They don't produce milk. They're not mammals. Okay, mammals okay, are considered. Watch. Mammals give live birth and they feed milk. They produce milk for their young. Birds produce eggs. They don't produce milk for the young. Lizards don't produce milk for the young and they lay eggs. That's why they're trying to say that they're similar. 
Hot, but you let cannot me hot Google this real quick. You can't fucking say a brontosaurus is a, is the precursor to a giraffe because they're totally totally different geniuses. Yeah, but there's crosses between each species where that you doesn't can't, always you, apply. You will never have a mammal fuck a lizard and make a baby. It won't happen. It won't work. Yeah, but she said there's a platypus that lays eggs. So. Again, guys, a platypus is it so does lay eggs, but it produces milk for its young. And, I, and it has nipples. So it contradicts everything you just said. It is the one example of nature <laughs> that God decided, I'm going to fuck everybody hey, up. What, what was the main one? thing with Jurassic Park? Nature finds a way. Oh, so we all... Nature you, finds a way. We're all turning into fucking platypuses? Is that That's what we're it. saying? The chaos theory, <laughs> bro. Jesus the Christ. chaos theory. Enchiladas are also... Um, enchiladas? What? And What is that? Enchanitas? No. I don't know what enchanitas are. I thought you said enchiladas and I got hungry. See, look, wh where are you at, hot Google? Yeah, I don't I hear you enchilada. talking very I much. Some enchiladas right now. I'm, I'm still Googling. Exactly. Enchiladas. <laughs> I'm hungry now. Yeah, yeah. We can't get good enchiladas in Hawaii. I'll tell you that. Um, maybe, maybe we could. You can get uh, okay some okay, okay enchiladas. I just Okay, what? Read us I, what you found. I, I don't, I don't recommend googling lizard nipples. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that the out there. Shit, That's man. hilarious. <laughs> just let's just say I did not see any lizards with, with nipples. Their own nipples. Yeah, they yeah. were maybe added on. Like I said, mammals are defined by giving live birth and feeding their young milk. Am I wrong? Like, just Google what's the definition of a mammal. How about that? Oh, I don't, a mammal I'm usually requires oxygen and they're warm-blooded. Right? Live birth is what defines mammals. I, they need to breathe air, though, too, right? Right, but we have whales and dolphins. They're mammals, and right. they breathe air, but they, they live air. in the water. Yeah, but they need air And they live. give live birth. What about a shark? Shark is a fish. Shark is a fish, yeah. It's not a mammal. Sharks lay eggs. Mammals refer to the mammary glands. Exactly. Produce milk right. for their young. I, I guess I got to look up animal kingdom, right? That's like what... Guys, I was up, really right? smart at school. Just trust me. <laughs> I'm telling but you, you went to true. Milani High School, so it's not that hard to yeah, be smart Yeah, but there. dude, you're right. Because they, they, you know what's funny is like I had a couple classes where they thought I was like this genius. And I was like, dude, you guys are just oh. stupid. <laughs> That's right. Is, is Lanny in the chat? No, Lanny's not here tonight. No. Dang. Mac Illa, 808. Millville in the house. What up, man? Where, who's oh, Mac, Mac Who? Illa? Where, what part of... Oh, Mac Illa, dude. Who's, who's this, Mac Illa? Do we know you, bro? That's oh, my boy. It's my boy from back in the day. Oh, yeah? What up, man? Thanks for tuning in, brother. Hit that follow <laughs> button. Dude, if you're an OG, triple OG, you know who Frank, you know who Frank the Tank is. You know who? Dude, don't be dropping my government you, name. You know who Landmine is. <laughs> you know who Big Tony is. Mac Big Illa eight oh eight. Is that is that is that uh Mikhail? <laughs> is that Mikhail Mulberry? <laughs> That'd be funny if it was. Fucking lizard nips. Whoa, I'll drink to that. Hey, Mac, hey, with the, thanks for the follow. All right, Appreciate thank you for the follow, brother. You're right, Appreciate you're right. Uh, mammary glands thank and you. females produce milk for their young. That's what defines a mammal thank you. most of the time. So let me oh, ask yeah. you a question. And fur or hair and three middle or ear bone. Mi three middle ear bones. I never heard about that. These characteristics distinguish them from reptiles and birds. There you go. Which diverged in the Carboniferous uh, over 300 million years ago. This is too much science, man. I'm over it. The largest orders are the rodents, bats, and Eulophilia, which are like hedgehogs, moles, and shrews. So wouldn't a platypus kind of fall in that, right? So Okay, so now Google, what is a platypus? Because how is it lay eggs and still a mammal? It's because it has it produces milk for its young like i said from the beginning you guys should be just listening to me because i'm fucking so Dude, smart I'm, i never denied that i just said that so a gene map a brontosaurus you said a brontosaurus is like a giraffe it's not like a giraffe it's complete opposite it's 
the same. No, it lays eggs. A brontosaurus They're lays big, eggs. They got long necks and they eat plants. I didn't say nothing about laying eggs. So so uh, so then a brontosaurus is just like an ostrich. Then it's got a long neck. No, because an ostrich is small. I think that's an the point. An ostrich is stuff. not like small. Okay, mommy. Let's just says the platypus <laughs> lays eggs. Female mammals feed milk to their young through specialized nipples or teats. Female platypuses do not have teats and instead simply sweet sweat milk to their young. The platypus is also one of the few mammals to produce venom. They produce venom? Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah, platypus has too. like a weird like thing on their back le- leg that it's like a stinger. It can sting you and like poison you. Birds evolved Tony from a sweat group. Milk before. <laughs> what the fuck are these <laughs> fuck animals? You did. Sweat milk. Birds Same evolved from a group, that egg. a group of dinosaurs called theropods. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, pterodactyls, dude. No. Not pteropods. I watched, theropods. I watched Jurassic Park, dude. There was pterodactyls in there. There were pterodactyls. You're right. Anyway. Jurassic Park. They just fed you guys lies. No, it's kind of just like uh, nobody knows exactly. Humans have how eggs too, works. right? But we don't lay them. We pro- the egg you know, gets fertilized Tony, and it's here's the point. Producing is, the is body. When you think you know everything, you have nothing to learn. No, I like to learn every day. Okay. I learn new things every day. We we're, we don't have all the answers to everything right now. I got a lot of answers, Chris. You have a lot of answers, but not the not, you don't have the answers to everything. But I got a lot of answers. Whatever, oh, fine. Did, was I wrong about this tonight? Are they the right we, answers? Was I wrong about this tonight? Well, only history will tell you once the aliens. The answer is no. I was right. I was right. To to what? Which which one? About the platypus is the only reason they're considered a mammal is because they produce milk for their young, even though they lay yeah, eggs and have fur. A given. What? That's you, a given. You guys are fucking arguing with me about it. <laughs> Fuck I you. I was not arguing that. You can uh, rewind it back. I'm gonna go take a shit right now. Nobody's arguing the platypus point. Go lay that egg and sweat that milk. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you fucker. Go even go download UO, you bitch. Even the even the Jurassic oh, Park like name is like you're bro, right. It, it wasn't necessarily you, from the Jurassic Park. If you Jurassic download period, UO, right? Bra- Bracho, if you download UO and play, I'll change my character's name to I Sweat Milk. <laughs> <laughs> That's a but, good name. But you gotta play. No, I'm gonna make my character name Power Bottom. You <laughs> I, I, I whatever believe you, whatever Jeff Goldblum tells me to believe. Fuck okay. Jeff Goldblum, mm-hmm. man. <laughs> Chaos theory. Wait, what? Uh, that was from uh, the original Jurassic Park. No, that was from Pineapple Express. So Fuck you, Jeff oh, Goldblum, here, man. <laughs> what do you he's, think he's like, win? he's like funny. He said he he says stuff like he does he does good impressions of Jeff Goldblum. Fuck Jeff Goldblum, man. That's that's uh, Grandma's boy, not Grandma's boy. Pineapple Express, yeah. So who do you think's gonna win in the new King Kong vs. Godzilla movie? I think, dude, King Kong's got nipples. He's gonna win. I think neither of them lose. They team up and they take on Mecha Godzilla in the sequel. Yeah, me too. That's what I was gonna say. So you now, you, now they're gonna have sex and have babies? No, they'll fight. Yeah, they'll fight. Because oh, Godzilla's, they a, Godzilla's, Godzilla's a female. Everybody knows that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So if they if they made it. Would there lay eggs? We well, just lost the two female, the female the would Kong. lay eggs, right? I should have taken King Kong. I'm sorry. I lost two viewers. I should have nah. taken King Kong's Fuck side. God. Fuck Everybody King wants Kong, to be on dude. King Kong's side. Why? First of all, King Kong is just Fuck a that. big Godzilla, monkey. Godzilla for the fucking win, dude. Dude, Fuck first King of all, yeah. let's, let's be real, Fuck okay? It, dude. King Kong is just a big monkey. Godzilla's a yeah. big lizard with fucking powers. She can shoot fucking Radio fire and power. shit out of their shit. Come on. Oh, yeah. Apes together strong. <laughs> Monkey supremacy. <laughs> oh, Planet of the Apes. Dude, that was, I actually really like the new Planet of the Apes. If you're a King Kong fan, you're a white supremacist. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> so, yeah. No way, dude. Can, King Kong, can, Black Lives <laughs> Matter. Black Lives Matter. <laughs> fuck you guys. Monkey supremacy. Black Lives Matter. King Kong, bro. Godzilla. All the way. If you go Godzilla, then you're, you're not. All the way. Dude, it's Asian. You're, you're putting Asian lives. Uh, <laughs> Black light. I don't know. 
Green lives we're gonna, matter. We're gonna get in trouble. Green for lives this matter. Conversation okay. already. <sighs> Dude, I'm just. So feel- how many more episodes? Five more episodes till the big race. Right? <laughs> uh. Apparently, yeah. 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 That's, that's right. Zilla finna hype up Kong oh. with those radiation bursts. I can't believe I just actually read that one time. Zilla finna hype up Kong with those radiation birth i mean what is finna really mean really so me what is no but what practice. is what is the actual definition of finna because i mean i see it all fixing. over the place He's fixing to. Fixing oh is that to. what it is yeah harambe to 2.0 gonna fuck up tony's children first of all anyone comes by my kids pff, bro i don't give a fuck if you a gorilla or nothing you're gonna have to deal with me and i'm fucking a beast <laughs> i'm a goddamn beast Question is theaters uh, or at home? And by the way, Baracha doesn't think I can beat up Jake Paul. Oh, dude, that's why I need to tone uh, Lanny here. I don't know. If you don't beat me in a race, then you're definitely not going to be. Jake First Paul. of all, guys, I already Chris, told I you. Hope you're training really hard. <laughs> I I'm, I I got one month to get like. I haven't done any training yet. Yeah, and he's not going to. I know you haven't. All right, all right. Doubt doubt your boy. Doubt you. You gonna be like, God damn, Tony's like the goddamn I, Flash. He's gonna be a month from now. He's still gonna be like, I'm still waiting on those keto. Drinks. And I'm gonna be pissed if I am. If I am, I'll be fucking pissed, dude. <laughs> Jake Paul versus Manny Pacquiao. Manny smokes him, dude. Is Manny's small, but he's gonna hit Let him. Let me tell you right now. Even though McGregor got his ass knocked out, he still McGregor's would. He would still whoop Jake Paul's ass. Yeah, he would. He still. But would Manny whoop Jake Pacquiao Paul's would ass. beat the shit out of fucking McGregor. In a, in a boxing, boxing ring, match. In a boxing match, yes. Yeah. Well, Manny's not going to do MMA. He doesn't know how to grapple. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Manny, Manny Pacquiao is like 50 years old. And he'd still whoop all them boys. He'd I beat me up so. with a fucking slipper. Tony's going to run about 10 feet, and his oh, blood geez. clot is going to come loose and fuck him up. First of all, that is fucking morbid. You That's want me to have an aneurysm, bro? This guy's want to try to wish an aneurysm on me. I don't Are you guys that. gonna have an ambulance on standby? Though? Yeah, bro, no, that's the whole thing. The only thing of I gotta take some aspirin before I do this. Baby, I need to take baby <laughs> aspirin in the weeks leading up. <laughs> so wait, thin my blood out a little 40 bit. Forty-yard dash. So we we're we were planning what a forty-yard dash. Yeah, See, here's my thing though. I'll be honest with you. I don't think a forty-yard dash helps me out. I need longer because I need I need a little boot like. You what? think you have stamina? Yeah, I got no. I got no. I'll I'll make the forty yard dash. I think I could go a hundred. I think in a hundred I smoke Chris. I think in forty it's gonna be a closer race because I That's pick what up. Makes it more I pick up speed like twenty yards down the track is when I start getting in stride. Yeah. And I got my <laughs> legs. My legs are like the length of Chris's body, Take bro. It easy, you <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Once I get in my gazelle stride. <sighs> Chris got nothing on me, but it takes me like okay. 20, 30 yards to get in that stride. I don't know, so, man. So I, you guys I, seen those videos yeah. where the How about we just do a racing? mile? How about I, I will throw up a right now mile? just thinking about it. Yeah. I'm not a long distance runner. I'm a sprinter, bro. I'm, I'm short distance, quick bursts. So what if we do like two it, runs around the track? I'll throw up. That's half a mile. Yeah, I'll throw up all over the place. I so can't do I'm not a long so, quarter mile. No, I'm not doing any laps. I'm doing a sprint, and I'm going to I'm gonna do a sprint. a sprint, and I'm going to throw up and pass out for about 10 minutes, wake up, and then maybe I'll do another one after. I don't, that's it. This ain't no fucking goddamn marathon we're doing. Yeah, but you, we can't, a, you can't just set the standards for the race. Like you We already talked about it. It's you, a 40-yard dash. Yeah. Okay, 40 we yards. talked about this okay, already. This, that's where we're it should be like a decathlon. <laughs> you want us to run ten miles? Go fuck then, yourself, bro. Swim in a, swim in a pool. No, like a bunch then, of different sports. Swim yeah. in a pool, and, and like, then you guys have like your own Olympics. What do we look like to you? You want us to have a heart attack and die on stream, dude? The inappropriate, the first A-track, annual. Can I borrow your sports, bro? Olympics, <laughs> running for teens. Black flip competition are for the elites. It's funny. I'm gonna have to go to yeah. Puno. I'm gonna have to go to Puno and just like try to take Dude, a lap why, around. Why the track can't we just? Oh, wait, your dad is. doesn't have pool there anymore. We can, we can just go there. No, we'll go to Milani, bro. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. I know we can show up to Puno and we can just run on the track. And I'll just. Sh- we can just climb the fence to Milani. No one's gonna stop us. No yeah, one's I mean, working there. I mean, the football field's kind of uh, close. But in Puno, it's just like an open track. Like, and if anyone bothers us, be like, hey, I'm a lum. Fuck I got off. COVID, stay away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be like, dude. 
I used to fucking. I'm not wearing a mask while I'm running. I'm not wearing a not, mask not, either. Not, I don't even wear a mask. <laughs> I never wear a mask. If I don't, if if people don't give me like dirty looks, I don't put a mask on. I'm just saying when I'm running a mile, I'm not. I walked into the store the other day and I didn't have my mask, <laughs> and like everybody was die. giving me like dirty looks, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck. I had to go back out and grab my. I mask. I will die for the mask more so than I would from COVID <laughs> at that point. Yeah, because I'll <laughs> suffocate. <laughs> okay, so here here's my prediction. You guys seen those? videos of two people racing and one guy gribs right yeah i i think chris is gonna grib he's gonna go down hard and tony's just gonna be laughing and, and then he's gonna fall at the end <laughs> that's my prediction i predict one of us pull a hammy right out the gate yeah the hammy oh. the hammy is the most feared that's what i've been that's right what now. so what i've been doing in the last week or so, is I have been stretching. Yeah. But it doesn't matter because my muscles are just like <laughs> fucking dental yeah. floss pulling, right Pulling now. a muscle is what I'm most worried about. Yeah. I think I can stay upright, and I think I can run it, and I think I can make it to the end. No, but you pull but a if, hammy if, or if you pull I, a yeah. calf pull a muscle or, or a calf rupture muscle, your yeah. fucking Achilles, or it's done. Twist an ankle or something. And you shouldn't go like hard out the gate. No, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a couple practice, you know, like half speeders. Before we actually run the race, you know, half yeah. gotta get a couple half speeders right, in. I'm gonna start training at the park, dude. I'm gonna start training. Bro, at the park. I'm down. Let's go play ball. No, you're, you're not training, training with me, dude. Street. I'm training in secret, bro. You bro, can't. Bro, the you last can't time we played basketball together, secrets. I beat you at the game, and you had to run sprints. Yeah, at least and I your, ran the sprints. Your fucking shoes exploded. You're so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Those shoes are super old. Awesome. You're literally, you're literally the bottoms of your shoe just said, "Nope, not doing it." I, I, that means I, I he just ran it, though. so I fast. It. He blew out his shoe. No, it wasn't. It, trust me, it wasn't because of speed. <laughs> Chris is a race horse, bro. I, don't look. I'm gonna drop a grand for you, <laughs> dude. We can do bets. Hey, we can pull bets. Oh man, you, you, we got to do something where our our chat has to take one of us, and then. Whatever, <laughs> what whoever loses, the whole chat's got to pay for whoever. Yeah, they got to do who. something. They're gonna buy me dinner. So they got to either bet on you, or they got to bet on me. But whoever loses, some you guys in the chat got to pay somehow too. And I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, Chris. We in, in, in in our primes, in our in our high school days, Chris was fast. But I'm saying yeah. Chris is probably probably a no, no, hundred no. pounds yeah. more than you were in high school. Not a hundred, but a but more, way more, like, <laughs> like what 60, were you? What, 70 was, what, was, what was your weight in high school? Two twenty five. Okay, two twenty five. See, I was two forty in high school. Yeah, I'm only forty pounds more than what I was in high school. Yeah. You're about fifty pounds more in high school. Uh, about, about seventy. 50, we'll say seventy. More. You're seventy pounds more than you were in high wait, school. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Well, 60, 60 what 70. What are you weighing right now? Sixty to seventy. I'm probably like two eighty five right now. See, yeah. I'm about two eighty right now. Yeah. And I'm 6'4", and how tall are you? I'm 5'11". Okay. I'm just painting a picture for you guys, okay? I'm just saying. I'm a little more distributed than Chris is. I'm going, I'm going with Chris, though. Bro, that's fine. Like I'm, I'm going to take your money. I'm going to take your money, son. I'm going with I'm, dense You know power. what? I'm going I'm to tell you right now. I'm going to train. And I'm going to tell you, uh, I'm, I'm planning on maybe doing Sober March. Oh, no, fuck you. You got to drink on this show every night, just like me. I mean, I'll do the beer tasting, but maybe I'll do that. I have a so Lagunitas no, 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 is no, coming no, out no, with no, a, no, no, Lagunitas is coming out with their. Uh, it's called a, bro. You cannot it's not called drink a, on the show. I P N A. It's an. It's Fine, a, then. I get to, I'm not gonna smoke. It's a, it's I'm not gonna imperial, drink. I'm just gonna smoke on the show. It's then. an imperial non-alcoholic IPA. It's the fucking gayest thing I ever heard in my life. And I'm thinking about doing that for a month. But you're still drinking beer. Well, it's like 05 percent. Alcohol did, per beer. Yeah, but it, it, it's not the alcohol that makes you slow. It's the carbs, bud. It's yeah, the carbs. That's true. That's so true. That's true. you go ahead and drink your non-alcoholic beer. That's just a waste of fucking time. But it's probably low carbs if it's low alcohol. No, then what is it? It's wa you're drinking water. Carbs is sugar. Right. So you're telling me you have a low carb, low alcoholic beer. What is right that? Here. That's called fucking water. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll put it uh, here. You guys can see what I'm talking about. I'd rather drink my bong water. I agree. Just drink water. I did sober November. Not that bad. Yeah, I hey, I understand. 
I'm all, and I'm all for not drinking I on the show. I need a sober. I need as a long sober as I can month, smoke. Though, I if think. I could smoke weed on the show and Christian Pants, like, yeah, Tony, go ahead. Month. I think I think I'll do I it. Owe myself that. I need to go outside. One month, Chris. One month. You've been drinking for how many decades, exactly. and you think one month to help exactly. you? Fuck out of here. It resets, man. It resets, dude. This guy's been drinking since what? We were sixteen. You've been drinking beer, probably. Maybe not every night like you, but since we were twenty. You've probably been drinking almost every night, right? Since we were in college. Not every night, but... Yeah. Bro, you didn't have a couple beers almost every night? Not every night, no. Mm, come on. Mm, mm, no, not every night. Come on, guys. Give it. <laughs> every night. There's literally like two nights this week I didn't drink, so... Oh. Two out of <laughs> two out of seven? <laughs> okay. You made my but, point. But, but I'm just saying... I, I, I drank I, I once take... this week. I only drink once a week, which is right now at this show. But the problem is the rest of the week I'm just chonging up bong ribs, bro. Just like Yeah, I don't <sighs> smoke. I don't smoke. So yeah. that's my advantage. But again, it's we're not my lungs are yeah. in better shape. Which is than why yours. which is why I'm not doing long distance. Yeah, see, that's I the can problem. hold I can hold like my breath. Meter. I can hold my breath and run 40 yards. Yeah, I, I literally never smoke. I like smoke a, unless I like smoke weed like once in a blue moon. I don't ever smoke. So. I low key get into arguments here and there, proving my to my mom that if Jesus Christ was another is was in an, on another galaxy, he'd pretty much be a Jedi master. <laughs> oh yeah, he totally would. Dude, he totally is. He's fucking Yoda, man. I don't know if he's that good. He's better than Yoda. He's mm. G- he is the Force. Uh. Jesus Christ is the Force, bro. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. He is the for he is the force. I don't believe that. You don't believe in Jesus Christ, that's why. You guys should change your background. Why? Dude, I, you've had the same one for so long. You guys no. gotta switch it up. Has Hawaii fucking landscape changed? How about that? Is that better for you? Has Hawaii's landscape same. changed? No. Okay. It's Hawaii. Yeah, but you guys don't have to be at Diamond Head all the time. Bro, our studio's on top of the Moana top of Tower. Yeah, that's, uh, exactly. You know exactly what I was going to say. Yeah, I know. Wait, what? Change it to our Milani alma mater. No one wants to see <laughs> Milani High School in the background of our show. That would be kind of funny though. Um, so Mac Illa eight oh eight. Did you have Nanbu for any classes, or did you have Kawamoto? Kawamoto for English. Oh, Mister Nanbu. Oh, Mr. Nambu, bro. That guy told me on my first day, I went into class. He goes, Gabriel, who's your father? I said, oh, Daniel Gabriel. He goes, you're going to fill my class. I was like, oh, shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Next thing I know, he ma- he started making me take my test at his desk because he thought I was cheating because I was getting a- straight A's in his class, and I didn't do shit because I was in algebra honors at Hanalani, and when I came in, I was with a bunch of dummies doing easy shit. <laughs> Easy shit. What kind of beer are you drinking, Chris? Water. Is that the, sh- the shoots? The shoots. It is the shoots. Yeah. Wow. I could tell by the can. Yeah. It's uh, low carb. Oh, 2013. You grad 2013, bro. I fucking te- I gra- we grad 10 years before you. You were like still in fucking first grade when we graduated. Damn, are you? <laughs> I got a piss. Not hating, not hating, but not hating. that means you were 18 in 2013, it's which means, baby. yeah, you were born in like er, late, late 90s. Wait, <laughs> I, wanna... I think I already I, fingered a girl yeah? before you. Yeah, I know one. <laughs> yeah. 95. Okay. All right. Not that young. You know what trips me out is I work at, I work at a bar, right? So. The thing is, when I see now the kids who have, you can have 2,000 on your yep, fucking and ID. You're 21. And you're 21. Yes, and it's yeah. a fucking trip. It, literally, I had some kids that were born in January this year, and I was just like, wait a minute. And I looked at their ID, and I was like, what day is it today? And literally, they had just turned 21. And I was like, this is fucking <laughs> crazy, dude. You can be born in the year 2000 and now you're 21. 
Yeah, it's like twenty that's years. That's the shit that yeah. Fucking reunion. Like nineties weren't so bad, but then when you started seeing when you start seeing two thousands, being twenty one, you're like fuck. Okay, now I'm getting old. Now I'm getting fucking old. Yeah. <laughs> like fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I checked the dude at the door. His birthday was like January seventh. And I was like, 2000. And I was like, wait. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you're good. You're good. Okay, you're good. <laughs> but trip me out. Trip me out. <clears throat> you hang out with people born in the 80s? Well, good. That's the best crew you can hang out with, dude. I'm telling you. You're probably listening to the best music there ever was. I'm just saying. If you don't know Tupac and you don't know gangster rap and you don't know that shit, you don't know the punk era, you don't know the grunge era. That shit was all. That shit was all. Where was that? And I no no hate on today's music, but no hate that shit. That music sucked. <laughs> Everything's fucking cross dressing Koreans. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck is this goddamn fucking K pop? Fucking surge, dude. It's the like gayest you know shit Someone asked ever. me that shit the other day, and they were like, "Bro, I, what is K-pop all about?" Okay. And I'm like, "It's like Korean Backstreet Boys. That's what it was." Dude, there's like a 900 Korean but Backstreet it's Boys bands, but, but it's not even about the singing anymore. No, it's just it's about, like about the style, the, the performance, the style, and the like theatrics. Dude, like, I'm telling you right now, thing. my the girls in my office always have like K-pop playing on like a screen in our office, and I'm like, are these Guys or girls? And they're like, oh, these are guys. What? They look like the <laughs> fucking... They look like pretty ladies, dude. They're, like, so gay. Like, they they have, like, makeup on and earrings, and they have, like, this long hair. And I'm like, what is... I can't... This is weird, bro. This is too weird. I, I'm not down with it. Here's the thing is, I still love... <clears throat> I still love 40-year-old music. I still love shit from the 60s sometimes. It bro. depends on what it is. Ain't no uh, mountain I high... Ain't no valley low. When you hear that shit, you're just like, that's soul, dude. That's like, that's like fucking ingrained I in I listen our to Hendrix like, and, and the Doors like on a weekly basis. You're talking about like when the Beatles were were made in England, like that the part Beatles, of England the is. The Beatles were made. They, I'm just saying they were associated with that part of England. And then you have like, you have Memphis, you have Mississippi, you have places like that that have their bases in this certain type of music. And you can't just throw that music away like, oh, this meant nothing. No, everything was was built upon that foundation of fucking music. That no, well, nowadays with cancel culture, they please, throw shit away all the time. Please do not be like, oh, that's old shit. Oh, it's, don't don't look. Oh, at that it's shit racist. That like, it's racist. We're gonna cancel culture. It. You, you guys need to build your music culture upon the foundations that your forefathers have laid before you. And enough, so a lot of you don't do that because you you what you want is you want the quick easy. So fucking let, let shit. me ask you a question. You're okay with building our music off of based off what our forefathers have left us, yeah, but not our country. Oh okay. oh oh! Political. Did I get did I get you on that one? It was like, <laughs> wait wait you, no the, you this didn't get me you didn't get me you were just oh you, you got just, got. <laughs> You just took the conversation in a different direction than what <laughs> I was trying to talk about. Got him. And you're a music, you're a music centric kind of guy, so I, not, I wasn't trying to take the conversation to a political side of things because you want to talk about civil rights. That music played a big uh, part in that shit too. Uh oh. Uh oh. But uh -oh. I'm here just, we go. I'm just gonna. What say, music played a big part in civil rights? Uh, let's talk about Motown. Let's talk about like uh, music that happened there in the sixties. Let's talk about like what happened with uh, Aretha Franklin and and. Artists like that who decided that uh, women aren't going to be held down anymore, and especially black women aren't going to be held that's, down anymore. That's awesome. I was all for. I'm all for that. Are you? Um, yeah, I'm all for artists getting so, paid. So what are we talking about here? I don't know. You started going down a road. I just no. You brought it up. I, I just I just poked the bear and you went down a road. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, I think I think we need, we've been all saying. Uh, music is just a fucking, just as fucking. Wait, music is just as fucking good, <laughs> but you guys are judging all based off of the dog shit that's on the radio. Yeah, you have a good point there, Big Spin. Uh, Grease, Grease Lightning was cool. Okay, I sound like I like the weekends. Is, shit. Does, is Gangnam Style count as K-pop? 
It's time to suck Chi Chi and Jag. Oh shit, bro. <laughs> Bracho's going night Chi Chi night night already. Here's the thing is, I, I, I appreciate yeah. new music. I will that's catch good. you guys later. All right, Bracho. All right, go bro. down. Hey, do me a favor. Go download that UO and I'll see you on there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> negative ghost why, rider. why yeah, not bro ghost rider i'm It'd with you on that cooler, that game is garbage dude I <laughs> oh man have a badass gaming computer i'm not gonna play a fucking calculator game Shit, sweet. thank you i don't give a fuck <laughs> cheers fuck face <laughs> yeah. you sure you don't want to Bracho, down Bracho, hey. you sure you want to download it you sure i'm 100 percent sure Bracho, we're killer. gonna bring you on. Yeah. We're gonna bring you on next week when we do the uh, Lily Koi Mellow Mel. Right. And, and did you we'll did you pick the Lily Koi with your own hands? Where'd you get the Lily Koi from? Oh yeah, good question. I grew it in Washington. You fucking lie, bro. You cannot grow Lily Koi in, in Washington. I Washington. Man, don't lie to me. I had a uh, Lily Koi concentrate. Oh okay, okay, okay. Where did you get the concentrate from? Hawaii. From where I work. Dude, so it's not even Hawaiian Lily Koi. We sent them the Hawaiian juice, the dude, the Hawaiian, the. Hawaiian Where do you work? Suns, what, you dude. making the you making the weed weed sodas, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So is it actual extract or is it like a syrup? The Lily Koi. It's actual fruit. Okay. Juice, yeah. I'm working with Lagunitas right now. I'm hoping I can get some of their stuff because they have a bunch of uh, infused things oh, oh, going on. Oh, oh. Have you ever infused? tried any of that, Baracho? Like weed infused? Nah. Yeah, they they actually and they have, can send uh, it out of state. They have uh, weed oils. They, they have uh, they have a bunch of that. they do it in California mostly. But what's up, Maui Wowie? Yeah, you won't be able to get it in Hawaii. Yeah, I got a buddy who works at a weed farm. So so a track a track's asking, <laughs> what did we do when the ballistic missile alerts came in? Uh, what was that two years ago? You Fucking know, hit you, under our desk. No, you know what I did? I went outside and I was like, I don't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> were you were you here when that happened, Baracho? No, no. I've just been I, in the mail in like fucking five, five years wild, already. Yeah. Five years, yeah. When did that happen? It was like twenty, like two years ago. It was twenty eighteen or twenty nineteen. Uh, yeah, it's twenty. What's how's it? Uh, Maui, wow, we were just about to sign out of here, man. You late, dog? Uh, two thousand eighteen. Lily Koi dabs, nah, bro. I dat, I dat Lily Koi jams and jelly. You dab Lily Koi jams and jellies? 113. Rub upon my belly like guava jelly. Ugh. <laughs> I hate that song. Uh, what did I do? <laughs> From 808 to. Okay, so I woke up at 816. I remember waking up at 816. I remember and... waking up and I was just like, I looked at my phone and I was like, is this real? And I walked into my dad's room and was like, hey, did you get this alert too? And he goes, no. So I was like, okay, maybe this is fake. So, because he didn't get the same alert as me. Yeah, a lot of people got. I got it. So and I my walked wife outside and I looked and I was like, I don't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean. Well, bottom line, if it's a missile coming, I'm in the house or I'm outside the house. I'm dead either way. So I might as well go see what the fuck's happening, right? Yeah. I my was, house uh, isn't bomb proof. I was talking to my wife and then uh, literally my. It, as sad as it sounds, my first instinct was to go to Twitter and find out what the fuck was going on. Because you wanted to see what Trump was saying. And I know. No, it wasn't. No, yeah, I, I, I know. You wanted. You checked Trump's Twitter first. No, I know uh, you did. actually, I got the Tulsi Gabbard was the reason that I actually didn't get worried because er, it was uh, Maisie Hirono. Fuck lazy Maisie. But uh, one of the politicians in Hawaii popped up and then. It was on Facebook and it was like, what's going on? What's going on? And nobody and knew what the fuck was going on. And do you know I what the real story the, is, too? I told my wife, like, take, let's hide in the bathtub in the <laughs> center of the house. Because that was yeah, the, the best spot. The bathtub's going to save you from a nuclear missile. It, it's the safest part in the house. You guys should have just started fucking, is what you should have done. It was the center of the house. Mm. It was the center of the house. Our bathroom is the center of the house. And it's between <laughs> What's four up, Mufatsum? It's between four walls. So we would. Bro, that was if it, you think a nuclear bomb's coming, just no. start fucking. No, why do you mean start fucking? Like, I it doesn't mean it doesn't mean the nuclear bomb is actually gonna land on top of your house. It if, could land okay. on in Pearl Harbor, and you would actually still be fine. No, you wouldn't, dude. If a nuclear bomb drops on Oahu, you're we're all fucked. It has a twenty mile radius. Okay, how big is the island? It's like twenty five miles. No, across. If yeah. it hit, it, it, I think Pearl Harbor would be in the number one target. Okay, that was my thought. Actually, it's gonna maybe be, it yeah, could, if it hits Schofield, we would be fucked. Dude, how big is the radius of Oahu? It's like twenty-five miles. 
No, it's way wider than no, that. It's, it's like it's about fifty. No, it's not. I don't. I don't think so. The radius or the 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 length from hey, one Siri. side to the other. What is the square mile? Oh, not square miles. What is a? Uh, hey Siri. It's about fifty miles. What is the diameter of a Wahoo? It's about fifty miles. That's what I'm gonna say. It's saying tire size charts. <laughs> That's not what it is. Plus, if it if it hits on the east side, you have tall ass mountains that are in the way and shit like that too. So there's. Well, Mufasim says if a nuke comes, try to be your best to be a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> Forty million acres. Yeah, but that we're trying to figure out the the. Hey, it's real easy. We can go. Um, well, they also say that a nuke isn't necessarily detonated on the ground. It detonates like. Like uh, like twenty miles above the the ground, so we're all fucked. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Because our our mountains aren't twenty miles high, so basically, if it detonates yeah. above our mountains, everybody gets hit with fallout. It's something like that. Yeah. Here, here, use this tool. What is this? Oh God, nuke map. What is this? Oh yeah, there is a nuke map. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. So that's a good that's a good one to use actually. Okay. Because uh, it takes, like, where you would get hit, and then... Uh, so, let's say it would hit Pearl Harbor. Because that makes the most okay. sense, right? So like, let's just sure. say that it's Pearl Harbor. Well, right? actually, IA area is a naval base area. There's the, the main naval base is in Camp Smith. If it hits Schofield, which is literally right down the street from okay, us, hold we're on. completely hold fucked. On. Drag the marker to where you'd like to target, or type a name of a city. Enter a yield. In kilotons. Okay, show the people what you're doing right here. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. I thought I was doing that. Um, okay. So, supposedly, if we detonate, detonate, detonate a nuke. Okay, show people where we live. We live right here. We're literally, I'll show you exactly where no, we no, are. No, no, do not show us exactly <laughs> where we are. Just We're just right here. Here's no, Chris's business is right okay, here. Stop. Taps, Don't taps do that. You're right doxing there. me right now. Oh, sorry. But it's, it showed up on the map. But we're, like, right here, okay? We're in this area. <laughs> Fuck. Everybody's going to, like, we're going to have a SWAT team showing up tomorrow. No. I, come on. From what? 8-track? Come on. Yep. Um. Well, then you know who did it. Okay. <laughs> it's probably 8-track. Height of burst. Air burst. Surface. Okay, so where Tony's mark is, that's Pearl Harbor. Yeah. We're we're here at where it says Mililani. Chris doesn't think that it's going to get to Mililani. I'm telling you right now, we're fucked. You ready? We're gonna detonate this thing. What 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 is that nuke? Oh, please specify yield. What is yeah, yield? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the yield? Like how many megatons? So you gotta pick which kind of nuclear weapon would Okay, hit let's us. do North Korean weapon tested in two thousand and thirteen. Okay, yeah. We, we, we thought it was the North Koreans, right? Yeah. So let's pick a North Korean nuke. Oh wait, tested in two thousand seventeen. Because tensions were high with the North Koreans at that time. Wait, hold on. We gotta see. Okay, what's the most recent North Korea? I guess 2017. Okay, let's try this. Detonate, bro. We're getting whacked. Oh, we're just out of the blast zone. Because it's so low. But but this is all fucking. We're we're gonna get raped by fucking fallout. Right. So what what was the missile you picked? It was the North Korean weapon tested in 2017, 150 kilotons. Okay. So that's if it hit Pearl Harbor. That's what. That's the damage it would be done. It looks like the biggest bomb so far is, oh, 500 kilotons, 1.2 megatons. Let's say it's a Russian missile. Pick a Russian missile. Soviet missile is 2.4. Titan II warhead, highest yield ICB in U.S. deployed. First H bomb. So the largest USSR bomb designate design is 100 megatons. Let's see what this does. Holy <laughs> shit! Yeah. Fucking Molokai is getting whacked. Yeah, dude. If a nuclear, if a nuclear bomb any size hits Oahu or any of our islands, well, yeah, we're all gonna get fucked up by yeah, it. Yeah, of course. I mean, just 
it doesn't matter if it, it damages our property or not. Of course, it would just. Be so like here, this is the crazy. Castle Bravo, largest U.S. bomb tested detonate. It wipes out fucking the whole island. Yeah. What what is the uh, the fields? So the green is what? I think the green is it radiation right ra uh, radiation radius. The the uh, yellow is a fireball radius. The the pink is the heavy blast radius, and then moderate. Oh, so it's right here. So okay, the radiation, fireball, heavy blast, moderate blast. So that's Milani. We're getting hit. Light blast damage radius is one psi. That's not that bad. Thermal radiation radius. So we're all getting fucking third degree so burns. Fallout. Fall no, out. it says thermal radiation radius, third degree burns. It's the whole island would have third degree burns on their fucking skin. Unless you're it, literally, unless you're in fucking yokes. That's crazy, dude. That's kind of nuts. Well, it's kind of nuts to look at. I don't, like, I don't like looking at that kind of it's, stuff. It's kind of crazy. The nuke map is kind of like, who would launch what and where would it hit? That's the thing is, where would it hit? It would hit Oahu. Oahu. But where? Uh, probably a, a base or It'd central. Base, like, bottom yeah. line is, if you hit central Oahu, you hit all of Oahu. You know what yeah. I mean? So fucking aim for the middle. Just uh, fuck. More rate of tsunamis hitting before nukes. I don't know about that. Uh, I mean, I'd be more afraid of a hurricane I mean, hitting. You can buy a, a fucking boat, yeah, and get away from the tsunami. You can't really buy a bomb shelter overnight. No, you can't buy a boat and get away from a tsunami. There's no way. Yeah, you can. Tsunamis happen in a matter of fucking out, like minutes. No. Yes, they do. If there's an earthquake, you saw what happened in Japan. If there's an earthquake on the coast, that of one year they had that earthquake. Chris, if there's an earthquake on the coast of California. Is there a tsunami in Hawaii okay, in minutes? That's different, though. But remember when the earthquake happened in Japan and then literally there was no time for people to evacuate? And well, because they weren't monitoring that it shit. It literally killed hundreds of thousands of people. If they were monitoring it right, they would have been able to fucking get out no, of the way. No, it's just it happened right off the coast of Japan. And you, it, it depends how far off right. of the coast it happens, right? right? If it happens right on the coast. You yeah, have, so do we have... You have like half an hour to 45 minutes or to an hour to react. Get up on a mountain. You got you got hundreds of thousands of people. You got to tell, hey, evacuate to the mountains. That shit was the craziest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm letting you know. <laughs> as far as natural well, have disasters. Have you guys ever seen go. the Disney movie Johnny Tsunami? And I can tell. Yes, I have seen Johnny Tsunami. I mean, the Japanese tsunami that happened after that earthquake. He was, was a snowboarder. That whole combination or of he things. Or he wasn't. He's a surfer that turned snowboarder. Was fucking nuts. Japan is still reeling from that shit. Are you talking about Fukushima? Yeah. When the Fukushima plant went down, when all that shit yeah. went down, and then that whole town got wiped out by a fucking tidal wave, and it still hasn't recovered till this day. Uh, you can't recover if nobody's going back to the town because it's, it's all radioactive. It's like basically Chernobyl. You can't go back there and fix no, it. No, but there's also the town that got wiped out by the tidal wave. Right. Like, that footage is nuts. And, it, and so, or, no, what you're talking about is... Uh, like Hokkaido or, or something? I don't know. I don't remember. Is that the one where they know. showed, like, if it was, like, the water rushing and it just, like, filled up it under just, the bridge? Just went over the, the seawalls and yeah, just, yeah. like, flooded the whole towns and swept houses away. And oh, here you go. a -track said the earthquake took place at 1446. Around 64, 67 kilometers from the nearest point on Japan's coastline. And 42 miles, estimates which is not even that Indication far. would have taken 10 to 30 minutes to reach the areas first affected in the areas further north, south based on the geography of the coastline. Yeah, it was crazy how fast that shit happened. I, remember, I do remember that where it's just like it just engulfed that initial town. They were telling people, evacuate, 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 and people were just like, Okay, it's coming, but <laughs> they, then when it actually hit, it was just like. That's so when sad. you gotta get on the mic and go, sad. "Yo, you got ten fucking minutes, go." Yeah, they had <laughs> sirens, they had everything, they had things. Yeah, but they the didn't say night. you got ten minutes. Yeah, they were saying please evacuate the area. In Japanese, it was like, "Hey, what's up?" It was, it was super. It's super sad. Like if you ever seen that stuff, it's like. It, it, Yo, nature, know. nature. You there's don't fuck, no, don't fuck with nature. There's no, there was no. Those people had no time to to fucking get out of there. Well, here's the thing, though, is I watched the video and it's the buildings weren't the top. They're old of, school. They're hundred year yeah, old buildings. No, 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 not all of them. 
the, there was hotels and stuff there, and people yeah. got to the top floor of the hotel. They were fine. Bottom line is, you got 10 minutes. If you can't get to the top of a four-story building or a five-story building, you ain't trying hard enough. Because yeah. the, the, the power of the tsunami comes in, and it takes whatever it touches with it. But it doesn't get like 20 feet, 30, 40 feet high. It's just a surge of water that rushes in. Yeah. So if you get high enough, like, you know, get to the third, fourth, fifth floor, you're fine as long as the foundation of the building doesn't cave in. Yeah. But people but it had... went so far inland, too. Oh, it, it does, went like yeah. like 40 miles inland. Well, it's a surge. It's a storm surge, basically. And it's pretty nice. But it's not a tidal wave that's going to come in, like, crash on your city. It's just going to... It's like an overflowing river. It's an overflowing river. That doesn't stop. Yeah. Yeah. But you can get out of the way of that. As long you as can. You're not, as long as you're not there in, like, where it's happening. So when Hilo, when Hilo had their tsunami back in, like, I think the 50s, yeah. What the, the, all the reports said is all of a sudden the bay clears out. Like it sucked the water out to the sea. Yeah. That's indication number one. If all of a sudden the, the place where you're swimming is has no water, get the fuck out of there because you're about to get hit with a surge. Run. Get in your car. Drive. Get it's the kinda fuck sad. out of there. It's kind of sad. I don't know if you want to show the video, but like we can pull up the video of what happened with the, that tsunami. No, I'm good. Japan, to be honest, it's time to wrap this up. Yeah, we bit. should probably wrap it yeah. up. But uh, go check it out if you want to see it. Uh, like to me, it's it's just it's a it's a crazy uh, video of how crazy nature can be, just in so fucking fast. Like people, it's so sad to see. Hey Mufasa, do you remember the movie Brink? You have that came out like the same time as Johnny. I think Brink came out first, then Johnny yeah. Tsunami. But uh, you have no control over nature. No. Yeah, does. you can't. Tornadoes, tidal waves, earthquakes, you can't control nature. No matter how hard you try, you can't control nature. If a tsunami comes, just <laughs> get as high as possible. Dude, I'm forever a freedom like, skater. Like, li literally as high as First possible. First of all, it's not a freedom <laughs> skater. It's a soul skater, soul bitch. Skater. All right? Soul skater. Are you soul skater? I'm soul skater. Team Puppin' Suds. Team Puppin' Suds <laughs> all the way. Guys, well, I mean, let's do one more shot. The team puppet says. No, I'm Team X Blades, bro. Fuck off. Team X Blades, bro. Check out my hairdo. This is X Blades. This is X Blades hairdo. This ain't the puppet suds hairdo. Okay, so you know what? I relate that guy from the the evil guy from uh, X Blades. He wasn't I, evil. Well, whatever. He was evil to me in, when I was a kid. Well, he was in a bunch of movies, too. But I relate him to the chick that was in Heartbreak Kid. You remember the the Heartbreak, the guy, ben St the chick yeah. Ben Stiller falls in love with? They looked the same. Not even close, dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I'm going to, no, 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 dude. What the fuck are you talking watch about? This, watch, watch, And by the way, did you guys know that Brink didn't even get on that team, X-Blade's team? He wouldn't have been on the team unless the Black Ranger got this hurt. Guy. Okay, this guy right here. Yeah. This guy, right? Oh, you're talking about the girl he falls this in guy, love yeah, with. He falls in oh, love with. Oh, yeah. And Not the blonde girl. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Similar, similar. He yeah. looks just like she does. Not just, but they could be brother and sister. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. You're right. The girl he falls in love with, uh, Devil's Lettuce. Yeah, 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 yeah. Miranda. Yeah. Miranda. 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 Miranda looks like uh, Team X Blade's sis older sister. Here, put that in the chat and I'll pull it up. And then put X Blades in the chat. Yeah, he does. She does look like him. She looks like him. She does. She looks exactly like him. They almost like have him. the same haircut, too. <laughs> she looks exactly like him. I was thought I thought you were talking about the blonde girl that he married, but the girl he actually falls in love with, yeah, he she kind of does. Do you think that maybe after after uh, Brink was a flop, he had a sex change and became Miranda? It's possible. I don't know. I don't possible. know. Nowadays, you never know. You need a beer, Maui Wowie? Well, dude, you came to the right place. Come on and have some beer with us, bro. No, there's no way. I, I don't know. I, I, I will <laughs> pull those up later. Uh, join the Discord. Right, put in the, yeah, put you. in the Discord and uh, we'll be there. It'll be there. Like here, hold on. Can I can I post this link in the Just chat? Just post it. Yeah, I told you to do it. Hold on, I'm gonna post this link in the chat. Okay, I'll so pull up the the things. 
I, I, this is like a super Jesus long Christ. I don't even know if that will pull up. Will that work? Okay. Okay, so... So this dude... So this picture... <laughs> what happened? Look before you leap. Dude, that looks like her right there. Okay, so look at this right here. That's kind of a shitty picture. Pam Margera, what the fuck? Here, here, here's a picture. Okay, so Chris is saying this kid looks like the girl from the Heartbreak Kid, Miranda. Right there. <laughs> he kind of does. I'm not going to lie. He kind of does. Right? Like, I always come, like, as soon as I saw her, I was like, oh, they kind of look pretty damn So, similar. okay, look at this guy. <laughs> And is this the one? Oh, wait, post it in the chat. I got it here. Okay, and then look at this girl. (laughs) Wait, what's the better picture? Okay, so this girl and this guy could be brother and sister, I think. (laughs) I'm just saying, like. Yeah, I mean, I see the similarities. I do. They look kind of similar. I'm just saying. Yeah, they, they <laughs> I'm just saying they're either related or they're the same person. He's old enough now where they could be the same person. Dude, that looks like. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's the same fucking dude. This bitch can rollerblade. <laughs> <coughs> I I see you got you yeah I see your point there buddy. They got in on that step bro stuff. Uh oh. <laughs> Maybe he is now a she. It's two twenty. It's twenty twenty one. Duh. That's what we were saying is. Maybe he was like, oh, my movie career is over. I'll just become a chick and fuck Ben Stiller. <laughs> Who knows, bro? I'm gonna try out for the WNBA now that uh, Biden said men can participate in women's sports. I think I make a WNBA team no problem. If not, I'm going to go into women's uh, mixed martial arts and just beat the crap out of these girls. What do you guys think? I don't think that's fair. I'm just saying. Anybody? 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 What is this music we're listening to still? Let's see. Let's find something more upbeat. Equal rights, equal fights. I'm in. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. I'm pretty sure I could make a WNBA. Even like the worst WNBA team, I think I could get on it. Dude, this song, the, dude, this this band's called Del Boca Vista. If you guys know what that is, if you know what Del Boca Vista is from, what TV show, message me in the chat right now, and I'll do a shot for you. Del Boca Vista. To be fair, I have tits, so. Well, you do. We all do. You tell me what Del Boca Vista is from. La Copa, Copa Cabana. Do you know what, what TV show Del Boca Vista is from, Chris? CSI Miami? Nope. I don't know. Del Boca Vista. Uh, Scarface. No. I'm thinking like Venice. We're moving to Del Boca Vista. You can't keep me out of Del Boca Vista. Come on, Stargate. Stargate? What the fuck? No. <laughs> of course, a track was a Stargate. Uh, Guys, I'll give you a hint. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, Seinfeld. Yeah, it's Seinfeld. Del Boca Vista is where his parents lived in Florida. It was oh. the, and then the Costanzas were like, "We're moving to Del Boca Vista," and they're like, "You can't move to." Del-. He's like, "You can't keep me out of Del Boca Vista." So then the Costanzas moved down, and the Seinfeld said, "I can't live here anymore." And the Seinfelds moved back to New York. 
because the Costanzas moved into their retirement community, which is Del Boca Vista. I feel like a lot of people weren't as much Seinfeld fans as you think they are. Dude, Seinfeld, w- first of all, was one of the best and highest grossing sitcoms of all time. I mean, you I know, think Friends was like the came in close second. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're right. Seinfeld was up there. Yeah. Maybe the people watching Twitch don't know what Seinfeld is, but that's why you motherfuckers need to go and watch this shit. Yeah, we took a shot for Screech, and we didn't even really want to. Screech, he's kind of whatever. He's a right. Zoinks! <laughs> Zoinkly! Wait, that's uh, a... <laughs> Zoinks! Zoinks! <laughs> we all thought of him as Shaggy from fucking... Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> from, from, he always he had that, made like, the perfect Shaggy. Zoinks! He had that face, like... Always, I don't know. It kind of reminded me of uh, <sighs> Marv out of fucking Home Alone or some shit, too, for some reason. Marv. Dustin Diamond was definitely an asshole, but still. Yeah, okay. All right. Rest in peace, Dustin Diamond. We we played, dude, you missed it. We played Friends Forever by the Zack Attack for yeah, him. Yeah, dude, we, we went into it. We in did it, dude. Show. Go watch the beginning of the show. We went and we played, by request, Zack Attack, Friends Forever. Okay, so to close out the show, we're going to play his homemade porno. No, <laughs> no we're, we're not no, going to do that because, first of all, it's <laughs> nothing to look at. I'll watch the VOD. Watch the VOD. We played... Zack Attack, Friends Forever. This music sucks, by the way. <clears throat> you know what? I know it's, it's not your fault. It doesn't lag our stream, though. So I'm not using... I'm not using uh, Spotify. <sighs> I'm using Pretzel Rocks or whatever this is called. Can we do a watch party for uh, for Brink? Is that a thing? No, it's a no, Disney, it's Disney. Yeah, that's movie. Right. That's why you need an Amazon's the only one you can do watch parties for. <sighs> Unfortunately, because Brink was, I thought it was a good show. You know what I was wondering is what happened to the Hispanic girl that was on uh, Team Pup and Suds. I thought she was gonna get like an acting career out of it. I thought she was probably the standout actor out of all of them. What's her name? Find out. She might have actually been in some things. I don't know. HR says, fuck Disney. Oh, that's kind of harsh. I mean, I like Disney stuff. I like The Mandalorian. I'm thinking about canceling my Disney Plus right now. Because there's nothing I want to watch on there. Well, first of all, I'm pissed off because I thought if I signed up for Hulu Plus. Christina Vidal. Or Di- I, thought I, I thought if I signed up for Disney Plus. I would have got ESPN Plus and all that stuff is what they said, right? You don't. You got to still pay extra for like ESPN Plus yeah. and shit. Yeah. Which would have had the UFC fights right. on it. That was the whole idea, too. Right. Uh, with you on it's that, all I was like, I still pay for Hulu. I still pay for Disney. I'm like, you know what? Fuck. I'm going to cancel all this shit and I'm just going to start from scratch. I'm just going to pirate shit from now on. Fuck them. That's where we're getting now, man, is where everybody just wants to. Our mateys. Everybody wants you. Have Let's their bring p- back the pirate bay. Everybody wants to have their premium subscribe shit. Daddy, can I get some more of that Disney scratches neck? Yeah, Disney balls. So who's the who was the chick from uh, Brink? The Mexican girl, Christina Vidal. What other movies and TV shows have she been in? Uh, let's see. Oh, this, wait, I should have went to the IMDb. Cause I swear I've seen her in other things. Uh, let's see. She's been in See No Evil, Life with Mikey, Welcome to the Dollhouse. Life with Mikey. I think I've seen her in that movie. But nothing big? No big mo- big roles for her? Nah, nothing that I'm noticing. Mm. Yeah. A lot of TV series. Mm. She's been in a lot of TV. Not a lot of movies. All right. Well, anyway, enough about Brink. Chris, you got uh, anything else tonight? No, man. Uh, I just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's been fun. It's been fun hanging out with you guys tonight, talking a lot of beers, talking about uh, booze, talking about uh, fuck Disney, and uh, just hanging out in general. That's all. Yeah, it's been fun. I like most of you. You guys are okay. You guys are okay. I like all of you. I'm just kidding. 
All right, Chris, we'll sign us out, brother. All right, guys, we want to thank you for joining us at Inappropriate Bar Talk tonight. My name's Chris. And I'm fucking Tony. We're live every Wednesday, 5 p.m. Hawaiian time right here. Twitch.tv slash Inappropriate Bar Talk. Check us out on Instagram at Inappropriate Bar Talk. Twitter at IBT Podcast. Make sure you check out our website, inappropriatebartalk.tv, where you can donate, you can buy merch, and you can also uh, work out, right? check out our beer reviews. Join our Discord, uh, where we have a great community of people who just like to hang out. And uh, if you guys want to play video games, with us, just let us know. Man. Guys, download like UO, man. It's the greatest game Tony ever. Tony will push you on UO forever. If not, there's always Apex. And then Tony, uh, it's a good game, bro. I'm gonna, I'll stream it this week. I, I'm gonna, I got my setup ready. I'm, I'm ready to stream it. I usually stream. <laughs> I usually stream on Thursdays, but. Uh, if I show up tomorrow, I'll let you guys know. I'll put it out on Discord and letting you guys know I'll be out there. Um, He'll be there. I want to because uh, I want to play Cyberpunk. I miss it. Go play it, bro. I miss it. Go play it. I just miss it. Go. go. But I went camping he, last you weekend. Just, you just love the dildo weapons. That's what it is. I, I want a dildo weapon. <laughs> I want to beat yeah. people with dildo weapons. They play UO or Apex 99% of the time. First of all, UO... A track, you know you want to play with us, bro. Well, there's a new season of Apex out, so that might be kind of the thing we do. But uh, I'll jam some tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. We'll just, see. Just you, you, if you want to just hang out and say what's up, you don't have to be there forever. Whatever, no, no big deal. We're we're gonna be around. The one percent they play themselves by missing out on Minecraft stress relief. First of all, Minecraft creates more stress for me. Cause I always fall down fucking cracks in the goddamn mountain and die. Like I'm the guy that walks around and falls down a one square hole, like five thousand feet down in a hole and just explode and die. And then I'm like stuck down in this fucking hole. I'm that guy. Uh, don't ever dig straight down. You know better. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> but it happens. Anyway. Guys, we appreciate you. Thanks for being here tonight. We appreciate you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm Lord. La la. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say yeah. I say yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that you remember that South Park episode? Yeah. I'm Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. I say yeah. And then I put the auto tune on, and it's coming on and coming on today. Anyway, I don't, I don't listen to Lord, but New Zealand, pretty cool. Awesome, lovely. Wait, what? What? New Zealand. Lord's from New Zealand, right? Oh, dude, okay. you, here exactly. This is what happens when I play fucking Minecraft. This is this is me playing Minecraft right here. <laughs> I can't believe you dug up this clip. It's like a moment of zen. Here we go. It's not a moment of zen. It's a moment of pissed offness. I get two now, actually. And then all of a sudden, I'm I'm looking at my map. I'm just you know minding my business. Take a few steps and then all of a sudden, uh, fuck! Oh! Fuck! Fuck! You, the, the, Are you <laughs> fucking kidding fuck, me? Fuck! 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 <laughs> the, the, the initial like fuck! 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 Yeah. Oh my god! Kidding me? <laughs> this is it. Look! 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 Just, just minding my business. Fuck. Oh wait. <laughs> Does this even look like there's a hole here? Oh no. It looks normal. We're just walking along and then. Fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Wait, where's the music coming from? Is that what you. I feel like A Track added that. <laughs> no, it's the music I was listening to. Yeah. Hold on. Let's pause it's, this. It's so perfect, though. Yeah, it's so perfect. Yeah, it's. it's. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? The music is great, dude. It's so it dropped at the right time. Yeah. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh, so good. Oh my god. So good. No. I'm wearing the same hat. You have the map though, right? <laughs> I'm like, can you find my stuff? There's no way I can get my shit anyway. I just fell down like a fucking huge ravine. Nothing beats the fuck, fuck, fuck. 
The music was perfect. Fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I can replay this all night. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I can laugh at my own pain. I'm good. I, I laugh at my own pain. It's okay. Oh my god. So, get this. Something similar happened to me on UO the other night, okay? So, I had uh I had this really good I had this really good armor and no. Oh shit. Hold on. <laughs> and um so I've been doing, I've been, oh, is this another one? Oh God, not another one. Let's see, let's see what it is. We'll check it out. Uh. See, oh my God, I just. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> they're, they're like little holes, dude, just seriously. Be careful up there. There's like one square holes that I just fucking fell. See, oh my god. I See, oh my god. I just. Are you the frustration of Minecraft. <laughs> See, oh my god. I just. <laughs> this facial expression right there. <laughs> Okay. Are you fucking so, the other the uh, the guy Pedo. Remember, I was telling you guys about Pedo, who hooked me up with some shit uh, for for UO. He gave me some actually really good shit, and I didn't realize that there was no self repair on the armor. So I'm over there just fighting like hard shit, and all of a sudden I'm like realizing like, dude, I'm taking like crazy damage all of a sudden. So I take my clothes off and realize my da my my armor's just gone. It just broke and disappeared. So I had to go and spend a bunch of fucking money to get back the pieces I already had. When I could have added more pieces, I was really bummed out. Really bummed out, actually. But, like I said, guys, check out UO. It's super fun. UO Evolutions. Guys, it looks like a shitty graphic game. I get it. I get it. Okay, I get it. It was made in 1995. But I'm telling you, the depth of what you can do in the game... Surpasses any game that I've played in the last 10 years Up to you, I'm not encouraging this I'm just saying bro, I'm telling you The depth of the game Of what you can be, what you can do How you can be productive in the game Is Infinite compared to like a lot of the games that I, I've, played, I've played recently That's all I'm saying That's all I'm saying bro Alright yeah, but does have a mobile version? No, you have to play on a computer. And the funny thing is, is the, the third-party program that you need to run it. If you don't start it first in your in your on your computer when you first start up, it only it limits to two gigabytes of memory. So if you have, most people have like sixteen to thirty-two now. If it opens up beyond the two gig mark, it thinks that there's no memory left. So it, really? it won't open. So you got to open it. Like as soon as you open your computer, you got to open up the, the program because it maxes out at two gigs. And my computer was like running at 16 gigs. And it's like, there's no memory left. I said, no, there's a shit ton of memory. <laughs> it's like, no, we can't recognize it. So I, I had to figure that out. But I have 64. So yeah. So <laughs> it's going to be like open us first and then you can do it everything else but yeah there's some subtleties to the game again it was it came out in 1995 yeah and the game the server we play on it's always like 600 to a thousand people online so there's a big community playing this game I'm telling you guys check it out man don't 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 slouch on it because it's old graphics i'm telling you the game what kind, of what kind of headphones are you wearing these are those audio technicas yeah those are on sale right now for 50 bucks on Amazon. Well, audio, these they all look the same, but there's T30s, T40s, T60s. Yeah. So it depends on but what. They're, they're these are, uh, I think these are the T30s. Yeah, M30X. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure. M30s. I'm, those are on sale right now on Amazon for like 50 bucks right now. I think I got these for only like. And literally, 50 bucks. they're like a badass. They're actually they're, really they're good headphones. Really Yours is really headphones. good too, though. I yeah, like your headphones the too. Sennheisers, but yeah. Um, check those out if you want good headphones. Oh, they're really good. I love yeah, these headphones. Th- those things are fifty bucks right now on Amazon. They're twenty dollars off. Okay. Well, anyway, wrap us up, Chris. It's time to go, guys. Thank you for joining us in the program bars out tonight. My name's Chris, and I'm fucking Tony. We're live every Wednesday, five p.m. Hawaiian time. Catch us right here, twitchtv slash talk. Make sure you check out our Instagram. At Inappropriate Breath Talk, Twitter at IBT Podcast. Make sure you check out our website, Inappropriate Breath Talk TV. And also check out our website, Inappropriate uh, Bar Talk. Uh, sorry, I said that again. Inappropriate Bar Talk TV. Yeah. It is. It's, that's the one. That's the one. We like to drink beers. We like to have a good time with you guys. And uh, I think you guys are the best audience ever. I think my kidneys are failing. <laughs> We're going to be doing our 40-yard dash on March 10th for the 200th show. I might wear a diaper in case I shit myself on the takeoff. Just in case I sh- and I might be wearing a... <laughs> I might have a wheelchair nearby just in case I can't We just blow out field. our knees and our ankles yeah. instantly? Yeah. Uh, we may have to have an ambulance oh. on scene. Oh, so HX says he has the M40X. I have a detachable cable and different cable types, too. Wish I would have known when I was buying... Okay. But, yeah. It's been fun hanging with you guys. Appreciate you. Until next time, guys. We love you. Peace. Aloha. (laughs) 